So we just hit 50k subscribers, and to me, this is a huge milestone. So I thought it would be cool to put together my five 100 days videos with five friends. And this isn't going to be just my videos slapped together. I'm actually going to re-edit most of it, and we're going to add some extras in there to make it worth a watch. Looking back, I've made eight 100 days videos in total, but one was alone, one was as a trio, and one was a duo with many cameos. Anyway, to start, we have the first 100 days we did as a group. That time, I got reincarnated as a slime. This whole thing started as a celebration for 500 subs, so it's crazy to see how far we've come. Here's a weird fact about this video. Because of exams, this video dropped 7 months after it was filmed, so February 2022. Because it took so long, I had actually already passed 1k. And because you guys liked this so much last time, get uncomfortable, starve yourself, and let's start our journey. In this video, me and four friends survive 100 days in the world of slime. This mod is about the anime, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. But that shit was way too long to fit in the title. Like, why is it eight words? Some absolute brainlets let me know in the comments that it isn't that long and that it's the same amount of words. Let's see, shall we? If I put the full name in, the title is seven words longer. Sorry to single people out, but damn, that hurt my brain. Anyway, the goals for this is to fuse with Ifrit, own a dragon, kill the spirit protector Colossus, kill the orc disaster, Kill Carabidas. Wow. I'm also aware I said that horribly wrong. Become the Demon Lord and kill Hinata. This video is actually a celebration for 500 subs. Five people, 100 days, you do the math. Okay, day one! Okay, before we reincarnate, who's who? I want you to um, introduce yourself. And first up. Um. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your boy Squirtle. T Trombone Tyrone, follow me on the Twitch. On the Twitter, sorry. Oh my god. I love all you fellow squirtlings out there. Second. Hello, um, I'm the human being. Some of my fans also might know me as UK. Thanks. Oh god. That, that's it. That's what they call him. You two fuckers. I don't even know. I know. How you doing, Squirtle? I'm a bitch. Name? Oh, hello, I'm Sonny. I'm 32 from <laughs> Bristol. <laughs> Great to uh, yeah. Shaq? Uh, I'm Shaq. Uh, I'm gonna- uh, no! I'm dead. He's dead. Oh, he reincarnated. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there we go. Our first one's reincarnated. Everyone get your book. And... Random go. Race. I didn't- I went- Random race, random race. I went all- Fucking all good. Oh, sh I'm also an all <laughs> It's alright, it works, it works, it works. Lizard man! Let's go. What, what ability did people get? I got ruler. I got ruler. That is a good one. I got ruler. I got degenerate. Hell yeah. What's everyone's magic kill? I have 8k. Uh, 3.6. <laughs> 3.6. <laughs> uh, um, I have 193,000. <laughs> 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 what, what ability did you get, Sonny? Healer. Yeah, uh, well, you might be the carry. By the way, humans start off with 2,000 to 200,000 magicules, and Sunny happened to get 193,000. Only 7k off of max. Some insane luck right there. Humans are super OP from the start. Compare that to us, my max is 8, Ansys is 4, and Shax and Toby's is both 5. If all four of us get max, and then put it together, we get 22k. Still 170k off what Sunny got. My skill lets me recruit subordinates by just right clicking them. However, this cannot be used on Sunny as he's a human. Also, by naming subordinates, they will evolve. The other way of evolving, you need to have XP, subordinates, tools, and weapons. This can be got around by just naming someone. So that's exactly what I did. Squirtle. You wanna be called Squirtle? Screw Fuck, fuck, fuck out of here. I got the name for you. You ready? Yes, master. Wait. Did it work? Dun, 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 dun. Ah! Hi, I'm a high orc. I got 4.2 4 now. Squirter. <laughs> 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 did it work? Yeah, I think it did. Fanboy. Yeah, I'll take it. Welcome, fanboy! 
Let's go. He evolved. You Welcome, Beam. <laughs> Fuck, I'm out of magical. Like yeah? I, I'm gonna go mining. I'm gonna go mining, alright? I'll see you guys in a bit. Ooh, I see two other worlders. Other worlders are neutral mobs added in the mod as a way for players to get more skills. However, if you do not have a plunder skill, there's only a 3% chance to actually get a skill from them. Day 2. We realise Anta's ability is a bit crazy. Oh, enchanted crafting. When user crafts a tool or a piece of gear, that yeah, item crafted will get a random chance to get a random enchantment. That's what happened. That's very My, good. My iron axe is efficiency 6. Yeah, what? <laughs> it's not efficiency 6? That's a stupid yeah. fucking That's skill. crazy. Yeah. Get a sword. Get a sword. You have like sharp as 10. Yeah, you make, all, you make all of a gear. Day 3. I find a goblin and decide to adopt slash enslave him. I name him Zeef Jr. and then destroy his village for food. I then test my son out against a creeper and he easily wipes. Well, he does like 8 damage. This guy's buff. We tried to kill a healer, but to no luck. He can heal half of his health in a second. He's basically invincible. Day 4. I kill my first other worlder. Sadly, no skill, only a 3% chance. And I will also Ooh, check what the requirement is for me to evolve. I need 3 named subordinates. 40 levels of XP and a trident with full enchantment. Not much happened the rest of the day, but this was too funny not to leave him. How did you manage that? Oh, he died. Because <laughs> you're fucking walking next to ravines. <laughs> yeah, next to them. <laughs> Why did you fall? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my god, look at this shit. How did you manage that? How did you manage that? So there's literally water a block away from you. Oh, how the fuck am I gonna get my stuff? <laughs> there's water there. Where? In the hole. Like, no, why? I'm just going. I went Where? To the house. If it... I don't have space to fucking mine go. Okay. I'm literally, capacity. How, how much shit do you have? If Mary was calm and she was praying off the baby Jesus, I'd have to turn her away. What the fuck? I also got magic ore, which is needed to get the new weapons in the mod. Oh, we can smelt this, I'm pretty sure, right? Smelt this into raw yeah, magic shards to get magic now. steel. Day 5. Today we found an intelligent slime. These are by far the most important mobs in the entire oh, game. These have a 10% chance of dropping predator, which is basically a necessity to get other skills, as it absorbs them on kill, taking the 3% chance to a 30% chance. Also has a 10% chance of dropping Great Sage, which if paired with Predator, means you get the skill 100% of the time. Great Sage also MLGs for you, so no more death like last time. Sadly, we can't even damage the slime. You need a sword that is imbued with magicals. This is crafted with the magic ore we just found. However, we did not know this at the time. These slimes are also incredibly rare and they only have a 5% chance to spawn instead go, go. of an otherworlder, which is also pretty rare. You be able to break your grave from As we didn't know this, we trapped really? the slime in the hole and Sunny killed it with a virus. I think it's, it's this did kill the slime, but as none of us actually touched it, we did not get any skills for it. Day 6. Sunny managed to kill Medusa go. and we okay, took a okay, house okay, as our own. Yes. Yeah, quite a bit of space down here as well. Quite, yeah, quite spacious. And the rest of the day, I decided to make a mine. Day 7. Not much happens, but we give Ants a ton of iron, and he manages to get Fortune 5. This is too above max level in base Minecraft, which is only Fortune 3. We basically got infinite diamonds now. Day 8. Today I find some magic ore and gather obsidian for an enchantment table. And then, I nearly die of shock. And I left some I've got some Who is shooting me? What? Oh my god, he was above me. How did... Is this Eve Junior, bro? How the fuck are you making up here? I put him on... Ah! Ah! Oh! Fucking hell! Jesus! I just jump scared the fuck. <laughs> After I recover from that near-death experience, I go away to find some sugar cane because I can't be bothered to wait for it to grow. Day 9. On my travels, I come across a goblin village, and with my ruler skill, I recruit all of them. My boys, we ride out. I've got six midget goblins with me. The squadron. You and the boys. Goblin died? No goblin! No, not goblin. Not goblin. 
Day 10. I find a pillager boat with a Vindicator spawner, which is actually really good, as I need 10,000 souls to become a demon lord. Oh, hello, bro. This means I need to kill 10,000 humanoid mobs. Nah, I do not fuck with them. They do so much damage. Oh, there's a sissy. There's a sissy. Is this all behind me? Is this all behind me? No, sure, I'll pace it. Yeah, I'm fucking rapid. Oh, oh, it just be back. Ah! <laughs> oh my fucking fuck fucking Jesus Christ he's massive You a bit big aren't you Jesus And then Sonny manages to find another intelligent slime And dies to it I don't know what it does I was just gonna say I could help Oh my god <laughs> Day eleven As I now have all the sugar cane I need I start to make my way home only to die when looking for a trident a minute later. The spear toro somehow two hit me. Oh, what is that? A spear toro. I'm not trying to fight you. Oh! Ah! I got two hit. I got two hit. And now I have to trek 3.3 thousand blocks back to get myself again. Day 12. I just start to make my way back. I find my dogs again. To then just instantly Sorry, say goodbye. I'm now gonna swim away from them and leave them forever. But I mean, it was cool catching up. <laughs> it's nice catching up. And when I'm swimming back to my stuff, a dragon decides to awaken and absolutely obliterate me. But I have no idea what's happening in this clip. I see the dragon, so I decide to put a boat down to get away when I'm a lizard man that swims faster than a boat. <laughs> and then to try and escape the boat, I start clicking every button that isn't shift. I don't know, my mind just overheared. Yo, my dogs? And then when dog? I come back the next time, the dragon's after the dogs, not me! You served, you served me well. Oh my god, it killed all of them. Holy shit. And then I go to recruit some direwolves to make up for the loss. Just to be attacked and mauled instantly. My dogs versus your dogs, bro. What? What is up? What is up? Oh! Oh! No! No! My butt! My butt! My butt! My butt! Oh. Looks like his dog is one. Day 13. I go back again, and this time, my dogs come out on top, and kill one of the direwolves. But then I die again, because that motherfuckers can apparently teleport, and he destroys me. Okay, I need to make a, a nice fruit over the trees, so that I don't get attacked. <laughs> How is he teleporting up trees? Then I make it back again, and this time, I reintroduce the water whack. And they cannot handle it. Because they get slowed in the water and they can't teleport like they could on land. They're a lot easier to take out. Day 14. Shaq fights she's away and kills her quite easily. Only to then get dumpstered by Ifrit who comes out after. He's dead. Yeah. Good plan. Also, after three straight days of journey, travel, defeat, I eventually get my stuff back. And then I eventually find a trident. Oh, I heard a trident. I heard a trident. I heard a trident. Oh. I got him. I got him. But it doesn't even drop. And on my way home, I get stopped by a sea serpent. And obviously, you know what happens. Okay, it didn't kill me. It didn't kill me. It didn't kill me. Get on land. Get on land. Oh, and did. What? Day 15. What are you doing? Get off the land. Get off the land, you dosser. Get off the land. After five deaths, the wooden axe comes out on top. And I eventually get my stuff back. Day 16. I now make it back home. And realise... That I can't even make any bookshelves because I need leather. Day 17. Sonny gets a new spell and Shaq decides to fight another main boss again. I killed the Orc Lord, but oh, that was easy. He gets his ass beat yet again. Yeah, Day 18. What the fuck? What the fuck? Sadly, I was looking at my mini map. I just all but people. one oh, no, of my children me. are lost in battle. Them spiders are crazy. Them spiders are crazy. Thief Jr. does fall. No. Thief Jr. died. Oh. I'm bold, died too. That spider just took out two. There's only one left. Zed, come on. Zed, come on, my son. Day 19 and 20. Nothing really happens. Day 21. Toby comes back. Hello? What? Hello? Can anyone Toby? hear me? Are you good? Oh! Hey! T Toby! Holy shit, bro. How you doing? Been... That cave's fucking mental. It's been 20 days. Are you, you alright? Yeah, I, I got some shit. Really? I got... <laughs> yeah. I got some... I got that. Whoa. Oh, getting up. Thanks, man. We also find a foundry, which have debris miners. And when killed, these give us netherite loot, 
Day 22. Sonny decides to kill Shizue. It's not worth the one soul. I want the sword. No, okay. Sonny, don't fight it because then Ifrit comes out, bro. Whatever the hole, we'll win. I'll, I guarantee it. Just run and just run and 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 run no. Look, she's below me now. She's below me. She's down here. Wow. Look in the minimap, she's below me. Below you. She's down here. I'm what the me. fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm coming to say it now. <laughs> she's right there! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> fuck. You're a dumbass. You're such a dumbass. How much health does she have left, Sonny? Check. Three. Three? Three? No, 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 I need to run. I need to get out of here. <laughs> I got fire manipulation. And you also kill by effort. Yeah, but I'm, I'm cool now, though. Go, Sunny, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's up, he's up top. He's up top. Oh he's my up. god. I yeah, don't want to go there. Day 23. After likely hundreds of deaths, the virus eventually does enough damage to where Ifrit is under half health and Toby can merge with him. Toby can do this because he has the skill Degenerate. With this, he fuses with Ifrit and gains magicals and skills from him. Oh my god. Toby did it! Oh my god, Sonny, we did it. After punching Ifrit for half an hour. I was in chat, be hating. Uh, I was brought this idea by Sonny, because he, he told me my Degenerate perk would actually uh, fuse with Ifrit and make me an actual uh, contributing member of the team. Uh, the poor little Toby was a little underpowered, so he needed the he needed the fuse of, of the effort. Uh, the only issue is we weren't um, we weren't expecting him to put up such a such a battle. And me just coming from the cave not too long ago, I was basically fighting him with sticks and stones. Sonny had his uh, poison, but you know that that's not really gonna do much against the fire demon so it just ended up us just running at the demon start punching them we, did, we definitely threw away our dignity we lost a lot of that we we couldn't show our face around town for a bit because we had just been obliterated several times I, I think around like 50 to 70 deaths each Shaq certainly judged us I could see it in on his face even if he won't admit it and that Zivski fella between me and you he couldn't do what we did in that day he's not got the commitment the determination the sheer ferocity of mine and Sonny's fists. What we did that day, it changed me. It changed me as a human being. I can definitely say that I'm proud of what I did there. And it was a, a long and uh, arduous battle. Probably, uh, ooh, probably about an hour ballpark. Uh, around 50 deaths. But in the end, you know, the better man prevailed. Day 24 to day 27 was spent making the smell tree. The smell tree gives double the ingots and is made with grout which is gravel, dirt and sand. I somehow got this wrong twice. I said it wrong and then corrected myself wrongly with text. I was clowning other people for being stupid and then go ahead and do this. To be fair to myself, kinda confusing. Rightfully, I got a comment about it. And Matty the Ninja normally wouldn't think anything of it. But he hates when you wrongly correct a wrong statement. Hate is a strong word, but I feel it's justified here. Also, the mixing on this video is a bit dodgy. The music's kind of loud and the voices are quiet, so I'm sorry about that. But I can't really do anything now. Day 27. Ants abuses his skill on cobblestone swords and we get a crazy one. Day 28. I then ask Toby to put two of them together as with his skill he gets an inbuilt anvil. And this sword has some of the best enchantments you could imagine. Sharpness 5, looting 5 and breaking 3, sweeping edge 4, knockback 4. And I also get the enchanting table up to level 30. Day 29. I find the aftermath of the Battle of Ifrit. Graves everywhere. Day 30. Sunny fights a stage 5 dragon. Holy shit, that guy is massive. Now, stage 5 is the biggest. So there was no way I was helping. Sunny soloed it. Just two Dead. minutes. What is this? Oh. Dragon Slayer! Oh, and when we harvested it, we got two stacks of scales. And this stuff makes crazy armor. Way better than diamond. Oh my god, so many. How big is this, Redder? 
Day 31 and 32. Nothing really important happened, but Toby made this cool skull memorial. Cockatrice. Goes by Chandra, the birdie bitch of the savannah. T Dragon Tier 3. Lose a nephew of Big Ute Brutus. Brutus. Tier 5. Big Ute Brutus, the peak of the animal world. And I'm inside of him. We defeated Big Ute Brutus. He ain't no Big Ute anymore. Day 33. Shaq manages to get healer at the 3% chance, which is crazy because that's the first skill anyone's got yet. And Ants gets a stupid netherite pick with efficiency 7 and fortune 4. If you think that's crazy, just wait for day 59. You better be bamboozled. And Ants makes this dragon armor out of the dragon scales we got. Day 34. I died to a sea serpent 2,000 blocks away while looking for a trident. They can shoot rapid fire bubbles that stagger you and do tons of damage. If you look at the minimap, you can see them. All the dots are bubbles. There's a constant stream of them and it's near impossible to avoid. Then when I'm on my way to get my stuff back, I get assassinated by a dark brotherhood creeper. Oh my <laughs> You're a human guy. I was looking at a sea serpent and a creeper fucking pulls up in my dick. Day 35. I eventually make it back to my grave only to be assaulted no, no, by no. yet another sea serpent. <laughs> For some reason there are so many of them. I agree. There's a trident! Up. There's a trident! I found a you trident, but there's a sea serpent on it. Next, I find a lighthouse and make it my base for the moment as I plan the reclamation of my loot from the grasp of the sea monsters. Shaq then somehow manages to get another skill, spearhead this time, at a 3% chance, and Sonny accuses Shaq of cheating. Dude, he's fucking cheating. I don't care! I don't care! Honestly, don't give a shit, bro. Ah! 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 Oh, There's a sea serpent! There's two sea serpents! What is this? <laughs> He's jumping on the land! He's jumping on the land! <laughs> <laughs> what? He's jumping up to my lighthouse! How? Hey, this guy. Oh, he jumped up! To he jumped up to the lighthouse and I just knocked my drink! Oh, fuck! This next section is quite clearly Boys, a reference to Ludwig. Plan simple but i got a comment not too long ago saying fail boat the idea is simple now what the fuck does that mean so i looked it up and apparently this guy's yoinked the phrase and changed one word thanks to this video we can see the first time he said it was a year ago so definitely after lud i don't know if there's any backstory behind that but that's pretty weird day 36 and boys the plan is simple i will set my respawn in my pretty little lighthouse and I will keep throwing myself at the sea serpents till I eradicate every single one with solely wooden axes. The purge is about to begin. Get fucked up! Get fucked on! Killed him! Killed him! Killed him! After my killing of the sea servants, the rest of them dip, scared that I'll beat their ass too. Meaning I can peacefully go and get my stuff back. I've only got to done it. I had to kill two sea servants to get my stuff back, and the trident actually despawned. It's a sad story, but at least we fight another day. Look at all the deaths around me. Oh my god. Oh, and also, while this was happening, Shaq managed to get a third skill at a 3% chance. For context, no one else has a skill yet. Investigate. Got another one? What? He's fucking cheating. He's fucking cheating. I refuse to believe. There's a cheater. I was running around and just kidding everybody, every other world I saw. I, I killed over a couple hundred. That's how I had so many souls. I was just, I'm doing nothing but killing other loaders and hunting them down on the minimap. Shaq definitely did cheat. I mean, to not to this day, even though I can't prove it. Uh, he's a lying little bastard. And uh, one day his crimes will be exposed. He wishes. He wishes. I'm just better than him. Day 37. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. And I got nothing. I can't. After days of that, I got some servant cells. That's that's all I got to show myself. Day 38. Today I find a drowned with a trident. And this time I actually get to kill it. So I use my looting five stone sword. And I still don't get a trident. Bro, it's in your hand. How the fuck don't you get it? It's crazy. Day 39 and 40. Nothing really happened. Day 41. We find an intelligent slime. And Sonny tries to steal it, it from Toby, who found it. Sonny just gave it to him. 
<laughs> Stop! You're evil! Okay, I'll just charge him now. You're an evil man. Oh, he got it! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Yeah. It's only name, me. I could evolve him, yeah. Yo, I, I, why didn't we figure this like 41 days ago? Yeah. Shaq realizes that I can evolve by being named and I don't have to actually get a trident. I knew this the whole time. I just don't want Sonny to name me because that means I can't hit him. And that man is evil. And I can't fight back now. So this puts me in a bad situation. He can beat my ass and I can't even touch him. So now thanks to Sonny naming me, I've evolved from a lizard man into a dragon newt. I'm like this guy now. Boom. This grants me thunder breath and the ability to fly like an elytra but it uses up my hunger. This also means the trident search was all for nothing, but it's alright because I got buffed a bit. My HP nearly doubled from 24 to 40. My damage quadruples from 1 to 4. My attack speed also increases by 2, and my movement speed stays the same. Also, check this out. There's a spider oh jockey, God, a jockey one of the spiders from Slime. A black spider. This has no significance, but I thought it was kind of cool. Because I was fucking yeah. bamboozled when I saw that. <laughs> a skeleton on a black spider. Day 42. Toby gets his first skill, Dilettante. You do not need to know what this skill is. It's never used. But he got one nevertheless. Easiest one. There we go. Dilla, dilla, dilla. Dilettante. Dilettante. What the fuck is no fucking I idea. I spend the rest of the day assembling my Eye Owl army. Now with my new flight and my ruler skill, I can just right click and they become my subordinate. So I go collect a few and create a strike squad. Sadly, it was incredibly shit, as they are far too slow to catch anything. Day 43, Toby gets heat sense. Now that Toby has Predator, there are many animals and mobs that you can kill and get skills from them. Here is a list of all that you can get. Pause to read. I also find an intelligent slime, but this time don't get a skill from it. Oh, I didn't get it. Fuck. After that, I find a lizard man tree, and with ruler, I recruit all of my brethren and make an army. Dock him! Deck him, boys! Deck him! This is not a good time for you to be here, bro. Picked the wrong time to pull up. Picked the wrong time to pull He cut, pulled up in my den. Piss off, dickhead! I killed him. Sadly, a creeper takes us out about 10 minutes later. It's not hard. You just stand oh, too far oh, above. Oh, this, oh. this is such bullshit. I, mean, oh, I was fucking too high above. I wish you could see. Day 44. There's a dragon on our base. I don't know who invited him over. Oh my god, Toby. What are you done, bro? Don't even what do you mean what about that? It's a dragon! How did it get here? He's pissing off. He's fucking flying away. He's flying away. He's flying away. He's flying he away. doesn't he's want the content. smoke. Why did he do that when I was there? Because I was Unless there. He's coming. All I can remember, my memory's a little, little foggy. I think some dickhead dragon just appeared out of nowhere and started beefing with me. I didn't do anything to it, mainly because I couldn't. I was a wimp at that time. And he just kept killing me over and over. Came right to my house to spawn camp me. I was outraged. And what, to make things worse, he made me look silly because as soon as Zivsky came over, it ran away. What? How am I that easy when Zivsky, no offense to him, he was barely better than me at that point. I had Ifrit inside me. I didn't even know what that guy had. And the dragon just flew off like a little pussy. I, I still can't live it down to this day. Day 45, Toby gets Hydraulic Propulsion. I've got Dolphin's Grace 10 constantly in war. Dolphin's Grace 10? And With his crazy speed upgrade, we decide to have a race. He absolutely destroys me in the water. Oh, he's way rapid. He's so rapid. <laughs> speed! But my flight comes out on top. Oh, your flight might actually be quicker than mine. Come on. Come on, legs. Don't, don't, don't fail me now. Yes. Yes. Nah, your flight's actually Let's quicker. Let's go. Day 46. I may have forgot to mention that when I evolved, I also got a magical boost. So mine has went from 8,000 to 26,000. Oh, and Toby went on a killing spree and gained four new skills. From now on in the video, I'm only going to say the important skills because it would make it way longer than it needs to be. Mention just irrelevant skills. Day 47. Today, I discover the boat strap. Now, this is revolutionary for the rest of this video, honestly. I always keep two boats on me from now on. And spoiler... These will come in very handy. You, you got boated! Oh Wait, boats God. to play! <laughs> boats to play! Day 48. Toby gets Severer. This skill is crazy, as when you hit someone, they can't heal the damage dealt. This is great against oh, bosses Toby. who have self-healing, as it means they just can't heal anymore. It is hands down one of the best skills in the game. We also find a slime and boat it for Sonny to kill, because he hasn't done one yet. 
Sadly, he doesn't get an ability from it. Day 49. Toby gets Retaliator. This skill is also incredibly broken, as you are literally invincible if you have enough magicals. Basically, if anyone hits you, they take the damage. Also, I bolted this motherfucker. This other wilder is like the strongest one, literally. And he was chasing me for five minutes straight. So I decided, why don't we just sit down and have a chat? <laughs> I sat there talking. Day 50. In this playthrough, I went through this portal once and then never again. As at the time, I had no idea what mod it was from, but now I know it is actually Tensura. I'm reading now, and I think that the end still exists, but the nether doesn't. However, through that thing is the spirit realm, and it is the combination of the two. Today I find an intelligence slime, and still no ability. Get in the fucking boat, Did you, you actually? <laughs> You're boating I'm the boating him. <laughs> I didn't get anything. Fuck. Day 51. Shaq gets Berserker. Berserker is insanely strong and it gives you ridiculous buffs depending on the amount of human kills you have. Sonny also gets Predator eventually. This means he can actually get skills now. Die, bitch. Yes, let's go! Nice. Hey. Nice. Yes. I'm so proud. Sonny, you can join me now. Day 52. Oh, get in my boat, fella. The fucking boat, Dagny. You <laughs> get in the boat, nice. fella. Are you got the I, can just kill I don't even need to get in the boat. You're oh, weak, mate. You're weak. Did it! We've got great stage as well. Oh my god, you fu- Oh my, you mad. Let's go. You got the oh, fucking best one. Holy my shit. God. I can't- you've, you've outdone me and Sunny. I also get a press at 3% on the same day. A press allows me to teleport to any other player and also go into spectator mode, which makes me invulnerable and able to fly. Pretty busted. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it! Let's go! I'm in I got one. Teleport. It's probably lame, but I holy got one. Also, with Great Sage, it allows me to make Demon Steel. So I make a Demon Seal sword which has inbuilt mending. Day 53 and day 54. I enchant my Demon Seal sword, and then Shaq stumbles upon a Charybdis. How the fuck do you say that word? Charybdis. A Charybdis core. Oh. Next week. Oh, there's what magic cores here. I, I can go in, I can Not go in. Much, in my spectating mode. Oh yeah, it's a Charybdis core. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah. Day 55. A person confused with the Charybdis core the same way Toby did with Ifrit with the Degenerate skill. This will give them new skills, as well as between 100 and 200,000 magicals. However, there's also a chance of it going wrong and the person will die. As Toby's the only one with Degenerate, he's the one who did it. However, it failed and the core blew itself up as it rejected him. But that's not actually what happened at all. Sure, Toby died, but the reason the core disappeared is because of this little goblin. The second that Toby died, the goblin stood on top of the core and fused with it. So to me, it looked like it just blew up. But it was actually the goblins doing. After this, everyone thought the core was just gone and we couldn't get it back. But no, the goblin transformed into a flying fish. Nobody else actually knows this, and I'm the only one who does, because I was editing it and I realised. So it's kind of my fault that Charybdis spawned. But I didn't know this was a thing, so honestly I beat the allegations. We are nowhere near strong enough to beat Charybdis, so I run away. I also find another intelligent slime, and again, do not get this skill. Aww. Day 56 and 57. Ants upgrades his researcher skill into Godly Craftsman by spending 50 levels of XP. This skill just gives crazy enchantments to any item he crafts. Have a see for yourself, as the same day, Ants makes this. They are the craziest boots I've ever seen. What is that? Nice. Day 58. Ants makes the best shovel to ever exist, and I kill a dragon all by myself. Day 59. Ants now makes the greatest pickaxe to ever grace the earth. Oh, oh! Uh, Fortune 9? It's pretty strong. 999, nine, nine, that's crazy. Day 60. I find another intelligence slime. I got it! And this time I actually get Predator! Now this means my 3% chance goes to nearly 100% chance. Now it is so easy to get skills. Sonny also gets Severer, and this is huge because this is the last skill that Sonny needs to evolve. The only requirement left is that he needs to kill a boss. So everyone sets off to kill the Orc Disaster. While they look for him, I get myself some new skills. By the way, Predator also gives the ability to mimic other races to get their stats. But I'm the strongest anyway, so I don't use it. Day 61. Today we fight the Orc Disaster. And I kind of steal the kill. I didn't mean to do this. I was just attacking the boss. Fuck off. Such a bitch. Come here. You're such a bitch. You can't just come and steal the fucking kill.
Uh, I'm thinking there's a reaction of anger. You know, been waiting a long time to uh, to kill him and put in most of the work, and then some uh, thieving bitch just comes along and steals it from me. You know, and just sneaks in the final head like a little rat. Sonny was a little mad about this, but that's fair because he needs it the most. Oh wait, no, he fucking doesn't. He already has 10 times more magicals than me. He is the last person needs to evolve. Anyway, this means we have completed the first goal. And now that I've killed the Org Disaster, I got some new stuff. I obtained a Demon Lord Seed and the skill Starved. The Demon Lord Seed basically gives me the potential to become a Demon Lord and lowers the soul requirement by 10 times from 10,000 to only 1,000. The skill Starved by itself is practically useless. But because I also have the Predator skill, these fuse together and give the skill Gluttony. This is basically an upgraded version of Predator as it can do everything that Predator could and more. The main addition is the ability to give and get skills from subordinates. This is huge as now we don't need the intelligent slime to get skills. I can now give and take to everyone apart from Sonny because he is not my subordinate. Day 62. As I took Sonny's Orc Lord, I found another one for him to kill. But it turns out only one day later, he now doesn't care and he lets Toby kill it. All that over nothing. Oh, don't, don't, don't get too close. Let, let Sonny get it. Let Sonny get it. You can cut it if you want to. Oh, okay. As long as I got my spirit from the lava. But Toby's already got Ifrit, bro. Woo! Nice. I also get the broken ability Sever. I then use my gluttony skill to give Shaq all of mine, and I get the envy skill off of him. This basically just debuffs enemies. It is strong, but we can't even use it because if we do, it just debuffs each other. I then go over to Toby and get a fuck ton of skills from him. That man was grinding. The biggest of all of these he gave me would have to be Degenerate because now I can fuse with Ifrit for more magicals. Heat sense? Yeah, you can take Composite? Compos How many did you have? Oh wait, yeah. I might be able to give you Degenerate. There you go. Oh, Degenerate's really good, isn't it? You can have that. Fucking fire manipulation? Jesus. Day 63 and 64. Oh, yeah. Sunny fuses with Ifrit and gets 11k magicals. And then a day later, I fuse with Ifrit and get a few more. There we go. Okay, I went from 26 to 68. Day 65. I give Shaq the degenerate skill, and he also fuses with Ifrit. <laughs> oh, did you do it? Yeah. Nice. Oh, I now have 28k magical, so I got one. 21k from that. God damn. Nice. Nice. Day 66. We kill another Orc Disaster, and this time, Sunny kills it. This means Sunny is very close to evolving. He just needs more XP, and to kill subordinates? Why is that a requirement? Anyway, I get Traveler, which gives me the ability to travel to any coordinate, which is crazy useful. And to finish off the day, I murder Shaq. Calm down, calm down, he asked me to. He'd been hit by a Severa Otherworlder, so wanted to get his health back. There was also a side effect of me taking a few of his souls. 240 to be precise. That's a quarter of what you need to get Demon Lord. I just got given. I just stole all of Shaq's hard work. This was really bad for Shaq and I was sorry, but thank god it happened. Day 67. By the way, at this point, the soul count is 383. So before the incident, I only had 143. Today, Shaq gets Predator, and then the same day he finds another intelligent slime that I kill and get Absorb and Dissolve. This makes it so my hunger does not decrease. This coupled with my flying ability means I can fly indefinitely now. This is because my flight normally uses hunger, but now it's constant. Day 68 and 69. I give Ants Degenerate, and he also fuses with Ifrit. This means that all of us have now fused with Ifrit, which means another goal has been hit. Day 70. But before we get into that, let's play a game. You ready? Okay. We're playing Zivsky Says. Zivsky Says, sub right now. Thanks for playing. Holy fuck, that was great. And we need to play that more, because this video is literally my best ever for subs. It's crazy, but maybe Zivsky says carried. The others have over 200k more and pale in comparison to the young goat. Obviously, it was one of my first videos and maybe people subbed and came back, blah, 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 but not really at all. When Naruto released, Slime was near 5k ahead and Better MC was in the fucking mud. When they had the same amount of views, the gap was around 3k, then Naruto sailed past but could never surpass in subs, and now is still 2k behind. Thing is, the release of Naruto actually got Slime a ton more views, 
but the subs converted more on slime for some reason. Sorry about the rant, it was interesting. Anyway, if you somehow failed the game, please sub and fix up. 2024, we pushing for... I'd say 150k is reasonable. That's the goal for 2024, sub so we can hit it. Go? Ants teaches me how to use the oppressor skill to its full potential. That tree... I don't know, to the Sky Island. You see the Sky Island up there? Yeah. You ready? Three, two, one, go. I'm here. What? How are you going so fast? Yeah, what? It, 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 what? Inspect it? Yeah. Yeah? And then, like, hold control and your mouse wheel up. Huh? You can increase the spectator speed. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you're right. This is way faster. This is so fast. And I'm invulnerable, this is mad. Also, today I get a direwolf and name him Dogski. He evolves and gets a nice little unicorn horn. The reason I do this is because using Gluttony, I can get the Death Storm. Fucking Death Storm, that sounds crazy. And I'm pretty sure it's the only way to get it. Also, Sonny now evolves to a human sage and gets even more magic yours. Um. <laughs> Go on and say it. 400k magic yours. 400 fucking k. Oh my god. <laughs> Day 71. Shaq now also kills the Orc Disaster. Yay. There we go, nice. Day 72. We go through a portal in a tree to the labyrinth where we are faced by the guardian of this place. The Spirit Protector Colossus. Should I put a health oh, there? Shit. He does damage, he does damage. He does All damage. of us are immune to the health there, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This would be really tricky if we didn't have that. It does do damage though, Luke. Oh shit. He does okay oh, damage. I think he's attacking you though, because you came in. That does it. heal. Oh my god. Oh, I said he died. We've got it! Woo! Nice! Okay, okay we'll wait, wait for Sunny. Oh, we did it. Sunny took one for the team. You may notice we don't have loot here. So, you know how Sunny died? When he came back in, another boss spawned and decked us. The big problem, however, was that in the boss room, you couldn't break gravestones. So, after all this, we had to use commands to retrieve our stuff. After that hard fought victory, we go to the spirit summoning room and try to get spirits. After trying and failing for 10 minutes straight, we eventually figure it out, and everyone gets the spirits. The spirits are yeah! the fire spirit, the water spirit, the wind spirit, the earth spirit, and the sky spirit. There is a further spirit, called the light spirit, but this can only be obtained by a human and is extremely rare. The only way to get it is when you spawn, there is a 30% chance that you'll be able to get it. If you spawn in and don't get that, it's impossible. So it's set as soon as you spawn in if you can get it or not. The light spirit is a requirement to become a true hero. And a true hero is the human version of a true demon lord. So Sunny, who is a human, didn't get the light spirit, so cannot become a true hero. Which is good. That man is crazy OP. Humans are the strongest race, and he already has five times my magicules. I'm sure he'll be fine. But he was the only one to die in the fight. But the reason for that is just because he's shit at the game. Days 73, 4, and 5 were all spent grinding souls because I'm only on 400 and I need 1,000. Day 76. Today I kill a fire dragon and it drops the dragon egg. This means that I can hatch it and get my own. And he just refuses to say. Yeah, I got one. Got an egg. Nice. nice. Then we instead do a raid to get more souls and we end up getting new skills from the Vex and the Illusioner. The main one we got was magic jamming, which fuses with molecular manipulation, which we got from the spirits to give magic manipulation. Now this makes us regenerate magicals faster, which is huge. Magicals take crazy long to regenerate, so most of the time when I run out, I just kill myself to get them back. You get it? Um, nice. If you want, you can walk. Boom, we did it. How many swords have I got? 480, nearly halfway. Day 77. I fight a Cyclops and it kind of beats my ass, so I run away. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 cheer though. Cheer, honey, but. He's probably gonna die. Man, you stupid bitch. He does ungodly damage as he picks you up and tries to eat you. A little later, a third party that motherfucker when he's 1v1 in this massive centipede. He didn't stand a chance this time. No, Sneak no, attack. Buddy. I then try to hatch my dragon egg, but for some reason it doesn't work. Day 78. This happens. Okay, I'm a Cyclops, you stupid bitch. You think take Sunny? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just unfortunate, really. He had a bit the uh, like, um, painting yourself red and talking to the cow, you know. Sometimes the cow is gonna get you. And, uh, unfortunately, that was my time, I guess. 
Okay, I got to work in. You have to put the egg in five for touch. Seven hours later. But what about Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I'm a dragon! I got a dragon! Bro, it's on my shoulder. Oh, really? It's on my shoulder. Oh, this shit's sick as fuck. You can feed dragons dragon meal to speed up the growth process. This is made with bones and any meat. The dragon needs to be at least stage three for me to ride it. So we need a fuck ton of dragon meal ASAP. What You're are you up to? I got 10 dragon meal. Okay, let's go feed him. You're not okay, scram that shit. Get off my shoulder. Get off my shoulder. You never do it yet. What? what? Bro, my shoulder. I don't know how my shoulder's supporting that. His wing is through my fucking face. Jesus. <laughs> how do I check it? Oh, yeah, there we go. Stage one. Stage one, 10 days. Bro, we ain't got time for this. I then take some of the stone swords that Ants masterfully Ooh, created it's incredible. and put them together to create this monstrosity. The sword has a looting seven, so it will make getting the meat and the bones a lot easier. The rest of day 78 and also day 79 is spent grinding bones and meat. Just a load of meat and bonus. You'd love to see it. Day 80. Today I named my dragon. I've got the perfect name. Clyde. Perfect name for a dragon. Did it work? Clyde. The mightiest of them all. I got 28 dragon meals. Surely he gets up with that. Surely. I'm out of magic kill. He's getting so much bigger. Can you still fuck my shoulder? Oh my god. What is oh, that? <laughs> he's stage two. He's stage two. He made it. He made the stage two. Oh, he's flying about. He's getting fancy. Where are you off to, Clyde? Also, while editing, I've just realized the 38 days is not how long it takes to get to stage 3. That is how old Clyde is. Dragons increase stage every 25 days, so he will become stage 3 when he is 50. So in reality, there's only 12 days needed, and not 38. Also, I find Wait, there's a trident. tridents in these chests? Apparently, they're just laying around in the lizard man trees. I know this isn't needed anymore, but it's mind-blowing. Day 81 and 82. Hello, Clyde. How are you today? Eat the, eat the dragon meal. Eat. Eat up. No, that guy is massive. Come on, that must be enough. Okay. Stage 3, there we go. Clyde is now stage 3, so I can ride Clyde. Now that I can fly on Clyde, I think the goal has fully been hit, and I have raised my own dragon. That's oh dragon God. complete. But being stage 3 means that Clyde is now big enough to be used in a dragon forge, and this can make the strongest weapons and armor in the game. However, these are not easy to make. We need 72 dragon bones, 360 dragon scales, and 32 stone bricks. There are also three types of dragon, and they all have to be the same as Clyde, which is fire. It's now time to kill some dragons. For some reason, this first dragon we killed gave a crazy amount of scales. On the wiki, it states they normally only give around 50. But from this dragon, we got 107. Obviously, no complaints here. I'm at magicals, I'm at magicals. <laughs> get him, Zonny, get us. Nice, <laughs> fuck. That is a massive guy. Jesus. Look at his wings, fam, bro. Day 83 to 85. Sonny gets great sage. This is huge as he needs this to evolve. And yes, he gets even stronger. The next two days, me and Sonny spend killing dragons yeah. while everyone gets their souls to try and get Demon Lord. I actually made the Dragon Forge the wrong way around. Instead of, like, layers, I did it sideways. Fuck, I've read this the wrong way. What? You made a block of blood. Oh my god, guy. Is this why you're killing yourself? Let me give you the backstory. Why are you dying, guy? Because I. Because no, not you. I'm talking about someone. Someone's killing themselves. Who's killing okay. themselves? I can just hear someone dying. That's me. <laughs> no, I can't hear you dying. You're not here, right? I'm decently close. Or maybe it was that guy. Yeah, I think it's that guy. Tried to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering why he's fucking in the smelter. <laughs> Day 86. After killing more dragons, we only need one more block to finish the dragon forge. However, you can only craft them in fours, so I need tons more scales, even though I only need one more block. I have to craft four to use one. I don't know why they made it like that, when this is the only use for the block. Also, Shaq becomes a demon lord. That means he has gathered a thousand souls, and he is now a lot more powerful. This increases his magicals by 10 times. How many is your magicals looking? 300k. Uh, Day 87. So to make dragon steel, you need to combine iron and dragon blood in the dragon forge. So now I need to kill more dragons, not just for their scales, but also for their blood. The dragon population is really suffering right now. Tough time for dragon fans. And to get dragon blood, all you do is slap a dead dragon with a glass bottle and you're set. If this works for you, I'll be subbing my toes for you. Yeah. When editing, I heard this and I just had to expose Sunny. What the fuck is that guy talking about? God, am I grateful it worked though. Day 88. 
After killing a ton more dragons, we eventually get enough fire bricks to finish the forge. So I then go up to place the last piece of the puzzle. And it turns out a huge chunk of the platform has disappeared. Apparently Clyde just flew through it and was one block off destroying the forge that is made of his, <laughs> that is made of his friend's bodies. The forge is literally made of dead dragons and now we're going to get him to breathe into it. For it to work, you need three things. A dragon, iron and dragon blood. At this point we have 29 bottles of blood and for everyone to get armor and a sword, we need 100 more at 130. I don't think Clyde was too open to the whole uh, slavery we had planned, so he tried to fly away. But don't worry, I put a chain of metal around him and it seemed to hold him back somehow. Also, Clyde being the god that he is, he doesn't even look at the forge. Bro is looking away and somehow breathes fire backwards. Casual for the god though. There we go, it's working. And in a few short minutes, we craft the strongest sword in the game. Boom, 25 damage sword. This thing does 25 damage. The current sword that I have at the moment only does 12. Like we just double damage. It also comes with inbuilt fire aspect and knockback if it wasn't good enough. I next try enchanting it to make it even better. And I am blessed with unbreaking three. I got unbreaking three on a level 30, that is insulting. But even though the enchant was uh, a bit disappointing, I think the sword will still be uh, half all right. And you know how it goes, the rest of the day is spent killing more dragons for their blood. Day 89. Toby eventually evolves into yeah. Demon Lord. <laughs> Any time now. It's lasted a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> Good thing is my, my He hasn't cramped the lungs. <laughs> yeah. He's got him quit. There we go! Oh, demon Lord. Good. Squirtle the Demon Lord. So now as he doesn't need souls, I take his place killing people and he gets mending. Looking back now, I don't even know why we got mending. There is legit 10 days left, but fuck are we born. Time to kill some newborn Vindicators. And no we did not cheat this in, this was on a boat where there was tons of Vindicators that was added by one of the mods. Toby just destroyed the boat and made a box. Day 90. That means that there is only 10 days left. And we have three more goals to do. Anyway, Toby gets mending, but he only gives it to those who are worthy. In order to obtain the mending book, you need to answer his riddle. We did this for ages, but here is an example, and let's see if you get it. Two in a corner, one in a room, zero in a house, but one in, in a shelter. What is it? Oh. Oof. Ah, shit. You got that first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The answer was R, the letter R. I already answered in less than a second. Call me toast with my 1000 IQ. For the rest of the day, I grinded more souls at the spawner and also killed a village which had tons more. Like, look at the minimap. There are hordes. This is like the entire population of Wyoming. Day 91. After killing hundreds of Vindicators, the time has finally arrived. The final kill. Okay. You, my friend. You're the final soul I need. Thank you for your service. While I was getting my souls, Sonny was making Dragon Seal, and now we each have a full set. Demon Lord. How long does this shit take? 30 seconds. There we go. Oh I'm so proud of you. And I? I'm now a demon lord and have 600,000 magic heals. And that is another goal done. So I now have 80 health, 8 attack damage, 8 attack speed. Spoiler, Ants doesn't get demon lord in time. So uh, you'll have to set off for me, Shaq and Toby. Day 92. Today, I prepared for the big fight. I enchanted all my new armor and I named each piece. The helmet of Z. The chest of Z. The shoes of Z. And them fly as fuck Gucci jeans. I also named my sword. I called it Jivando. This doesn't mean anything, but it sounds like a name fit for a mighty sword wielded by a demon lord dragon you. And you can't tell me it doesn't sound cool. Heavily inspired by Mjolnir. Day 93. Today is the big day. Today we come back to fight the beast we let out long ago. It will now be vanquished and the world shall be healed. Take it away, Google. Time to destroy Charybdis. <laughs> Oh no, which hill, which hill, which hill? It's, it's loaded. Like, yeah. It just took a little bit. There he is. The cavalry, yeah. Kill the bitch. Yeah. 
Fuck him up. Black flame him. Watch out for not hitting. He's gun low, he's gun low. Fuck him up. Move away when he's like below 100. Move away. Wait, no, 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 he's gonna. He's gonna. Wait, wait. Oh shit, he's this close. I'm hitting him. He can't he's not land it. Yeah. Yeah. He fucking did it. Woo! Beldora child. Bruh. Honestly, that could rib this guy was kind of easy. He was deleted in less than a minute. But listen to this. We let Sonny kill it because he needed to to evolve. But then after that, he decided to fuse with the core and gain even more magicals. And then he evolved and doubled them again. In this short span, he went from 400k to 1.4 million. Holy shit. You killed him, which got you 100k, and then you fused with him, which got you an extra 200k. And now you're gonna evolve. I'm already evolved. 1.4 million. Oh, the fuck? <laughs> my god. You have more than all of us combined. Like Day 94 to 96. To prepare for the biggest and final battle with Hinata, we all try to search for another Carabidas so we can get more magic kills. To locate the Carabidas core, why the fuck did I go back to saying it wrong? You use the command to scan the surrounding area. So I was just going around everywhere I could flying and using the command. Day 97. As we were going to fight the final boss, I made a few precautions. I'm happy to say the boat meta is alive and well. And that is my plan to kill Hinata. Also today, Shaq finds another Carabidas core. These can actually be broken, so Shaq brings it home and gives it to Ants. This will now give him a boost and bring him closer to everyone else. Oh, that's right. so that's just BOOM! Holy shit. Oh. Holy shit, that guy's cool. My god incarnate. Hmm? My god incarnate. Jesus. Oh, he started man. flying. Uh, 200k. Day 98. Today, we fight the most evil, stupid, and broken thing I have ever faced in any game. Let's discuss. Hinata and her abilities. Firstly, her sword will kill you in 7 hits and there is no way to stop it. Even if you're on full health, when you hit the 7th time, you instantly die. And there's no way to reset this unless by dying. Secondly, she has anti-magic in a 50 block radius around her, so most of our skills are now impossible to use against her. We have to use melee. Thirdly, she can summon up to 6 ifrits to help her fight. Why can she do that? Fourthly, even if you somehow can use magic, she will likely be immune to it, and if it's a projectile, she will reflect it. Fifthly, isn't actually a word, but I'm going to keep going. She also heals herself 5 HP every 3 seconds. So if you take too long, she's just going to heal back up to full, and you have made no progress. She can also do this thing where she goes invincible for 5 seconds, and then explodes, killing anything near her. And one more thing, there is an 80% chance that your attack does not hit. 8 out of 10 times, your sword just misses. She just dodges it. Okay, let's go over everything. So, you can't use magic, no projectiles, she kills the 7 hits. When you do hit her, she will likely not take damage, and even if you hit her, she will likely be back to full health when the next hit lands. This task seems impossible, but as they say, the power of friendship is stronger than any other. Pause and let me know in the comments if you think we can do it, because it doesn't look good for us. Honestly, this guy doing the voiceover is pretty damn good. I didn't realize I was chill like that. And guys, no one commented saying if we'd win or not. What the fuck? I need comments to drive engagement and print more money. We all got roles here, and someone isn't playing theirs. Cough them damn comments up. Bring them in. Keep them coming. And prepare for what many consider the fight of the century. Wait, what ability should I have? <laughs> okay, go in, go in, she's in! She's killing me, she's killing me. Dog Moses died. Oh, 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 I'm I laid down the boat. Oh, she's got anti magic. We can't use skill. I laid down. Oh, I didn't out. lay down the boat of boat. pain. Oh shit! She's trying to get her in the boat. She's get her in the boat. She's running off me. Put her in the boat. Put her in a hole or a boat. The boat trick has never failed us before. It usually does work. Oh, she's. she's, she's, she's you walk she's towards the boats, bro. Okay, I got out black flash, bro. I think. Hey. Oh, she can't get me in. It's not bad. Well, bait towards the boat! Bait towards the boat! I just hit my own goblins. <laughs> oh, I can't fly though. Well, save the man. Save Why did you have to fight her, bro? I didn't even have that skill or something. She's in the oh, boat! She's, she's in the boat! Beat her ass! Fuck her. Beat her ass. 
Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, she can still hit the one. We're not even hitting her, bro. She has an 80% chance to dodge. Bro, what? Is it zombie in the back? I got him. My goblin. Put the boat back down. My goblin. Put the boat My back down. No! <laughs> I'm sorry. Put her in the boat. Put her in the boat. She's healing. <laughs> Fuck, she's healing. Same way with Sarah. <laughs> this is going, so, going so poorly. What Hello, are you doing? Sarah. Get the fuck down. This is following you, Sonny. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm actually going to kill us. Yeah, put him in a boat. Put her in the boat. Get him out! 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 Get him Fucking goblin. We knew you could bring down literal gods with wooden boats. <laughs> <laughs> I just laid a battlefield of boats down. <laughs> she didn't even summon different there, that was fucking lucky shit. Lucky Realistically, the there's no other way we're gonna beat her, so that that counts. That so counts. There we go. We beat Tanata. Oh shut this guy up. Tell me why half the fight, bro is in the menus. And the self slay riding here is crazy talking all kinds of way how I'm so smart. I apologize, I swear my ego is not that big. It may not have been the most glorious way to do it, but we did it nonetheless. We beat the unbeatable today, and I don't think it matters the means. In all fairness, all that was used was a bit of tactics and knowledge of the video game. I'm truly sorry if you were disappointed with the way we did it. But yeah, it, w it wasn't gonna happen without my genius play. From killing Hinata, I got the usurper skill. This may not seem like much, but I am legitimately the, the icon of the skill. Like, one to one, it is the same thing. They fucking stole my crown. Anyway, the reason I bring this up is the game must know something because the skill reads the next king and it must be referring to how I will be the next king of YouTube, right? I mean, I'm putting the dots together and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> please like, comment and subscribe so we can make that happen. Please, pretty please, Pr pretty triple please. And a kiss, hug too. High five? Scooby snack. Maybe begging is a great strat for subs too. For the last two days, we just killed each other, so I won't waste your time with that. But before I go, and we end this beautiful journey, check out my Twitch in the description. <laughs> I'll be streaming. Hope to see you there, and goodbye. Thanks for watching! I am gonna start streaming again, so give me follows over there, pretty please. I'll even throw in another Scooby snack. Okay, slime done. The next one up is Better MC. This of course is not an anime mod pack, but was very cool nonetheless. A funny thing about this video is I added the Spongebob levitating meme and the entire video got claimed. Copyright is dumb as shit. How does an 11 second snippet mean they can take all the money a 1 hour 26 video makes? They should take their 0.02% and enjoy it. So anyway, I had to add some YouTube library tunage and it slaps to be honest. But why the fuck in the description does it have a picture of Blueface? Let us commence. In this video, me and four friends survive 100 days in the Better MC mod. This mod adds new loot, new bosses, and new dimensions to discover, nice. as well as making the originals far better. We have a lot to do, so here are the goals for this video. We need to trade with the Bee Queen, raise a dragon, make a hamburger, get a set of each type of armor, and also kill all of the bosses, which are the Adjudicator, the Lich, the Gauntlet, the Obsidolith, the Void Blossom, the Warden, uh, hi, hi. obviously the Ender Dragon, the Blackstone Golem, the Eye, and the Void Shadow. So yeah, we are gonna be busy. This video is also a celebration of many milestones, because we grew kinda fast. So this is a 2, 3, 4, and 5,000 special. Thank you guys so much for the support, and if you are new here, please like, comment, and subscribe, because this shit took more than 100 hours to make. Anyway, let's go. Day 1, here we are, on a desert island. Oh, we've really been shafted with this phone. I start off by making some better tools, and Ooh, then me and Ants trip. set off on a boat trip. We then steal this guy's oh, stuff and leave him. And a silk yeah, touch bar. Holy shit. But before we go, mm -hmm. Ants takes this majestic photo of me. Next, we find another one and decide to take the villager with us. So we throw him in the back of the boat. And honestly, I don't think he ever leaves it. Oh, there's a village. There's a village in a thousand blocks. You wanna go? Yeah, this must be a site. There you go. Yeah, I see a villager. There's also yeah, land over here. Boy. What's wrong with this poor guy? I think it's just pork on cooking. How can we help you out? Just take what you want, though. You know what's Unemployed? Best. You think we're taking your unemployed yeah, ass? Hell nah. <laughs> take all his food, though. Uh huh. Day two. 
We find an island with volcanoes, and when Toby hears of this, him and Shaq leave Spawn, meaning Sunny's the only one left. This uh, is a cooler really? island than the other one. We've got two yeah, fucking volcanoes. <laughs> Please. They, they had a volcano, Sunny. We can't pass that up. We're going yeah. over to them. No, I'm not Let's good at directions, it. though. <laughs> Enjoy the house, Sunny. It's a nice house. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, this is me for the next 100 days, I guess. <laughs> we then go caving, and Antonelli dies. There's a creeper! <laughs> oh my god, he's been crushed! He's been crushed! <laughs> no. You hit me! <laughs> I'm trying to mine the fucking gravel, and he slaps me! No, I couldn't see you, I couldn't have a table. Holy shit, what is that? What, what is, is that? that? An orc? It's some huge green thing. An orc. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Orc, come on. I'm the home Just island. Just a simple desert man. Not here, Mr. Orc. Can I blowjob? <laughs> you giving him blowjobs? I'm glad we left, Shaq. <laughs> okay, actually, yeah. And by the way, there are baby creepers now. Every mob has a baby version. Day three. Put a lot of blood. Me and Ants continue oh, caving, and I managed to find some diamonds. Okay, diamonds caught hey. on day three. Not too bad. Sadly, both happen oh, to be oh, one vein bro, somehow. A... Like, what are the chances? <laughs> Another one vein. Let's go. Ants then finds a spider spawner. And a goblin trader spawns with the craziest trades possible. Yeah, oh, there's a trader. Is. There's a trader. That's a trader. Don't kill the trader. And we should fucking scam in this guy. Wait, what? <laughs> One for two? He doubles your iron and smelt it? What a guy. Oh, apple to emerald. What the hell? Our oh, currency is literally apples and all. Wait, this guy has eyes. Okay. Wait, this guy has ender pills and blaze rods. We could literally get ender eyes yeah. from him for two How emeralds. Is that guy? For two emeralds. Two emeralds. Day four. Hans manages to find a name tag, so now we can keep the goblin. I got the perfect name. Okay. You do. If to Sunny, if Sunny's you mom. The house, I'm gonna go get some leather so we can all get my packs. <laughs> you really named of Sunny's fucking mom? We can go see your mother someday, Sunny. What do they mean, yeah. mama? Yeah, we've got your mom in the boat here, health hostage. Uh huh. I then mine a route to the surface. Turns out she can so climb ropes, so it was pretty easy. Like... It's working. Sonny's mom's yeah, coming! If you bastard. Yes, she's to the surface! We did it! Sonny, your mom, she can finally get a tan. Meanwhile, Sonny finds where Toby and Shaq run off to. See ya! <laughs> no, 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 I've gone at them, the one island scare. They have boats! I've gone at them. Actually, really Sonny, sick. Sonny, do you wanna, do you wanna come to a you truce wanna, and make a tree house? just live here. Tree out. And then Toby starts making a house. Welcome. To the beginning of a humble abode. Uh, kind of shit, though. Shut up. Oh when God. the stew is sus. Uh, Why did yeah. you drink that? <laughs> it gave me okay. It gave me four minutes of levitation. Day five. I find a temple, but instead of TNT at the bottom, there's a ton of creepers. There's just an abundance of creepers, bro. I see six creepers. What's okay, vein mine? If you mine a tree with an axe, it chops it and down entirely. How do you use that? What? Just mine a tree. Oh, no. That killed me? Noobs here. Yeah. And I somehow died to them, even though it was like six blocks away, and I had full iron on. Oh, you've made, you did the achievement now, that's good. Yes. Wait, is that to get high limit? Oh. Yeah. So. Wait, no, 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 it says levitate 50 from shulker. But it wasn't even a shulker, you, you just fucking had some stew. Yeah, I had some stew and now I'm up here. <laughs> oh, you fucking bastard. Oh, you're not! Oh uh, no. Going outside is dangerous, isn't it? This was not worth me dying. There is fuck all here. Day six. Toby takes me to the house and we reunite Sonny and his mother. The fuck no, is that? This is, not this is Sonny's mum. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny, you didn't tell me your mum was a model. I'm not young out there as well. Anyway, let's go. You are. Ugly creature. <laughs> On the way though, we find an infinite wait, wait, money glitch. Wait, 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 come here, come here. But sadly, the game is bugged and the goblin doesn't oh, restock. This doesn't look like Mama. What well, it is? It's not. <laughs> oh, we've got the wrong one. And then you can see what sees more. Do you want so to die? No, no, no. It's it's you want to get out of here one way. And that's right here. Come on down. Uh, uh. And then I go fishing oh, from the comfort of my what? own home. Yeah, you better fish, you little bitch. Yeah, fish for me. Oh. This guy's a weird son. And I get an iron crate. Oh, I got This a is a very underwhelming. Crate. But all that was in oh, it was like, kelp, like a twig, an iron. Day seven. Sonny destroys my chair, so I kill him. 
Fausto. I think I'm not gonna kill you. Okay, you, no, you're not getting away this time. You're not getting away this time, son. Hey, buddy. Still? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Why is there a zombie picked in? I don't, know, that's I, don't have a, I don't have a vision on it's shooting. Throw it, throw it, throw it, save it, throw it, throw it, no. <laughs> How am I gonna save you? I'm gonna fuck off. That's okay, we'll call it truth ski and you go guys the iron now. <laughs> that's not how that works. After that, then Sonny and Toby go and venture to the Bumble Zone, which is a dimension that you get in by throwing an ender pill at a beehive. Point to the Bumble Zone. They're in a new dimension. Day 8. All I did today was fish. But Toby and Sonny run into some problems in their adventure. Oh, what have you done? Get another water, Holy get another shit, water. they're going in the water. They must have fell back down if I did. They can't, yeah, they're taking damage. Bees are bad in water. Hands behind you. It's okay. Oh shit, Toby. Shit. Uh, oh, please don't be angry at me. Oh, they're not, they're not, okay. Well, I'm Sonny gonna... died. <laughs> Day nine. All that really happens today is oh, I find no. a I ton of loot oh, at this random shack yeah. thing. We got 10 punky pies in this bitch? Just creep behind me. Whoa, what is this place? Holy shit! Oh, I think I found something. I'm rich! I've made it! I got strength potion, regen potion, jump boost potion. Day 10. I just spent the day mining, but Toby found something in the bumble zone. Uh, I'm not gonna say this is depressing. You're depressed? No. Just mine out, just get the fuck out of there. No, I'm finding at least something. Oh, wait! I see someone on map! Mine into it. Except the bumble zone is not for the faint of heart. It's for the stupid people. Oh wait, maybe not. Hang on. Bite your tongue. Bite my tongue. Oh. I'm gripping your tongue. My hand is in your mouth. Destroy it, Zephy. I think I lied. What? You want to kill your tongue? I got it. I got oh. Wait. Maybe. I'll give it back. You can have it back. Okay, calm down. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I saw a wall of bees ready to kill me. <laughs> I'm not going that way. What's in here? What is this shit? Why? Oh, it's a spider what, what spawner. What is it? What is it? The fuck? Oh shit! Oh fuck! I can't see it. Oh! Why are they here? Why? Why bees? Save me! Toby then leaves the bumble zone, disappointed with what he found. Fuck the bumble zone. Five Day eleven. Pounds. I take over a pillager boat, and they add some crazy loot. Okay. Holy shit! There's so much good stuff here. Oh, we upgrade and baby. Holy shit! And then I nearly die twice to the vindicators. I'm gonna die to vindicators. Holy shit, these guys are strong. Maybe so. They do have thermals, yeah. It's not worth it! <laughs> Turns out I got a sword Whoa, with a mending, sword. so I use that for a while. I don't know when I made the first one, but I make a second backpack and upgrade them both to gold, which means they can hold three rows more items. I basically have extra six rows of inventory. You can't put a backpack in a backpack, but you can just keep multiple backpacks on you. Day 12. I find an ocean monument. I don't go to it, however. I then get a ton of stuff from looting this guy's house. Oh! You say you're hard to see, you need it, Sonny. No? Yep. Oh, I got one. On an island. It was just a, a, a barrel. With an unemployed villager. I don't know how in the world he's so abandoned. Then a bit later on my travels, I find a ton of diamonds on a floating island. Day 13. I find the treasure chest, which has even more diamonds in. Oh, three diamonds. I then go back to the monument to get shards for Sonny to make a trident, as you can craft them in the mod. Day 14. I give Sonny the materials and he makes the trident. I think Sonny made the enchanting room yesterday, so he goes and enchants it. He gets riptide, unbreaking, yeah. and one of the most broken enchantments uh, in the game, poison point three. Po Holy shit, poison two for 15 seconds? Yeah. That's crazy shit. Uh, it would kill me if it was possible, yeah. Uh, I'm, I can fly now. I'm now on half a heart. There's a, that's, uh, bro. I hear a spider. I'm scared. Oh, you killed oh, yourself. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, I probably lost so many levels. <laughs> what? How did you die there? That's like on top of the fucking... I then go mining. And this cave is goddamn beautiful. Oh my god, this cave is fucking beautiful. Oh, I got a soul star. That's where you need to, um, to find the... Well, the lich. Lich. Yeah, that's it. That's Day 15. Well, maybe late. What the fuck have I come on upon? The amount of XP that they give us. We should put us. What is going on here? I just want to show you this strange formation I found. There is absolutely no meaning or explanation for this. You're just gonna sit there and take it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I just assassinated all of them. Day 16. Nothing much happens, but these idiots didn't know that you can't place water in the nether. 
I believe in you. I believe in you. That sensor knife does really good. <laughs> okay, well, we've learned a valuable lesson here. The you water died? cannot be spawned in the Never Zufi. Day 17 and 18. I upgrade my backpack and then go back to mining for diamonds. I, I got four diamonds from breaking an urn. What the fuck? Zufi? Pretty decent. I just no, got some diamond that. boots? What? With mending on? <laughs> Can I put the on uh, I got some mended. <laughs> Mine, bro. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Day 19. Toby gave me some new armor. This armor is nether ruby, and it comes with an inbuilt enchantment, which is like thorns, but it has huge knockback and also burns. Toby also makes a small room to farm nether reed, as they are needed to make nether tools instead of sticks. Who's kissing me from afar? Oh, so look, here's our little farm room. It's gonna be upgraded in the near future. Oh, nether who's that? Hello. Exactly. Hello, See, reed mate. Doing, How are you I'm doing? Saying? With these, I then make a Cincinnati diamond pickaxe, but it can't be enchanted because yeah. it comes with an inbuilt it's enchantment decent. of obsidian breaker. Oh, it's lame. Day 20. Today I farmed XP. Is there are a bunch of spawners like a hundred blocks away, and they are crazy fast. Day 21. Sonny manages to use two stacks of lapis in a day. The reason he used so much is because it lets you reroll enchantments for just one lapis you, and one how XP. How much lapis have you used? But that still means that he must have rerolled over a hundred times. Oh, also, Toby goes back to the bumble zone. I'm enchantment pickaxe. No! No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, I promise, please, please, no, oh shit, oh fuck, oh god, oh no, that's a lot, oh, oh, that's so many bees, what the, my goodness, Toby, no, that's so many bees, the bees, you recording, Toby, help, I need to see your point of view, bro. Help! Get us some marbles, and I'll go help him with the bumbles. Tony, just... Actually... Oh, he died. Maybe the bumble zone wasn't the one. And finally, I enchant some stuff. Okay, I'm gonna roll for efficiency. Efficiency 4, I got it. Okay, efficiency 4 will do. Day 22. My game crashed twice because of this shitty quiver. For some reason, it didn't let me add arrows to it. So when it was empty and I loaded my crossbow, the game just died. It seems this I think crossbow it. breaks my game. Also, I found two of the blaze guardians, which are like just buffed blazes, and I managed to kill one. There's two of them? Oh, what? I killed it. I killed the blaze guardian. Go. Day 23. Oh, Rocket, 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 oh, I punched it on fuck I panicked. I oh no. Sunny, 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 sunny. Sunny, kill these. Yeah, there's literally nothing here. Oh my god. This has got to be someone. This is a weird fucking destruction. Oh. What is this? Oh! How the fuck did that happen? They can fly through the hole. Run, 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 run. Also, I find a mineshaft in the nether and get my first two pieces of ancient debris. Day 24 and 25 was spent mining for netherite. However, I kind of got lost on the way out and was walking around the maze for like 10 minutes straight. I did eventually find my way up the mine, just to get lost looking for the ball. After I had somehow made it home, I combined some swords and books and upgraded my sword a little. Before it didn't even have sharpness on, it now has sharp 5. I also name it the sword that condemns. Why you may ask? Because it sounds cool. Day 26. At the moment I have 7 netherite scraps in total, so I make some new pickaxes and go mining for more. But before I do, Ants shows why the nether ruby armor is so good. <laughs> How did you go flying, what? I don't know, he's got some sort of fucking super farms on him. <laughs> oh my god, you're on half a heart! Holy shit! You got him on half a heart! I'm also gonna be on half a heart very soon. He's trying to try to... Day 27 and 28. They continue fighting while I'm mining. He must die for peace to be made, Well, he just died. You must see them now. He just died. I just died. Good time. <laughs> I find a fortress and a fortune 3 buck in a chest. Oh, fortune 3, that is huge. I also find a nether temple. What is this place that I'm in? I don't like it. Oh, wait, there's just a. Oh, 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 it's a trap chest. That's what we got here. It's a nether temple. Oh, oh, oh! It's a nether temple with a trapped chest. And Toby extends the house. It's cobblestone brick. That looks really sick. Day 29. I upgrade my second backpack to diamond. 
and Sunny discovers that you can use the backpacks from the other mod too. You can stack them on top of each other. So you know we're gonna abuse that. Also, Ants and Shaq decide to fight, but Ants gets destroyed because Shaq pops a god apple. Why are you running around? <laughs> he instantly ran. <laughs> I'm not fighting that. Wait, I'm gonna postpone this. Just, just, no, 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 no. I'm using my god apple. He wasted his god apple. Come on. Holy shit, that was knockback. What the fuck is that knockback? It doesn't do any damage, but it's sending me by us. Do you want to just forfeit or Sunny, corner draw stop. even? If you're just going to run away, corner draw. You're no, literally at 1 HP, you're about to die. Just... Okay, corner draw, corner draw. Stop, Sunny. Are you doing that? Oh, <laughs> okay, that, that was, was the battle. Fight. Well, that was sick. That was, that was not a battle. Day 30 and 31. We fight villagers yeah, to get mending, but we didn't even bring lecterns. So we go to the wooden mansion to steal their bookshelves and kill the residents. So I can have a shield and a totem of a dime? Wow. Now, this is the 21st century. While there, I managed to get a few tomes of a dime, but I have to leave to get swarmed by vexes. There's far too many, they just keep spawning. Them hoes didn't leave me alone too, they were chasing me all the way back. We then locked the villagers up and demand mending from them, but they had other ideas and they tried to sell the Curse of Unwielding book for a stack of emeralds. I was a few times re-rolling trades and then managed to get mending and there was only 28 emeralds. Nice. Which is, this is Toby abode. Toby's humble abode. Is that gonna be humble? Job. Day 32. As we had two villagers imprisoned, Sonny uses the other one to get the neurotoxin enchantment, which is basically paralysis and is insanely broken. However, this enchantment is exclusive to the bee stinger that is obtained in the bomber zone and we don't even have one yet. Now that we have mending, we need to get emeralds. So we go to the sky village that Shaq found when he was tripping on sus stew and find some fletchers. This is because it is hella easy to get sticks because you can chop whole trees by mining one block. Everybody open all of them. <laughs> Bro, why are there so many in this room? What the fuck? <laughs> I also upgrade my pickaxe by adding Unbreaking 3 and Fortune 3. And I name it the Pig of Legend, which is pretty self-explanatory. Day 33. Under the Sky Islands, these bastards were hiding the emeralds, so I used my new Fortune 3 pick and get mining. In one day, I went from 40 emeralds to 2 stacks. With my new wealth, I then go and buy more mending books and put one on my pickaxe. Day 34 and 35. I fight an illusioner. And I also make a new backpack. Day 36. Sunny gets a bee spear and adds a neurotoxin and potent poison to it. So it does paralysis and poison 4. And he can throw it. He can do that from range. It is the most broken thing in the game. Paralysis literally means you can't move. You are stuck in place. I then upgrade my backpack into the blaze backpack, which means I don't even take fall damage anymore. We then start a raid on the sky island, which as you might guess, didn't work very well. We all got an instant victory, but sadly no hero of the village. Day 37 to 41. It is now time for some off camera mining. There's nothing to eat. You're telling us how much you eat. Uh, uh, he's been self-sufficient for years. He's living yeah. on reserves. Yeah, I'm drinking cold. I don't what? think anyone what? mentioned that. Uh, wait, I don't yeah, what? There's a lot of health benefits to it. And here are the results of that. We got around 9 stacks of lapis, and thank god as we were running out. 4 stacks of iron, a stack and a half of gold, a bit of redstone, and just over 2 stacks of diamonds. And just as I'm making my way out, Sonny decides to throw a bomb at Toby while in the house. Toby gets blasted, but so does his own mother. Sonny's mother was killed by Sonny. Well, the initial reaction was probably that that's not my mother, but um, you know, the more I hung around it, the more uh, it became like a mother to us. You know, it may have not been my real mother, but it, uh, it was like a surrogate mother, and it was it greatly upset us when it died. When you killed it? Rest in peace, Goblin. It'll be missed. Day 42. With my newly found immense wealth, I decide to make some diamond armor and enchant it. Firstly, I enchant my chest plate and get prop 4, unbreaking 3, and thorns 2. Pretty perfect, to be honest. I then go to get some mending books, but the villager seems to have run out. And at the time, I didn't realize, but there is no fucking lectern. Someone has destroyed the lectern, and because of this, he can't restock. Till this day, I still have no idea who or what moved it, as everyone denied it was them. I leave, thinking he needs more time and use my only mending book on my chest plate. And then enchant a helmet and get prop 4, unbreaking 3 and hoofty 2. Hoofty is a new enchantment so you probably don't know what it is, but apparently hoofty is meant to go on leather horse armor and put on a reindeer to give it swiftness. 
I have no idea why it's on my helmet, but we take those, I guess. I decide to keep my nether ruby pants instead of the diamond, as the knockback and fire is hella strong. And finally, I get an efficiency 4 buck and combine it with my pickaxe to get efficiency 5, meaning my pickaxe is now complete. Day 43. Shaq gets shot 5 on his sword. It's pretty good. I then spend the rest of the day mining netherite to upgrade my new armor. When I'm there, I find a nether goblin trader that gives free netherite scraps. However, this time he doesn't double it, he gives 1 extra for every 4 ancient debris. So I come back later when I have enough and trade to get my free scrap. Day 44. We realize the problem with the villager. They might not have access to the workstation, so put the lectern, like, chest level next to him. Where is the lectern? The fuck do you mean? Right next to him. It's not. You took it? I didn't take it. Well, that might be why the lectern's fucking gone. I oh, okay. Instantly refreshed, yeah. Oh, it worked. I also find another goal in the boss room. We then find another goblin. But this is the end goblin trader. And somehow it's asking for three netherite for a normal diamond pick. Three netherite for something that costs three diamonds. Also, he trades a crazy axe if you hand over 24 netherite. But that's never happening because that's way too expensive. I do, however, buy two haste potions off of it because I thought I would be able to insta mine with haste and efficiency 5. Spoiler, I wasn't. It cost me 34 diamonds, but that's 16 minutes of haste. So I can probably get them all back easily. Day 45 to 48. Shaq gets full netherite, and then debates making a netherite hoe, although no one else even has a piece of netherite yet. I then find a villager, chilling in the nether. He has like wooden tools, how the fuck have you survived out here with wooden tools bro? I don't know, it's kind of like, how did he get an iron door with wooden tools? <laughs> He's clearly doing something right. I then reenact Sonny's killing on these magma cubes. I'm pretty sure this is what he used. Sonny also comes from the nether and mines for netherite too. I find another nether gauntlet boss room, and also a new ore, penderite, which is a material that goes after netherite, but isn't worth it because there are better options like dragon and warden. I then find another goblin and get some more free netherite. Day 49. I now head out of the nether, as I have far more than enough netherite. Shaq then gives me a looting 2 book, which I want to add to my sword to get looting 3. But somehow, I managed to click the mending book in my inventory, and the anvil decides to fucking devour it anyway, even though it already has mending on. I'm so confused. What did I just do? Oh, I used the mending book. What? How does that work? Oh, I clicked the wrong book. What? It just takes it anyway, even though yeah, it does, I already have mending on it? <laughs> Next, I upgrade my chest plate and pickaxe to netherite. Day 50 and 51. I go get a mending book, add it to my helmet, name it the Zeef Crown, and then upgrade it to netherite. I then needed some more XP, so I went over to the spawner. But after a minute of being there, it's kind of slow, so I decided to make it better. Enjoy this time lapse at 15 times speed. At the time, I was really proud of this, but it's a time lapse, and it's still a minute and a half, so you don't need to see all that. And here it is in action. Okay, I'm now level 53, I got a bit more than I needed. Day 52. We meet Sonny's pet rootling, Danny. Why are you keeping him like this? He's on a leash, you don't need glass! <laughs> He's gonna feed out. <laughs> Lovely, no, no. What the fuck? Just is send me the extra protect in case a skeleton shoots up. Oh. I'm just gonna aim for the guru. Like, He's <laughs> a nice little fluffy at all here. And Toby goes mining. Day 53. Now I go mining and pop one of my haste potions. Sonny then asks for lapis, which is fucking crazy because only 12 days earlier I put 8 stacks of it in the chest. And it's somehow now all gone. The funniest part of all of this is that the floor of Danny's cell is made of lapis blocks, and he never even realized. I literally had to tell him for him to notice, and he says this. Ah, oh, he's standing on blocks of lapis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't put that one in him, remove that lot. Toby then adds some more to Danny's room, and at this point, Sonny snaps. That man is a fiend for lapis, and he could not help himself. There you go. Bro, Danny out. Toby, behind you. I need oh to fucking lapis. <laughs> You're stripping his walls for your lapis. <laughs> really? <laughs> You're stripping the walls of your child's room. <laughs> really, Sonny? What are you doing? <laughs> this is anybody got to read that. You're a menace. Toby also oh, extended the base. Never. Wait, is there a new me. house? You added new stuff? Yeah. Oh, wow. This floor is fucking horrific. <laughs> and I enchant a sword and a spare pair of leggings. I forgot to mention, but from that mining trip, I got another 40 diamonds. Day 54. Today I make an enchanting table next to the spawner, so we don't have to go back and forth constantly. And obviously, to get the bookshelves, I gotta go back to the woodland mansion, because those motherfuckers are stacked with knowledge. When looking around the mansion though, I go in the basement, and find they had a boss chilling down there, and we had no idea. The oh my god, it's a boss! 
Day 55. Let's go, fellas. I then assemble my squad of me, Toby, and Sunny, and we march into battle. Hello. How you doing, fella? Look fucking stupid. Oh, wait, let him, let him do his thing. Let him do his thing. Oh, that was cool. Sunny, we get it. You can hit him. Are you stunning? Like, are you making him... Is Sunny making him stand still? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he favorites. <laughs> oh. So are you going to attack me? Is he going to attack? He's, on, he's aggroed on me, so he's just digging oh. on you. Oh. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> Why, where is he? He's up top now. Yeah. What did you get? I got enchanted. Home of Undyne. Oh, that's quite cool. And that is the first goal complete. This was a but it's the first boss, baby! Yeah, he had 250 health. Bro, the warden <laughs> has 350. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. the warden's easy then. But that, we're kind of easy when there's fucking multiple of us. What is that Fast waning pace. sound? Can you hear that? Oh, in this thing. I think you're it's an owl. Now. It's an owl. Oh, the hooting sound. What the fuck are <laughs> you doing? <laughs> No! That could have been Danny's uh, pet! Yeah. He just ended it. I have what's left though. <laughs> I then carve out the room and place the bookshelves. And then I get obsidian for the enchanting table. And done! And look at the amount of books in my inventory. I was not lying. That wooden mansion is studious as hell. Day 56. Sonny came to the spawner. And he was chief in that thing. So we made a deal. I gave him four ancient debris. And he has to never use the spawner again. Somehow, he accepted. You could have been here for like 20 minutes. If he gives the shit, I'll leave and I'll never come back. For another right, you'll never come here. Never come back. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. Now that I have the spawner to myself, I get my new sword up to sharpness 5 and name it after the original. Day 57. The in-game season changed. And for some reason, Sonny thought I was talking about Fortnite. Look. What the fuck? Fortnite. Well, the grass is red. Oh no! In Minecraft! I said the season changed. Yes, seasons are a real thing. Not just Fortnite, Sonny. Fortnite. Fortnite did popularize seasons though. I then also completed and named my boots, as well as my nether ruby leggings. Also, look at the XP I get in six swings. I go from level 10 to 25, bro. Day 58. This is one of the strangest interactions I've ever had in my life. Toby asks me for six diamonds for him to make armor, only for me to find he enchanted three pickaxes and left them in the chest. He didn't even need them, he just left them. For what purpose would he do this? Even if he did need to enchant a pickaxe, you can just use the grindstone to de-enchant it. There is no world in where he needs to make three. This man is lacking brain cells. Anyhow, as the nice gent I am, I gave him the diamonds even knowing his incompetence. Also, I created the Zeef Sniper, which has infinity, flame, and power five. Day 59, I upgraded my pants and shoes to netherite, even though I'm still using the hot pants. I then went to farm emeralds from the Vindicator spawner, and I got a strange drop. Go Bro, dropped a raid horn, what the fuck? I'm feeling Zeef. horny. Zeef? Yeah. <laughs> what an enchantment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, achievement. <laughs> I'm feeling horny. Uh, hmm. yeah, keep it in your pants, guy. With these emeralds I now have, I went over to get another mending book, and accidentally started a raid. So I got what I came for, and then decked them. This time, I did the raid properly, and I got Hero of the Village. So the price of mending went down 11 emeralds, and it was only 16. And then we get some crazy timing. As Sunny was coming over, he started a raid. And I was just curious what the horn did. So I blew it as the raid was starting, and I accidentally stopped it. Prior to this, I did not know what it did. After this, I added mending to my sword, and then upgraded it to netherite. It is now complete, but there is one thing missing. It doesn't have looting, sadly. Day 60. I make 18 ender eyes because we are now more than ready to kill the dragon. I add unbreaking 3 to the sniper and I give Toby a gift. I give him enough ancient debris to upgrade his bib to netherite. And yeah, for reasons unknown, Toby is rocking only the chest plate and helmet, leaving his dick and balls wide open. It's a bold strategy, but he seems happy. Day 61. The footage kind of disappeared, but I made myself a trident and enchanted it. The Z fork has a loyalty, potent poison, mending, and impaling 5. Ants then calculates the area of the ah. stronghold with his big ass brain, and we set off. Let's move, man. Day 62. Our heroes made their way, venturing across the lands of this plane, to vanquish the one that plagues another.
They dug their way down and found the portal to the other side with haste. Here they are stopped and warned by a lowly goblin trader. He informs them of the danger that lurks in the unknown. They reply, fuck it, and jump in. Oh, oh, no. oh my god, we're so far off. And now let's see how they will fare in the fight for the end. Go in! Actually, we need to get the things first. Yeah. It's an enderman on me. Wow. No, I'm not getting this dip very well. Bang, there you go. Dream, brother. I've never seen them before. They just, oh. they just look like- Oh my god, I'm- I'm crazy with the bow. There we go, I think I got all of them. This go in! Oh no, one has been taken what? down by the invisible what? dragon breath. Yeah, Using magic? Oh no, no, no I, feel, I feel you. I'm, I just got hit. I may have thrown my bumble spear off the- uh, He's coming down! Uh, get a man! You should get like a HP farm as well. I freed the end! It's too easy. Someone's getting harassed me. Sonny, Sonny, you're dying, bro. Zeefski, the overworld is ha it's, it's thankful for you. I'm out here. They're all waving, they're singing your name. Yeah, crazy. Everyone's it's so cheering. Sick. Day 63. We didn't get much XP. Yeah. Wait, did anyone get the scales? Uh. I forgot to say, no. where are the dragon scales? No. No, I didn't get any. Okay, you ready? May the best man win. I then come up with a game to see who takes home the dragon egg. Basically, everyone will try to get it, and whoever can manage to use a torch to destroy it, gets to keep it. It sounds really easy, but it's not, when other people can hit it and it just moves. Originally, I was just spectating, but these people were taking way too long, so I joined them. You gotta mine two blocks. <laughs> I've only got a stone pickaxe. Where the fuck did it go? Where'd it go? Did we punch it in the submission? Oh, I, I found it! I got it! Click it! Ants? Don't pick it. You don't pick it. I'll try my hand now. Oh, fuck it. Don't fall yeah. off the map. Really? Can. I don't think you can! I'm pretty sure I didn't fall off the map still. So. I don't think you can. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> it's probably gone under. There's, uh, yeah, there's probably a, like an under, an overhang. I'm pretty there. sure it can off the map. But I <laughs> yeah, well, it's down there somewhere. I'm not going down there. I don't trust the fact there's only one water. Yes, a lot of sabotage between purple. Too easy, bitch! <laughs> oh my god! Where Fucking imbeciles! It? it was over here. Oh. Where? Uh, it was over here. Uh, Damn it. After that, all these idiots left, when we still have entities to find. Excuse my language in the next clip. So they will not get any dragon skills on? Oh, okay. Oh, no one got the dragon suits though! Full suit! <laughs> what? You're such a- you, you said no one had them. I don't know what happened. I've got no clue what's going on. What possessed you to steal the scales? I thought we agreed beforehand it was like a first come, first served. Uh, basis, you know, it's in every man for itself. It's a doggy dog world, you know. It's not like I used all of them myself. You notice Toby had a very nice helmet. Okay, we're going to the NC. Oh shit, there's a sea right there. Mm -hmm. Look, there's a city inside. Oh my god, there's a ship. First try, what the fuck? How many did you get? Yeah, eight. You got eight and used them all yourself. <laughs> 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 no, that's not a ridiculous you thing. are such an evil cunt. This man quotes Blue Lock as an excuse. Well, if you remember what we learned from Blue Lock. Like what do you learn from Blue Lock? The anime did not need to tell you that, you're already a savage cunt. And then he tries to justify it by saying he lost his main weapon, so that means he deserves seven of the eight dragon scales. Well, I kind of deserve it. I did lose my main weapon in there as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> it may as well be four friends, because this fucker has done not one thing to help someone else the whole time. Anyway, I find an elytra. Yeah, 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 yeah. Day 64. Shaq comes back to the end, only to near instantaneously fall into the void. I'm going to be honest. You don't need full damage protection. Fell off the mine combat logs. <laughs> You voided. 
<laughs> if I spawn back in, I die. Yeah. You voided. Yeah. Oh. How? I was, I was really in a straight line, then looked down at my phone, and then ran off. <laughs> and then, literally, twenty seconds later, this happens. I mean, um. yeah. <laughs> Up. Did you also <laughs> fucking do that? <laughs> How are you people dying to the void? I was running, <laughs> a beautiful time frolicking in the end of flowers, and then this motherfucker comes up behind me and throws me halfway across the <laughs> island. I, I'm not dead yet. I lost four stacks of wood, man. I lost <laughs> my entire never right set. <laughs> four stacks never of wood right. is quite a lot. Yeah. I Oh, oh my never right. Oh, but my grave generated at 867 Y3 Z minus 870. Okay, wait, so if you get that, I can get my grave. I'm yeah, guessing it. Build down. Yeah, if you build but down, you get it. I'm guessing the end kills me. Give it a try. And I gotta agree with Toby. Them warthogs are a huge problem. They nearly caught me lacking like three times. I think you crashed the game. Nah, I'm just rejoining. Jeez. Ah! Holy shit, there are so many war dogs. You can probably get fucked on it. Oh, they're just falling off the map. They're pushing each other off the map. Ah! Day 65. I continue to explore the end, and I find a city without a ship, a nether portal for some reason, and another end city, this time with a ship. Day 66. I go up to that ship, and I get my second elytra. And then, only half a day later, huge. I managed to find a third elytra. Oh, I got three now. Hearing of this, Sonny, the kind soul that he is, offers me the final dragon scale for the Electra. I say no. Shaq then manages to get the majority of his stuff back, and Toby gets all of his. Hmm? Bow, pick, and never a chest plate. Oh my god. Oh, bud. I didn't lose anything, Shaq. Day 67. Today, I'd just be trying to make the end armor, but that shit is so annoying, because you need to use an anvil to craft stuff, and that base just breaks. So first of all, it's not even a normal anvil. You need to find thalassium to make an end stone smelter. Then, you need to make an anvil out of the thalassium. You need to crush ender pills to get ender dust, which then you combine with iron ingots in the smelter to get terminite. Next, you need to upgrade the anvil by adding a block of terminite to it. And then with the new anvil and a netherite hammer, you can crush the ingot into forged plates, which can be crafted into the armor. But the anvil breaks after 16, so then I need to make another anvil and upgrade it to terminite just to make 8 more. That was like 20 minutes of suffering summed up in a minute, so. After that, I then come one block, legit one block, away from being the same fate as the others. But saying that, I did have a void totem of undying, so I don't even know what would happen. You get them in the end cities, and I guess you just can't die to the void? Also, while I was making the armor, Sunny continued to beg. Pretty <laughs> wait, Sonny's been begging, I didn't see this. Please, put the please, put the put the please. Very sure if I go. But I had already heard the teachings of Blue Lock, so I kept the Elijah to myself. And then I find a house out here. <laughs> Bro, that the, what? The Thalassium Ho has negative 0.5 attack damage. <laughs> fucking you deal. give them health? What the fuck? Let's go it. Day 68, Shaq has now got all of his stuff back to how it was before the accident, and I use an Eternium ingot, which is made with netherite and terminite, to get an armored elytra, which should give me 7 extra armor. Then somehow a random guy joins the server, shout out X Faraday, and then I managed to find some gunpowder in a chest, which is incredible because now I can make fireworks, so I can fly with the elytra, which honestly, I still don't understand how it works, you set a firework off in your hand, it just... Day 69, nice. I find a new ore called Amatrine, but stupidly, I only get 9 of it. I then find what I've been looking for for the past 2 days, which is these crystal shards. I then take more than one person could ever need, and then try some infusion. Basically, the reason I needed them was because you can open this broken portal to the overworld if you get enough eternal crystals, and these crystals are needed to make them. However, I can only make one because I ain't got no end crystals. And I need 8 to open the portal. So after realizing I'm never gonna be able to open the portal without going to the nether first, I trek 2000 meters to go back to where I came from to leave. Also, the whole time after the dragon fight, Ants has been searching far and wide to try and find tomatoes to make the hamburger. Sadly, he has still found nothing. Day 70. I make my way home, and I notice that Toby has a new helmet. Oh, you got your dragon scale. What? Look at your helmet, you have a dragon helmet. Oh dear. You didn't know that. No. Uh huh. 
He then shows me this nice path he just made. This is actually going to be nice. And then he also tells me that he redecorated the spawner. By the way, at this point, Sonny has not spoke since he stole the dragon scales. He hasn't spoken in seven days, even though he is still typing in game and he's still playing and moving about. Then Toby tells me to come over to the spawner again. You wanna come see what I did to the spawner then? Yeah, sure. What a crazy bastard. What? There's nothing here. I determined he's German. What the fuck? Why did he do that? <laughs> didn't even do a heart of damage. Why the fuck did you blow everything up? <laughs> That's what you were doing this entire time. I've been plotting and scheming. Didn't even do a heart of damage to me. Sonny, fix the fucking mess you just made. It was worth nothing. You didn't even do a heart of damage. Plan was to blow this skill. up. And it worked perfectly. His armor was just a bit stronger than I expected. If you had given us the Electra there, by the way, I was going to go get rid of it quick. So you wait, wait, why would I have given you Elytra? You doomed yourself, you doomed yourself for you. I doomed myself to zero hearts of damage. So Toby was paid off by Sonny to get me to the spawner for this. This was his master plan. Day 71. It was a test of human greed and you failed. Yeah, yeah, the guy with full <laughs> dragon. Mm -hmm. Oh, you failed. Sonny, the degree is kind of an amount of life. Shut the fuck up. Mm. I then enchant my armored elytra with mending, unbreaking, and protection, and then name it Zeef Wings. And obviously, I was the one to finish off the repair of the spawner. Sonny left after he put the floor back. And then I made an ender pouch, which is pretty cool. Just means you can go in your ender chest anywhere. Day 72. I now finish the end armor by infusing some crystals and amber into it. The reason I wanted this armor is because of the effect. The helmet gives you blindness resistance. The chest plate gives you haste. The leggings gives you two extra hearts. And the boots give you constant speed one. And on top of that, if you wear the whole set, you get regen one constantly. I definitely would have used this, but I actually never got around to enchanting it as the end was coming up and we had a lot of goals left to do. I then decided to invest in waystones so we can get around easier. Day 73. I place a waystone either side of the end pool to see if you can go through dimensions and it turns out you can for the low low price of three levels you can go to the end instantly i also place one at the spawner and because it's not very far you can go to the house for free oh yeah i also forgot to say how to make these and in all honesty it is so easy all you need to teleport is to pick a few flowers rob a few villagers kill a few endermen put it all together then whack it in the middle of obsidian and stone and you're set I would have done this way earlier if I knew it was this easy. Day 74. Today we come at you with another installment of Toby in the Bomber Zone. Yeah? I believe so. <gasps> Finally, something of note. You lack oh, Maze, you found it. Nice. I lack protection Be careful if you don't have protection of the hive. Oh, well, th that's good to know now. Th th oh, fuck. He's going to get ambushed by bees. No. He's everywhere. And there's pollen. Die. I think they have strength and shit, though. Yeah, they have strength, speed. They get more health as well. They have absorption. Holy shit, they're buff as fuck. They really are. That don't take a lot of damage though. Wait, is that the queen bee? You found her? What? No way. Oh yeah, there she is. What, really? No, here is an armor stand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there she is. It was a fucking armor stand. I think I might die. How do you get them things mixed up? Spills yourself in. It's, I don't have any blocks in my harbor. They're not really doing that good of a job. Oh my god. Oh my god. I take it back. Stop it. Stop. Uh, okay. That was a very horrible, hard question. Okay. I'm about to die. Oh. You no. can't log it. You died. Oh. Did I? Day 75. Here I start blabbering on about how people don't watch my other videos. I've kind of just accepted that now, and I'm just focused on 100 day stuff. Anyway, I make five more waystones. I don't use them, I just keep them for later. I then go searching for ghasts so that we can revive the dragon. While away, I also managed to get a wither skull. And honestly, we kind of forgot about the wither. We don't actually kill it in this video. So, 200 days per chance? I'm just kidding, but if you do want that, I could make it happen. Drop a comment. I'ma be real. This ain't never happening. Firstly, this flopped on release, and we've got a ton of videos already planned. Like, I have four videos in mind, and they take a month each to make, so this one ain't gonna fit anytime soon. I then find a Bastion Remnant, and get a very nice payday. 
And also, Toby manages to get his stuff back. Day 76. Toby and Sonny do it. They find the B-Queen. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm going to the wardrobe. Holy fuck, that's a fat bitch. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hey. <laughs> Get rid of the crystal. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Let's go, Toby. Go home. <laughs> don't punch her, don't punch her. Look at how. Holy shit, she's fat. <laughs> she's massive. Jesus. How do I do, do quests for her? Give her blocks, I think. Give items. And Shaq makes a netherite hoe for some reason. On this. Why did you make a hoe, Shaq? Oh, what? Uh, Other like... people? Oh, did anybody need any of them? Oh, the princess is in there. Ooh. I did it. Who did it? Who did we get? Sunny, uh, right. There we go, Toby did it. The queen gave a bee spear. It's on the ground there. Bruh. Then Sunny got stuck in the jelly. It seems to be crypted. Oh, shit, Toby, I'm taking damage at the rapid pace. Oh, Toby, Toby got any food. Toby, <laughs> Toby, help. Sonny, Sonny, it's getting you. <laughs> and after getting out, he wasn't too happy. No, no, just kill this bitch, because I'm not... Oh, I've never seen anything like... You've never seen nothing like it. No, no. I'd say we'll just kill just this bitch. Do you want to kill her? Die. <laughs> Maybe it's so advancing someone. <laughs> Die. Die, die, die. You're oh killing the God. queen. Can you kill the queen? <laughs> Find out. <laughs> Where did she go? Did you kill her? Already? I killed her. Yes. She dropped a flower and whatever you got. Well, that was quite um, a journey. She dropped one bee stinger. <laughs> That's it's the same as a behemoth. Alright, come in. We've made it out. Ah, oh, thank Jesus. Day 77. First we suit ants up. Because his ass has been too busy farming to get armor. Yeah, then we go fight the Void Blossom, who, by the way, is literally 80 blocks away from our base. Oh. We made it! Go in! We're it. We're oh, it I don't Ow. know if they're staging or shit. Oh, is it unvulnerable? No? Why is it's like healing that? rapidly. Oh, it's got thorns. It's got four. Ah! Oh. Oh, it what? doesn't do any damage. Why is it after me? It doesn't get burned either, if you think fire would be its weakness. It just heals constantly. Oh. You haven't destroyed this one. Wait, have you learned the fucking mechanic? What is it? It's a I was hitting it with a bow. I think it works. We didn't notice for a good 30 seconds that there were plants healing it around the room. It's the yeah, flowers. Yeah, the end, the end stuff. The end. <laughs> what? Yeah, oh, these yeah. things. Oh. It's in Bayer. Is that and... all of them? Oh, is that it? Yeah. Oh, oh, there's so much damage. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, it's, it's. Oh, there we oh, go. We did god. it. Got it. Boss yeah. done. <laughs> Day 78. We gather all of our soul stars, which are basically eyes of the ender, but they lead to the night lich. And then we start throwing. They are pretty easy to get as they just drop from the undead. Eight in-game hours of following the star later, and we made it. Then we place four of the soul stars in the altar, and there he is. Hey, there he is. Whoa! He looks kind of funky. Look at this silly fella. Look at that silly fella. Where's he going? Did he TP? Where'd he go? There's a baby creeper. Where did he go? He's on me. Oh, oh, there he is. oh, he's got 300 so, health and he's no, annoying as fuck. He's flying around. <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 shooting him. I'm glad you have a light. I hit him. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna run after him. Come here, bitch. Oh, fuck around. I'm sorry. Oh. Get him! Gong Donkey Kong style, bitch. Great. Oh, it needs to come down. Good shit. Oh, I missed that. That's sad. I got to actually Bro, them do damage. He's fucking hitting. It is like a shotgun. Oh well. Whoever is with the light is gonna kill him. I got him. Yeah. Where the fuck did he die? <laughs> I was inside of him. What do you mean? I then use one of my trusty waystones and we get back home. The Night Lich dropped a ton of enchanted books, some diamonds, and two ancient anima, which can be used to get a Staff of Suppression, a Table of Elevation, 
or a charged ender pearl. Then I ask if anyone got the drop from the Void Blossom, and apparently no one seemed to have it. But at this point, you know what that means. Sonny is keeping it for himself. Did you get it, Toby? Uh, Sonny? What? You said you had it earlier, yeah. Oh. Day 79. We are busy today. Shaq mentions the Brimstone Nectar, which is an item that resets the boss structure and basically lets you refight it. So we do that. We go to the Night Lich and we have exactly four Soul Stars, so we respawn it and kill it. Let me get him. Wow. By the way, bro, time went backwards when we spawned the Night Lich, so we got a six hour extension. And then we go back to fight the Void Blossom because we kind of did it in the wrong order. You need to fight the Night Lich first. And then after that, I don't have a clip, but we all make charged ender pearls, which is made with ancient anima and void thorns. This is basically just an infinite ender pearl, and also after you throw it, you get like resistance for a few seconds. And now we go and fight yet another boss. We go for the nether gauntlet. Also, we accidentally glitched it and managed to spawn two of them. Basically, to spawn the boss, you mine this block with the eye on it. But there's one of them on each side, so we all mined it at the same time, and two of us must have been frame perfect. Toby, get your side? Yeah. Mine. Uh, Wait, oh. two? Why is that two health bars? <laughs> oh, two spawns! What? It's two. Okay. Oh no. Is this strong? Oh shit, it's bro fisting us. <laughs> bro, he just fisted the ground. Oh wait, you can't bow it? Really? Yo bro, he's high bro. <laughs> Your fist bump bro. <laughs> fisting bomb. Oh, he takes down. He beats us. He's like, not coming down. I saw your girl that you smashed last night, yo bro. <laughs> oh, what's the he doing now? Why is he Why is he going Super Saiyan? Because he's hurt lower than half. I was just not damaged. In this. You gotta hit him in the eye, son. <laughs> yeah, but he's close. Shaq is keeping him close. Stop damaging him, he won't come out. Oh. Like it's, it's, it's like a shell. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, I got, oh, I got blindness. I have as well. This is not good when one of them is still in there for first form. Fist in me. Oh, the lava is coming out. He destroyed the blocks. Where did he? I don't even know where he is. There he is. Sonny, he's on. Hey, oh, you can't hey. Yeah, What is yeah. that? Oh, it's never goblin. I don't know. Oh, what did you want to trade? Ah. Oh my god. Where did the ghost go? Right behind you. You can't hit arrows. It's annoying. I hit myself. Oh. Yeah, don't fire arrows at him. You can get. He it. put us in the hole, Sko. He gives you. Hey, can you pull a Neverrack for an ammo? Oh yeah, there we are, come back to help. Oh. Nah, you busy trading? <laughs> yeah, I was... You haven't even done was... a bar and you're trading. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> He's really not good. opening his hand. He needs to come oh. down. Can you... I don't know. Can you speed you right? No. What's hey, he doing with his fight. fingers? Silly fella. Oh, you can't aim with it. He's still going for you. Why is he such a bitch? I can't even see. I can't see anyone. I can't see. Did I get it? He's on 0.4 health. Help. He's on 0.04 no, something. He's just going for you. He doesn't care about me. And he goes so far off. Why are you just. Yeah, this guy is there so you floaty. Go. He's so floaty. Okay, we got the other one. Come on, Sonny. There you go. Oh. Had to go back and yoink that shit before Sonny did. You guys are just not doing this then. Why not flying up like an out of the way? He was. He was just better at the game. He doesn't even do it. He doesn't, he doesn't even do it. See a guy like me, I'd kill him right there. Oh, this is actually kind of hurling. Well, yeah, you jumped in lava. <laughs> <laughs> That's three stacks of steak. Go on, Shaq. Shaq, 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 Shaq. Shaq, he's right there. Yeah, he's right over there. I was eating food. Open your eyes. Do you there have you eyes when you eat food or something? Nah, no, I don't. So. There. Yeah. There you go. Again, for some reason, we didn't get the quest done. But this time, we didn't really do the bosses in the wrong order. It's just, for some reason, there is a mandatory quest to kill a Soul Reaper. Which is a mob that only spawns in one biome, and it is just a buff skeleton. Why on God's green earth is this needed? Bro, the rest are optional, but this guy, no this guy, yeah we need him. Day 80. I go search for the Soul Reaper, but he only spawns in a Soul Sound Valley. 10 minutes into my search, I remember there is literally an item that locates biomes for you. So I go home, make a nature compass, and Sonny does something nice for once. He gave me a book that contained 30 levels. I then go back to the nether, and after a few minutes more, the compass picks it up. So I make my way there, and I kill the silly soul reaper. Where at? It's gonna... It's gonna kill him. There we go, I did it. Day 81. Now that the order is right, I go and kill the gauntlet by myself. If you have it, then do something wrong. 
die. There we go. From the quest, you get a glove which isn't even in the game, some blackstone shards, and some chiseled polished blackstone. This stuff is used to spawn the final nether boss. I then make the book for the mod, and I use it to visualize the altar to spawn it. Day 82. I then carve out an area to build the altar, and then get started on making it. And in the meantime, there are mass breeding an army of rootlings. You're like it, you're gonna like the server with your rootlings, you know. Actually, Sonny, we can, because yes, with a looting, with a looting sword, I have a looting three swords, so I get five oh, per, per rootling. Um. This is actually genius, Sonny. <laughs> We're gonna make so many. Well, do you? Got my army. They all go towards the door. God. Why do they all go towards the door? Why are there so many? <laughs> oh yeah, it, it is. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my, don't kill any of the named ones. They are just lying. Why are they go heading south for winter? <laughs> they're, they're drawn. Yeah, it's they're going directly south. Oh, they are going south for winter then. Wait, are they like setting off? What the fuck? They're trying to migrate, yeah. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> this is, uh, this is the biggest oh, migration I've ever seen. <laughs> and then I finish the altar. Yeah, no, we'll kill them. Archers. Completed it! Day 83. We spawned the Blackstone Golem, and he seems like a pretty chill guy. Nice, yeah, chill. He's, he's not for. moved yet. I wait for. He's gonna like blow up and fucking end us. Nah, no, 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 goblins go in the community. Yeah, the goblin trainer wants to talk to him. Look at him. Puffle on our side of the deal. I have a protection <laughs> five chest piece for you. <laughs> Are you willing to offer me some? Can of we not attack him? Oh, you can attack him. Why oh, you've broken him. him. What the fuck? He was chilling. And in the oh, goblin. Yeah, so go, go, goblin. Is he not? Oh, I figured. Oh, now he's not passive. Why is he went silly? It's new the color. The... Maybe you the color. Fight back, boy. Fight back. Do you know how many blackstone go on? Oh, now I'm here. It's fucking big. Such a chat. No, I. Kill his boys. Kill his children. Kill his children, too. Yeah, yeah. you got to stop the bloodline, or else they're going to come there back after go. you. You get. Ooh, enchanted golden apple, gilded blackstone crate. Uh, you, the thing is with these blackstone hearts, they're actually really good. We might just want to do it for everyone. It gives you an extra two hearts until you die. So now we just spawn kill them a few more times. Seven times in total. I then go home and see the rootlings for the first time. Oh, there's so many more. Holy shit. How many did you make? Stop killing them. I will end you. I will end you. He's dead. Oh my god, what the fuck? You've been mass producing these things. Day 84. I then help Ants get his stuff back because he died in lava. I have a fire resistance potion, I think. Yeah, I have a three minute fire resistance potion. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I was clearing my inventory, this happened. Did I just manage to put my ender pouch inside the ender pouch? <laughs> How the fuck does that work? And then I go in and when I'm down there, I don't find anything. There is no grave to be found, because he gave me the wrong coordinates. Day 85, Shaq and Toby find the Upsilidith, but I'm still trying to get Ansel's stuff back. And now, as the potion I had ran out, I got to do me some alchemy. I've only ever made about 10 potions on Minecraft, because I thought that shit was complicated. Nah, this is so easy. Just put the magma cream, then the redstone, then bang. I got 24 minutes of fire resistance. This time, he gives me the right coordinates, and I make a small one block hole down to the grave. And then he comes and picks it up because I can't. Day 86. The rootling are no more. Are they dying? Oh shit, they're all dead! Oh no! Oh. Um. Oh no. <laughs> we should have built a roof. They're all gone now. Or maybe there was treachery afoot. There, there oh, does one, seem to be- There's one alive there. one alive. Oh yeah, there's one alive. No, I, I do think there was treachery afoot because there's- They dropped cooked bulbous roots. Hmm. Uh, yeah, snow just- Snow cook. should burn yeah. them. There is treachery afoot then. Day 87, we found the culprit, and now he was going for the house. Don't worry though, he was swiftly condemned. However, the bed was broken in this attack, so now he was back on the spawn island. So why did you kill the rulings? It was kind of funny, and I wanted to spite Sonny. And after you 
start burning down the house. Any reason? Same reason. I found a, a <clears throat> oh, upside down ship, Zephy. Had a diary in it. Diary? What, what was it? Oh wow. Yin's diary. Does that actually say anything? Uh, yeah, it's got a story in it. And then I go to the Obsidolith. Day 88. I read Ian Crumbly's diary. It's desolate place. <laughs> Did you write this? Oh, no, this is a real... You wrote this? No. Oh my no. god, you wrote this shit over? No, I didn't. It's you by did. Ian Crumbly. It says, by Tromban Taran. That is a glitch. It's because I picked it up first. That is not a glitch. <laughs> it is a glitch. Dear diary, I saw many things in my journey in the end. There was these weird pig things that flung me across the many surfaces and chasm of this desolate place. That is someone not the other right as well. <laughs> they are awful beasties and deserve castration. Beasties. So Come that they will be anymore. the last generation of these blasted species. Dear Diary, apart from the pig brutes, there are also the rather tall, slender creatures that go by Enderman. I tried speaking to one, but he responded with what I think is Finnish and started beating me with a cube. A rather scary experience, even in this world of treachery. Dear Diary, I'm currently standing on top of a purple and black whale. I called it using a carved flute out of a spine of one of those Finnish speaking endermen. It wasn't pretty what I did to what get it, up, but I'm sure the previous owner How, will be wanting demons? it back. Dear Diary, I hate to be in a rush, but the whale kicked me off. It saw my middle finger. It saw, this doesn't make sense. Ian, Ian Crumbly. Hey, he was writing quite quickly. He was it saw in my body. middle finger, one of the warthogs, and apparently they are bros. So long story short, I am currently falling to my death. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my rambles, and I will be signing off. Yours, Ian Crumbly. You expect me to think that he was writing while falling to his death? He's a very dedicated diary keeper. Well, how the fuck is that possible? Um. Well, yeah, he had a typewriter as he was falling. Ah. And then we kill the Obsidolith in a nail-biting fight. Let's go. Now we're gonna kill the boss. Yeah, we can't. What? It's only his. I'm telling you, just started this. Oh, well, I guess we're killing it. Sonny, don't attack anyone. It's paralyzed. You can paralyze the fucking brick? It doesn't move. Apparently so. It's right, isn't last. going down, but it, its health is. Yeah, it's probably just gonna go in chunks. Is it gonna... I'm I nearly there. Right. <laughs> what is this? Everything. No way it was that fucking peasy. That is so that broken, Sonny. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't even make it he, over. he didn't even have a second stage. He was fucking paralyzed. Oh my god. Why did he oh. drop? That's the first time it's you've it's picked. It's, it's, it's on yeah. top, doofus. Oh, well, I'm not getting over there. Day 89. I make the eye shrine, but we don't fight it yet. While people get ready, I go search for the warden. Again, I use the nature compass to find the deep dark, and it comes up with nothing, meaning that there is no deep dark in 10,000 blocks of me. So I then go to the nether, run a few hundred blocks, and then come back to the overworld. If you don't know, one block in the nether is eight in the overworld, so it's a lot faster than moving there. I then try again, and now it picks it up. Day 90 to 92, I make my way into the ancient city. And when I was changing the day counter, I managed to fall off my little bridge and awaken a warden. Did one just fucking spawn? Oh, a warden spawned. Oh, dick and balls. Goodbye. I make my way up, and he didn't decide to chase me for some reason. And I just start peppering that boy with arrows, and he just sits there taking them. I then get the bright idea to get the last hit with my looting sword to try and get more drops. Wait, maybe I should use looting on him. How much health has he got? Okay, he's on 14 health. Yeah, yeah, go for the looting. Bro, I have a... Whoa! Whoa, he still does that much damage to me? Really? You're not actually so good like, to be able to probably kill them. I'm guessing you're supposed to get a Oh, oh, oh! It's killer. Spread. He is the hardest motherfucker I've ever seen. Holy shit. Ah ha ha! I had now killed the warden, but to upgrade weapons, I need echo shards. It says that they are in chests in the city, and I got my eye on one. But as soon as I build over, another one spawns. <laughs> Another Dang. warden spawn, I'm fucking gone. I then am about to leave completely, but the warden despawns, so I give it another try. Again, it doesn't go to plan, another one spawns, and this time he doesn't lose me. I have to pop a god apple and then get the fuck out of there. 
After attempting and failing many times to kill another in the city, I go to a narrow cave thinking I can kill him here with range. So now I do the exact same thing I did on the first one. But this time, it sprints towards me and accurately attacks me from range. How? The thing don't got eyes! At this point, I just have to dip. I thought maybe after I use a firework and fly away, surely it won't know where I land, but of course I'm wrong. I then loop back around and go back in for the chest, sneaking. Not going for a kill this time, but it is literally impossible. You have to uncrouch to go down a block. And when you do, it sets off the sensor. What am I meant to do? Yeah, then bro gets me on one and a half hearts, and I gotta get out of there. I did have a totem, but still. Day 93, I leave the cursed place, and then Shaq points out that the wings don't even give you any extra armor. I had no idea. We then try to fight the eye, but bro didn't turn up. Day 94 and 95, we then rebuild the altar on the original island, and after a straight minute of nothing happening, it turns up. This boss is literally just a PNG image of an ender eye, but it zaps you and duplicates itself. There is not much to see for this fight. We were just shooting it with bows for two minutes straight. Until Shaq decides to put a table of elevation down and take that fucker to the stratosphere. The problem was, the eye didn't want to come back down. This made the eye nearly impossible to kill, as it has an attack that teleports you all the way back down. Even if we got there, we would just be TP'd back down instantly. We tried for a short while to kill it up there, but it just was not gonna happen. I had to do an itty bitty cheat to teleport it back down. I'm sorry, but there was no other way of us killing it. Somehow we made it impossible to kill when it is literally the easiest boss on the list. I fought it again after in single player and I beat it with no armor and just a bow with arrows. You're aiming at the wrong one. It's gone? It's gone. I'll put a sweater and when I turn armor. There you go! You what? When the eye dies, it spawns a portal to a new dimension which holds the Void Shadow. This is the final boss. Thing is, this is not a normal fight as you cannot directly attack it. To do damage to this thing, you need to redirect projectiles that these minions send at you into the large fragments. It has a thousand health and each fragment only does 40 damage. Each time you destroy all the fragments, more will spawn, but sometimes none of the large ones do, so you can't actually do any damage. So the boss fight consists of destroying small fragments till the big ones come so then you can hit maybe a tenth of its health. But while doing this, you have to also train around the minions because if you kill too many another wave will spawn. This boss is not terribly difficult but it was definitely the longest fight. It literally took us 15 minutes because we just had to wait and wait until we got what we needed. I think you just get teleported back before you jump. Oh he's back, he's back, get in the middle, get him, get him. Fuck him up. Round him. Oh, I can't see. The end of the wrong hole, mate. What's that on the ground? He just left. The yeah! Is Thank boy still you. here? What are you doing? Kill the children. Die. You are unloved. The same animation as the... the with it. Oh, fame. fortune. What game fail. And after all that, the quest didn't even fucking work. The quest didn't work, so we didn't even get the dragon scales. Huge L. Day 96. When we left the boss room, it spawned us back at 0-0. Zero, zero. Also, we had the stuff to revive the dragon, but we just never got around to it. I then, for some reason, went to the roof of the woodland mansion to hatch the egg. Basically, to hatch it, you need to stay beside the egg while you have fame. And fame is what we got from killing the void shadow. You have to stand near it for 10 minutes straight. But the thing is, it actually took me like half an hour because I managed to punch it twice and reset the timer. Day 97 AW. I tried to move while I was still on the text and I didn't realize for the whole day. Anyway, to remind you, our goals left are to make a hamburger, craft all armor and raise a dragon. So now when I wait for my dragon to hatch, I make armor. Okay, let's decorate his room a little bit. Uh-huh. Very nice. When he spawns, there will be four heads staring at him. <laughs> you punched him and he died. <laughs> it hatched! It hatched! It hatched! Oh, oh why did you punch I got a dragon! Oh. And then my dragon grows up a stage, but it still doesn't let me put the saddle on him. What the fuck? Oh my god, he got bigger! 
Already? I'm it's only been a day. Up. He's went up a stage. He grows. Holy shit. What? It says on the wiki that the dragon has to grow one stage to be rideable, but it didn't work for me. I then go back to the house and see that Toby has made a gallery for all the armor. Day 98. Ants craft and eat the legendary hamburger. hamburger. I already have it. Oh, okay, you have it. Holy shit, guys, look at this. You're gonna get her <laughs> first person POV. I'm gonna get POV. The legendary hamburger. Whoa. Hamburger. We then spent the full day making armor and smelting stuff. Sadly, there is only enough armatrine for one piece of armor. And we can't even get cladded because the material only spawns in chests and we didn't get any. I think at least you only get it from chests. No, we're not getting that shit. And we've not found any, yeah. Uh... Day 99. We had to make some more of the end armor, so we probably went through about four anvils. And that's all we did the whole day. Day 100. We finished the armor off. Sorta. We went 14 out of 17. We only missed three. 82% sounds pretty good to me. To be fair, the other ones were really hard to get, so this is a W. We missed out on Amatrine, because I didn't get enough. The Cladded, which you need from chests. And we didn't end up getting any of the Warden. Huh? To celebrate our completion of the goals, we decided to blow this shit up. It's over now if you want to uh, blow shit up or something. I'm going to set some TNT up. I have a flint and steel. I think we can make a nice partnership here, though. I want to be inside <laughs> as everything blows up around me. May as well use these god apples I got. I do I want to shoot it if you're a flame. There's a god apple. Till death do us part. <laughs> oh, fuck it out. <laughs> it went through <laughs> the enchanted? What? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Back to the start. <laughs> Woo! Day one. Came full circle, baby. Who we got here? It's Finnegan Yaffe. Finnegan Yaffe. Good to see you again, brother. It's all Didn't over, and we're waiting. back with no loot. <laughs> Didn't achieve much. I'm gonna stay <laughs> up to another 100 days, aren't we, fellas? Thank you so much, number one Masato fan, for this fan art, because it is fucking beautiful, and the first one I've received. And this is also the only one ever. Please draw me. I would love to see some new art, because, uh... I just made this in paint, and it stuck. Update! Since I said that, we've got some new fan art, and I feel it might be time to switch the profile picture, because this is pretty beautiful. Shout out Riot, brother cooked. Also, thanks to Krep7409 for this comment. It makes me want to claw my eyes out. Now, the Better MC video is done, but we're not leaving the mod yet. We actually made a second video with the Better MC footage. Because we're so damn funny, I had a ton of clips that I didn't want to put in the main video to make it too long, so I just made a standalone one. And it's still 20 minutes. So if you like jokes, you can watch this, but if you don't, you can skip it and just go with the Naruto one. Okay, and let's introduce ourselves. So who we got here? Uh, hello. I am Toby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bro, you need yeah, to say I'm like shot. six words. <laughs> Toby, sorry, come back. Say so, like. Wait, sorry. Um, I stole my thing again. Bro, what's this shit, Ski? Sunny, Sunny, hey. Sunny, Sunny. I'm gonna turn I'm gonna around. Need, I'm gonna need a script. Just okay, okay. Who, who are you gonna say? I'll I'm Sunny, going on 45 from Slough. I don't be from Slough. Uh, okay. Where, where else you got? Grimsby. I'm Shark, I'm 64 from Surrey, and uh, I want to find the one piece. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, let's fuck you. I don't know, I don't understand it all, so yeah. Um, I'm Sonny, chilling, I guess. Okay, introduce yourselves. Hello, my name is Gunnar, and I'm from oh, San Francisco. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I can't Shark, do that. Shark, I'm my best. <laughs> oh, wait, Soul Cage is in this. I think I actually know Soul Cages. They're very good. Yeah, I think if you do something, you get stuff. Whoa! If you do something, you get stuff. I believe <laughs> it was a prank. That's no, right. No, 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 no. I can cut. I got coconuts. I bought these coconuts. No, 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 no. no, no. We're sending you back to the island. No, 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 no. Oh, he ran out of trade. Building up. Just get some yeah, stew. I no, I don't trust that shit. Well, it is. Mama sucks. said never to put in suspicious things into your body. Sure, you yeah, didn't mean this. I suck dick all the time, man. What? Stop holding the bread, you fucking stupid bitch. Oh, wait. <laughs> Shaq, put the bread away. The goblin's going oh, fucking why? crazy. And his mum is oh, crazy. Oh my god. He's not eating oh, in a while. You should not feed Sonny's mum. Uh. 
No, please, kid, don't kill us. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. He's in the timeout, chat. If you hit me one more time, I'm gonna end you. Is that me? Okay, okay. What does he do? So you. Why do we have them? Yeah, hey, you're cool. Because he they wasted 16 cool. ender pearls. Okay, so he's yeah. dead. <laughs> <laughs> you better get running. For like a villain. No, 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 Hey, sorry. It was all a joke. <laughs> yeah, just fuck off. <laughs> Jumped into the wall. You have a disc? I have a disc. What the fuck? Is it? Oh shit. It's, it's Lobo Loco. <laughs> You're such a cunt. <laughs> well, go get a smile. <laughs> no. So yes. You cannot wait anything over me, bro. I'll just end you. I'll end you. Come on then. You in? No boy? <laughs> no. Wait. I'm not, I'm not hurling. Go, Kripa, go. <laughs> 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 and you can upgrade it with iron. I don't know where you get iron from. What? I don't know where you get iron from. You don't know where you get iron from? Yeah. Like this story. You're shitting me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I'm shitting you, sonny. You fucking ate it up. Oh my god, like a true dumbass. You're a true dumbass. Yeah? Get some iron then. Your name's Larry Thomas Dumas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the spider keeps coming. Just ask him to get right. out of your personal space. I've told him. Why well, he keeps disappearing you. whenever I get near him? Let's fuck his deck if he doesn't. <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything turns to that doesn't affect you, son. Bees eat honey or what? They seem to make enough of it. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> I need bees. Maybe I need flowers. Bees eat honey or they just shit nuts for the fun of it? I shit it. If the B movie be? taught me anything, they're just shitting it for the fun of it. I know what the cows drink. Man. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an I drink idiot. water, bro. Water. 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 Yeah, but fast shaming, it's not in right No, it's not in. It's out. Unless I don't miss. What the fast shaming? I mean, it's hard to miss. No. Uh, <laughs> it's about what Cisco's message is. We need to stop. Thinking with fat people though. Yeah, fat people mm. are really have actually cool. Their <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> they don't oh, stop oh, eating. Oh my god. Oh my guys are here. Look his dick with smile for hours at a time. I'm just not sick as I Ooh, can't do now. <sighs> Joe Biden. No! Does like that? Joe Biden's mistress. Ah, uh, it's pretty old and all stuff going on, but uh, they can do it. Oh, Sonny gets it going, let me tell you. I've got the skills to do it. I've got the skills to do it. I'm good at what I do, you know. I'm with every penny. We you call him the Dick Devara. Oh, class Jigolo. Maybe we'll get some more diamonds. Uh, the goblin still hasn't reset. Something wrong with this guy. Maybe Sonny's mum's fucked, I don't know. She definitely was last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So easy. I fucked the goblin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you do? Bro, oh, get God, the fuck out of the way! Never... Get <laughs> out of the way, bro! <laughs> <laughs> you make it into... Oh no, you can't make it into sticks. I am a... No, it is... Oh, it's wait, yeah. there's a fall of that height, killers. Just That's why I want those fucking feather fallen bots. Something, did the water just stop? No, <gasps> I flew over the land. Oh, why did you do that? Huh? Why did you fly over the land? Because there was no water. I oh, can't. <laughs> so just like walk. It looks. It is cool. such a weird room. <laughs> Pass out. Oh my god, I'm I'm actually stupid. I need those boots. I need them because it's. Can you you stop, please? This is revenge. They've been serious. You should have come. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <actually> <laughs> like yeah, the wait there for a second. <laughs> Wait there for a second. <laughs> Shall do, boss. Hey, do we have any sword sand? Hmm, Toby got some, I think? That's I'm not how we do this. I'm gonna steal one piece. And uh, screw you, I never want What? So You're gonna steal what? How do you know what? I called the Roger? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, and I jumped off the wheel. Yeah, okay. I did uh, Wow. Should yeah. probably turn auto jump off, actually. No, that is what crazy on. that you ever fucking considered that a good thing. Hey, why is it even in the game? I'm gonna be honest. It's the like, noobs. Sonny no, does like, fucking it, have it, it on. It's like, yeah, like, it's like dressing Sunny. up and like detrimental. It's another insane thing to have on. It's, it's, it's killed us many fucking times. <laughs> you keep it on? 
<laughs> no, so I just asked me what my favorite color is, and it's like objectively purple. My oh, color. Oh, hex. What's my favorite hex code? Okay. You don't know your hex. hex. Off by heart. I don't know my hex code. Bro, what? Oh, yeah. What uh, kind of like man doesn't know, know the hex code? It's common truth. It's common truth. Yeah. I'm actually usually. It's got a problem with us. It's got a problem with us. I'm literally. Seems like you have a problem with him, bro. You're both problems. Not a sexual tension. <laughs> Good for you to admit. <laughs> Shaq, finish him. Not finish him. No, no, no. I'm going to kill you right now. I'm going to kill you right now. I'm going to give you all your steak right now. I'm going to give you all your steak back. Yeah, good. Okay, do it now. Sonny, leave him alone. Okay. Sonny, put it down. Put it down. Put it, put it down, Sonny. Okay. I'm going to regen and like whatever steak I have left. Oh, your steak. Oh, your steak. I need to eat first. I need to eat first. No, 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 don't eat first. Show me the steak. You read the second you steak. I got some. Cladded chest plates. Shit cladded. Shit cladded. Cladded in not... shit. I'll probably be pretty effective. You wouldn't want to like hit the guy with your sword who is in cladded shit, you know? <laughs> well, that's actually like a fist fight. Oh. Yeah, it is a fist fight. Oh my god. What incredible knowledge you have to do well. Uh -huh. Do you know about the, the, guy the, the bee penis explosions? Well, when they. Fuck, they die. When they orgasm, they, their penises explode. They don't die either. I mean, they might. Are you sure they the die? No, they die after. It's like a massive. It's like losing a leg and it not getting exactly. treated. I mean, technically, they are losing a leg, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the one for the fellas. Uh, um, fellas out there, um, you hear that? Uh, <laughs> Women, stop watching. Yeah, stop Sorry. watching, Zuski. You're not Italian, not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> boys, I can't even say boys anymore. Fell, uh, people, it's crazy what I'm seeing. In the last 28 days, it's 7.5% female, and in the channel's lifetime, it's 9.1. Holy shit, ladies! I know five single, cute, thoughtful men looking for. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm playing, but I'm surprised it's that high. Considering it's just five dudes playing games, I am baffled. It's crazy to see that we got some Z feds. There are also queef heads. Am I right, people? I apologize, don't leave. I think a few of them left after that. And thank God. Women scare me. Your favorite anime is a slice of life. Yeah. Your mom has a slice of life. I can't see that a slice of that ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I go God. I go on he misses one, I so much. Oh, that hits so awful. That's crazy. <laughs> what, is, what, is she, what does Taylor do, Sonny? She shakes it off. She shakes it off. Hey, that's gonna hit, 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 hit. But she's just gonna... Yeah, she's just gonna do her own thing. Shake, 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 shake. She's just throwing the panel <laughs> and she don't need nobody. <laughs> True inspiration. So wise. The only yeah. game I'm bad is fucking Valorant, because I don't really hit watch. the aim system. I'm Four not nights. bad at watch. That's just false. Or not, yeah. Any nights. Yes, really. That's oh, false. I'm fucking. Fortnite. I'm crazy at Fortnite. You also know that you're like good at Fortnite. It's like, because you are fucking stealing my killers. You're the worst you know, player ever. Ski had alien kills. I had alien assists. Okay, so now he uh -huh. kept stealing my kills. Because you went man. down after like a second. No, I did not go down. He just keeps stealing at the end. He did go down, did you not? I do all the hard work, and he's sitting in the back of fucking snipe up. Oh, well, but. What did you just say? Speaking this English. Oh shit, this is a smear campaign. This is a real campaign. This is a smear campaign, and I will not stand for it. I only um, keep it real over here. You don't. I keep it 100. You don't. Keep it 300. You don't. Oh shit, Tom, when do you get over here? You stand on that tree like a pervert. <laughs> got the whole stance and everything. Pervert stance, Perf stance. Huh? Prepare for the most random conversation imaginable. <sighs> Shush. My amigo. <sighs> My amigo. Why would you say that to your amigo? So we ain't homes. We ain't homes? Yeah. Is he not? Yeah. I thought she was sweet. No man is an island. <laughs> okay. No man is an island apart from Sonny. <laughs> yeah, you would float. Again. <laughs> again. It's pretty good though, come on. You gotta say that one was good. What's not good? 
Stop lying to yourself, that was clean. It was not clean. That was lit. It was gross. And cruel. And lit. And uh, gay. <laughs> no! No! Hopefully it wasn't gay. It's okay, you can return it again as the normal levels by reading 10 chapters of Jojo. Oh really? The fire alarm went off in the kitchen went off, so now we all gotta wait. Oh, Shaq's gonna be even longer. It's a fucking noob and a half. The, the fire alarm went off, he's a noob and a half. Yeah, he's a noob and a half. He should have planned for this. Mm -hmm. In that situation, I'll just whip out my mouth at PNS and proceed to douse the flames. So real of you. Uh, is it a big pizza? Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, like you can get like inches. Domino's is so cheap. You can always get like two for one deal. So you twelve can get, like, inches is five. far too much. Yeah, twelve inches is a lot of food for one guy. And like, I love pizza as much as the next guy, but it's not like the healthiest six shit in the world. Six inches feels you have normally something. Uh, Who left? There yeah. was a villager in a bed, and I was like trying to wake him up, and I forgot when you right click beds in the never. So I just blew him up. Wait, what? There was a villager asleep in the nether. Yeah. How? I, I don't know. <laughs> That's funny as well. But he's, he's dead now. You just Bro, I wish I was that. He was getting his beauty sleep. <laughs> you fucking he blew was. him up. And I tried to wake him up and just fucking detonated him. Like, actually, what is it recently? I've, like, really been, like, my brain has been, like, really wanting to speak Spanish for some reason. And, like, you know all the Spanish from, like, GCSE? It's just been coming back. Like, I've... <laughs> you have, like, Spanish episodes, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Well, no, the, I wasn't actually listening. The evil woman with the nose. The <laughs> and... uh -huh, the nose. That's the, 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 the eyes and the ears. <laughs> <laughs> what? You want to grow Danny's in the nose? No, 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 no. In, in the thing with Dan. Oh, with Dan? Oh, can they breed? Do that, Sonny. Uh, no, I don't have any of them on it. So. Make the eugenics program started. Make them fuck! I Anyway, Scoot. Oh, what a reward. The wrong way. What? Reward. Re what? Oh, you want your two diamonds? It's only for a guy who's calling me a bitch, as not Because I'm not a full netherite. You don't have two Here's fucking diamonds. diamonds. How don't you have two diamonds? Give me the diamonds. Or what? Diamonds. Turn around. It's time to sniff us. This was the agreed upon price, Siske. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Price. That was the easiest boss, I just wanted you to be present. I could have killed them myself. This was the agreed upon price. And I will be paid. <laughs> we'll end at the same place in the end, the young Is it? The grave. It's very deep. You wish to drown the death, I see. Where did he go? You fucking do. <laughs> These have lost them too. <laughs> Wait, what? Actually. You have I've a map. Lost them. How have you lost them? Because he can crouch. <laughs> oh my god. He jumped no in the way. water. <laughs> Wait, what? Please say you haven't lost them. I was joking. Oh, okay, 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 stop hitting me. The diamonds. Yeah, I'll give you the diamonds. Stop. Why are you need close in there? Uh, so me, I need uh, spectral arrows. Danny's sexual room. arrows? Spectral. Why do you want sexual arrow? Uh, it's like you, I don't know, it'd be cool to light up the ender dragon. You're like, genius, highlight them. man. I light him I... up with gonorrhea, I understand. No, let's mm -hmm. not do that, but yeah, sure. I think oh, I did. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? That was a crazy sentence, to be honest. <laughs> Listen to that. Wait, let me, let me get fully in, Harold. Let me turn my master volume up. A pig just saved uh, its life. I was about to uh, fucking uh, punch it, and a pig uh, pushed me. <sighs> Stop killing each other. Ant. No, I'm just killing <laughs> Oh, wait, ZP, I, I, made, I made something for the. Do you see him, Ant? Do you see I can use a dad cock right now. A dad's cock? Dad cock. Oh. I also probably just said a dad cock. I was, I was worried. Probably not I like that cock. idea, though. Sonny's going with this pro, like, craft. <laughs> she can repair <laughs> anything at a price. Maybe she managed to, like,. Make Sunny turn out okay, and that's pretty impressive. Okay is a stretch. You know, it's a great feeling. Like yes. Well, you only like. Eat a condom. No. 
I don't, you don't really. What do you wanna do, Sonny? You smell like poo. I'm gonna sit on you and suck on all your titties. Cause I really wanna eat on your ass. I'm an HR. I'm an HR. I know I'm an HR. I'm an HR. Yeah, yeah. Who's H and why is he speaking? He's a man who brings justice to work class like me and Sonny. How about you adjust this dick in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what they save us from. Beast. Like he uses it. I do have a beast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big idiot I'm who old. doesn't know directions. That's what you're saying. A fucking fool and hand. Are you? No, that's why they call you on some Cerberus. They say how about you, do they? No, they say that about you. Oh, I feel really bad, Tony. Oh, I didn't know you were going you're through that. the wrong man, bitch. The wrong man, bitch. Is that why they call you in some circles? Wrong <laughs> the man, man bitch. <laughs> they call oh, him a man. This is funny. Bitch. This is funny. It's hilarious. It's a big funny guys over here. Yeah. Who killed Toby and why is his grave underneath the fucking I know, thing? I don't know. Why is your what dick you so want? big and really cool? Because I was... Uh, I was, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get cracked? How'd you get cracked? Um, stone cutter. No, you don't. Do you? Oh. oh, yeah, you have to find it then. I don't know, a little song. Oh, what do you want? <laughs> Very nice. Oh, that's a lot of apples, really? All of you give me all of these? We had quite a few apples back at the base. Oh. Yeah, we've been, we've been clearing out some orchards. Uh -huh. uh, we're helping with that old climate change thing, making it go quicker. Here, Sonny murders Toby, and then blames Toby for him dying. Toby was only wearing helmet and chest plate. No idea why, to be honest. But apparently that makes it okay for Sonny to just kill him. You can do whatever he wants. Why are you attacking him five times? It's not a logical decision. It's not. It doesn't make sense. And then you kept him. He's a clown. It doesn't have to be logical. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. It's a clown. There's no other explanation. Why are you hitting people five times in a row and then going, WHAT?! Also, it's wild to talk about logic, like he's so smart and always makes the right decision. Let's use some logic in here. Oh, not this fucker. Your logic here. Big fan of the Seafska channel. Son of that shit was whack. How gone kill someone I say is their fault. Love to the homie Toby. I'm proud to be biracial. Honestly, this is just better by Like, Well, you know what? You know what it's called, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice ass, brother. Nice ass. I'm so glad. Oh, the coconut crab. Get out of here, you fucking... The real owners are here again, bitch. Fuck up, bitch! Uh, yeah. Hey, no more loitering yeah. around here, boy. It's Mon Island. Yeah, bitch! Bro, the, the coconut crab freaking inhabited this house. He's been sitting in here. Wait, there's another, there's another one! one? Oh, bastard. get him out! <laughs> How dare you. Wanna tangle with the previous owners, huh, punk? Huh? Yeah, we've got That's our big thought. boy. That is now Better MC finished. After this, there was a little break from Minecraft. I tortured myself with Overwatch for 12 hours and had a Pokemon phase. Then we came back better than ever with 100 days in Naruto Minecraft. You may notice a new face. We swapped Ants out and brought in Kuba. For some reason, Ants didn't want to film Minecraft for 33 hours. If you remember, at the end of Better MC, we said we'd sail away, and at the start of this, we're shipwrecked. The ZCU is real, people. Let's get into it. So I am a big Naruto fan, and a new Naruto mod came out a month or two ago, so we had to check it out. Our goals for this video are to try and collect all of the Jutsu, beat the Ender Dragon, beat the Wither, beat Zabuza, beat Kisame, beat Itachi, become a Jinchuriki, open the 8 gates, and try and get the Renegan or Tenseigan. I would like to say thanks for the support, we had 6k since the last one, no thanks to it though. So please like, comment and subscribe, because just setting this shit up took another 100 days. Anyway, back to the boat. Uh, wh what happened? Oh, no, Finnegan We've been- Yafo is piloting the ship, he didn't do Oh, Finnegan, what have you done? Uh, We've been shipwrecked. Uh, in the middle uh, of a uh, river too, what was Rob do? I'm not sure. <laughs> What's he saying? This mountain? Before I got trapped, I saw a village over that mountain. Oh, no oh, shit. What? How the fuck did you see that before? How did you get trapped, Finnegan? Let's go check this place out. Come on up, guys. Oh, there's people here. Hey, Ruka, oh, how shit. you doing? Oh, is this... 
Wow. Welcome to the village. Let what me teach hell? you something to start you off. I got a scroll. Well, the mayor. Village hidden in the spruce. Where the fuck is the mayor? I guess where we go talk to the mayor, right? <laughs> the mayor's house? The mayor. Wait, wait. Uh, the house of our great honey, mayor. Guacamole. I need you to. I need you to pay my country roll account. <laughs> I need. To, I need to watch Tokyo Revengers, please. No. Uh, uh, who are you? Who the fuck are you, Giza? Hello, gentlemen. I am mayor of this town. The Honourable Guacam Zero. All ye who see my face, bow. Bow, please. Bow. Yes. Okay. So, what brings you, mysterious travellers, to this neck of the woods? Uh, well, we got shipwrecked over there. Over there? Um, yeah. Hmm. Well, what do you guys like to get up to, then? We've got <laughs> a fair amount of resources here in this town. Oh, hello. Like what? Um, Can you show us around, maybe? Okay, well, um, <laughs> we've got a lovely zen garden here, looked after by uh, Jiraiya, our early stage. <laughs> 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 you have one of those. Um, oh, nice guy. Uh, every every town does. Mr. Mayor, there's a homeless man in the pond. There is? Huh? There's a homeless man oh. in the pond. What the fuck? Oh, oh god, god, not again. He's oh, drowning. he's back. <laughs> oh, Pepe. Pepe's sad. Oh, oh what no. Did he just die? Oh, what are you doing? No, actually, he's up on a bug. No. We have the, the house of, of Brian, the silly drunk. Nobody really seems... knows how he got so rich, but uh, we, we can have a look inside. This was actually meant to be Sonny's house, but it was kind of dumb if we started and he already had a house, a wife, and a child. So the law had to change a little bit, and we made the drunk guy the dad. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? He just been <laughs> Did the Nitwit just kill him? Did we just Holy witness a murder? Fuck. Cold blooded first degree murder? Cold blooded <laughs> murder. Ow, ow. I'm getting hit also. Whoa, what, what are you getting hit by? You can't walk. <laughs> it's a lamb. <laughs> the lamb's are radioactive. Uh. Well, this is unfortunate. What the hell is it? <laughs> I don't know. Right? Okay. And swiftly moving on from that. Complete shit show. It is still a mystery to this day why that corner killed you. I tried to fix the organ and make another one, but the original just didn't go away and they ended up duplicating. <laughs> we, ever, we never speak of Brian's house again, and so if we follow onwards, we have this beautiful, beautiful fountain. Wow. Uh, very, um... Also constructed by yours truly with this guy in the middle, <laughs> because... Well, you don't want to know what he's done. Just hey, He buddy, deserves buddy. to be down there, all right? You know what? Yeah. Usually I don't let strangers hand out the death sentence, but this seems warranted, so... Uh, just let it happen. Uh, if you need any ranged weapons, there's Tetan here. <laughs> you... <Wah! laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he left me on half a heart. It, it's all right. I tell you what, we'll heal you up with some free. nice hearty... Eat you rack around. Um, we've also got Brian in here. The oh, this is Brian the guy's house. house. Yeah. yeah, he's quenching his thirst with liquid joy, apparently. <laughs> Jorgen deserves uh, abuse at hourly intervals. Hmm. So it's Brian's, Brian's figured out some way to do it remotely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now here are the rest of our, our vendors and um, and townspeople. Nah. No bands plus weak plus no chakra plus no feats plus Naruto better. Damn. Holy She's shit. in a chat I mean, shit. If you wanna, if you wanna head up this uh, this little hillside, this mountain for a second, we have the weapons and medicine cart. I don't know why they're together. That seems a little bit counterintuitive, but Beautiful. if you wanna, if you wanna buy some masks, we've got the mask man over here. Who's this handsome huh. devil? Whoa! What a nice looking guy. We have another house with um pompous Pete, the town douchebag. Pete is so genius with his couch investments. I'm pretty much a couch. What? Oh. What's happening there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have become one. So, you know, down here, we have the residence of Gareth the Golem. He's our town's defender. He didn't seem yeah. to be doing very well. Um, Bro, what is this fella on about? Cows breedable? Well, well, they are breedable with another cow. But I don't think that's what he's talking about. In are fact, just... do you want me to invite- I, I, I can invite you to my hum humble abode if you so choose. It's, you can see my, my wife- you can see my wife and son. Okay, and upstairs is my son. Oh, he's a bit- He's, yeah, a fluffy, he's a fluffy lad. Oh, hello. Who is your wife? He's... He's I, very... He's been taken! Oh my god! My son! My son! My son. My son. <laughs> Elder, Bring him my back! Son. Bring him back! Ah, uh, we don't speak No, are you telling me you got Jonesy over here? Oh, hell yeah. What the fuck? He's actually armed with Jonesy. a gun? 
Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, Jonesy. Hell no. he put, he, oh. This thing is like a rift to go from Fortnite. Okay, now that we're done with the tour, let's introduce ourselves. Who's here? Um, what is that, uh, man? I'm, sh I'm, uh, I'm Shlofstam. I got picked up on the boat. And I'm a kleptomania. Oh. Um, hello, I am Squirtle. And you think because a hundred days is your ally? You merely adopted the hundred days. I was born in a t murdered by it. I didn't see less than a hundred days before I was a man. And to them, it was nothing to me but. <laughs> Fuck! Why is it be off? I'm Shaq, and I'm going to be lord of this town. Lord of the maids, maybe. Hello. I'm a Sony. I like women and money. Thank you. Nice piece. Okay. It's crazy Sonny's acting so cute and shy when he's literally the most destructive and evil person you could ever imagine in Minecraft. Day four. We start off just like normal by getting some wood. To start our ninja journey, however, we need a kunai and a shuriken, which requires iron and string. If you actually play the mod pack, you don't need to do this, as after we filmed, an add-on got made, which made it so you start as a ninja, totally skipping that step. It also adds initial jutsus, so now Aruka is pretty much redundant, and it adds chakra charging, which is the main thing. We did actually use this in the 200 days. Also, Kuba finds Guy and Lee who are away from the village training. Day five. I find King Arthur and he gives me a crown. I see you can lift the sword too. I pass my crown onto you. Gave me a crown. He got struck by lightning. Oh, he killed me. And then I go see Guy and Lee. Oh, and by the way, I had to implement a whole economy in traders because half the things in the mod are just unobtainable in survival because this mod is quite new. 10 million is the highest price by far as we all know how strong the A gates are. Okay, there were some problems. Basically, it didn't go night because on Optifine, there's a setting that makes it stay day, which I didn't know was the thing. We then get some string and 1010 visits the village. What, what is 10? Oh, 1010 naturally spawned, huh? Oh, what? What the yeah. fuck? Wow. Uh, I was clicking on the thing to change menus, and then the menu went away, so I punched her. <laughs> why, why did I get attacked? And then she <laughs> instantly went for Kuba and one-tapped him. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, Ten Ten hated Kuba and killed him like ten times. She just, she just attacked me for no reason. We then pass around the shuriken and kunai, and we all get the shinobi achievement. Now we all learn the jutsu Iruka gave us. Day 6. We all gang up on Ten Ten and kill her. She was causing too much problems, she had to go. To replace that problem though, another one came. Kisame spawned below us, beneath the fucking village. Of course we stayed away and he did not attack us. I then get to level 10, which is the final requirement to become a ninja. This gives me speed 2, haste 2, jump boost 2, and also unlocks chakra. So as you should know, chakra is the pool you take energy from to use jutsu. In this mod, there is something called ninja XP, which is basically a number that represents how good of a ninja you are, and for every two ninja XP, you get one chakra. You gain more whenever you hit a mob or take damage. Jutsu XP is similar, but instead is tied to each jutsu. You need to hit the required jutsu XP to unlock it. You also get a chakra nature, but these are practically useless as they don't come with any jutsu. Because of this, I added a Ruka to give us one. As I said, it's very new and unfinished at the moment. However, Something that does come with you two is a Keke Genkai. And don't worry, because everyone is guaranteed one of them. Basically, after you hit 300 ninja XP, every single second after that, there is a 0.1% chance that you get yours. The only other way to get Jutsu is to find scrolls in naturally generating chests, such as mineshafts and strongholds. Anyway, then Toby and Kuba run off together and leave the group. I go mining, and then die from a zombie reaching through a wall. What? Day 7. I get a loot bag. This is another way to get Jutsu that I added because some of the scrolls just don't spawn in chests for some reason. These can have any Jutsu in, so I made them extremely rare. There's also a lot of comments going, Where are loot bags? The loot bags don't work. How to get loot bags? And they are there. They're just incredibly rare. I made the chance 50 times harder to get loot bags because they are pretty good. They kind of guarantee you get a Jutsu and Zetsu Flesh is also in there, which unlocks a good few upgrades. Apparently you can get these from any mob as even cows drop them. From the loot bag, I got a backpack, hiding in rock scroll and great flame scroll. Hello people, it is day eight and we've decided to put keep inventory on because when you die, 
you lose your nature and any jutsus that you had. So to combat that, we're going to use keep inventory. And I know that's kind of sad, but it's kind of got to be done. I find a ravine and soon after some diamonds. Five diamondas. Let's go. Also, Sonny gets his kick at Genkai, which is magnet release and is basically Gara but with iron sand. Day nine. Sonny gets an iron sand ward with his magnet release, which gives him 20 armor and resistance three. Kuba finds a mineshaft and then a chest. I found two diamonds, I found a wind release, chakra flow, and a lightning release, and a water release. Day 10. I hit 300 ninja XP, so I can now get a kick of Genkai. And then Kuba gets his. Hello, Mr. Lee. Sharingan activated. You're a Sharingan?! How the fuck? But wow, that's a lucky one. That's probably the best one you can get, to be honest. The Sharingan, to no one's surprise, is insanely OP. It goes in the helmet slot and gives 50 armor and a 50% chance to dodge attacks. For comparison, full diamond is only 20 armor. Also, on top of that, when you attack someone who has the Sharingan, they give you slowness, so you can't even fucking move. By the way, dodge attacks means anything. Creeper explosions, arrows, slash kills, apparently. Obviously not now, but when I was testing, Atachi dodged a slash kill. It's just that's wrong. I then come back to the surface and nearly get murked by a white zetter. Makes Pretty it more good. enchantable. Yeah. I then hunt for some sugarcane and get ambushed. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah! Bro, Toby gets his keke genkai is storm release. And Sonny sells some of his stuff and makes 60k already. Day 11. I get my keke genkai. Toby, we're gonna, we're gonna make a weed farm. Oh, I got something. I'll get some miyake. I got skeletal. Oh, I got skeletal? Oh, that's sick. I then find a mineshaft. And Toby goes to the nether. In the mineshaft, I find some new jutsu. There is body replacement, two hiding in mists, mind body transfer, another lightning beast, and chakra flow. But I'm busy leveling my skeletal release, so I don't actually learn any of these. Seconds later, Shaq gets his Kekka Genkai. Oh, Sharingan activated. Hi. You got Sharingan too? I then try to set up an XP farm with the baby spiders, to little success. Okay, I don't oh. think they can get through slabs. You want a diamond gun? OH THEY CAN'T GET THROUGH SLABS! Day 12. I keep mining and find a good few diamonds. Sunny now looks for Orochimaru's base that I made. The clue was, I heard Orochimaru is held up in some forest to the east. After not too long of looking, he finds it, and then dies to brother. I also make myself a backpack and upgrade it to gold. Day 13. I now go out and explore. I find a village and then steal all their food. Then Sunny finds a new mob. What the fuck is that? What's what? See some goofy little bastard. You're gonna have to speak words. It's glowing. <laughs> you know, you're really fucking descriptive. <laughs> I then find another village, and this one does have a blacksmith, but sadly no jutsu. Day 14. I now unlock the first skeletal jutsu, which is Larch Dance. This just goes on my chest and gives me 20 armor and resistance 4. This makes me nigh unkillable. I make a ton of blueprints from the silent gear mod and Shaq shows me his mine. Then Sonny says that he's already unlocked all of his magnet due to. I then grade my diamonds in the part analyzer and make the best hammer that I can. Shaq then reveals he has 270,000 somehow. I don't think I even have one yet. Day 15. Sonny shows off his new moves. This is my shield of sound. Try to hit this. Yeah, look, he, the skeleton's trying to hit you. Can't do shit though, it's invincible. I learned that on top of all the other stuff, my armor also has inbuilt thorns. Here is the stuff that you can sell to get money. I sold what I got when I was mining and I made 80k. Day 16. Kuba travels 4,000 blocks to a mesa biome to mine gold. The reason is that it spawns at any Y level there, so it's all over. And I learn Willow Dance, which gives me plus 15 attack damage, which means if I have a weapon with 5 damage, I can one hit mobs. Day 17. I go to Orochimaru's hideout. You think I did a good job? I think it looks pretty accurate. You come through here. There he is. We got Shin. White Zetsu. A baby Tenzo. Who's a Yamato if you don't know. And then some amalgamations he's made. The fucking demon sheep. Orochimaru sells Kika Genkai. Because I didn't want to gatekeep any of the cool jutsu. They are expensive though. I also added the pit where the prisoners have a battle royale. And it appears brother is waiting down there. I then unlock my next dance. Which gives me a bone sword. This is pretty good, it does 12 damage with 1.6 attack speed. And also, Sonny gets an epic loot bag with adamantine chains and water dragon bullet. Day 18, I negotiate Toby and Kuba down from 10k to 1k to 
So let me see their base. Welcome. <laughs> this is the this is where the cows are. Hello. This is the XP farm. <laughs> what? Use our waste on if you whole hidden really mountain. Want. Yeah, that that's basically our house. It's just one mine really. Somehow Shaq is now on eight hundred and twenty thousand. He seems to be printing money, it's crazy. I then go mining, is that how Shaq got so bounded? Day 19. I go to the nether and do some risky parkour to get across to the fortress. And then I spend the rest of the day looting this joint. Okay, I got three D rank jutsus. I got diamond horse armor, an A rank hiding in camouflage. Okay, I got C, D rank and a C rank. Two diamonds out of the chest. Let's go. A rank hell swamp. Two more diamonds. Oh, I got Chidori. Okay, another A rank healing. Lightning chakra mode and the multi size scroll. You know, Nether Fortress oh, oh, yeah. seems like the way, man. I'm getting so much you too. Day 20. Oh my god, why is there a staircase like that? Holy shit, I nearly hopped in the fucking lava. Shaq finds Itachi. Fuck this button. Here. There was just a button on the fucking mountain. Ah, Itachi. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well done. And then doesn't read. I think it glitched, it didn't give me a rope. <laughs> Did you go through the conversation? Yeah, I did. Did you read? Oh. Well, he said he gave me a robe. I read the entire thing. I read the he did not say that. Day 21. Skindex dies, so the NPC skins leave for a bit. Sonny and Shaq manage to trap Sakura in a boat and are torturing her. I then ask to live with them, and I'm told I have to pay. You know, what happened to the five friends? What happened to sharing? Now that there is an economy, all anyone wants is money. It's a sad turn of events. Anyway. I offer an enchanting table, and they say yes. Day 22. Kuba buys the adamantine staff, which is Hiruzen's weapon. It does 20 damage, has a 1.6 attack speed, and infinite durability. It did cost him 150k though. I then build an outline to the house, and place the enchantment table in the corner. This is the order truck farm people, what do you think? I also add a waystone, which lets us TP around. Day 23. Here is what Shaq was meant to read. Wait, there's a button? Itachi? How did you get in here? I will slaughter you just like my clan. Oh shit, okay. Want a cool robe? I've been in this weird hole for too long. I need some good old ramen, but not any ramen. Only one that's fit for a king. Brackets, figure this out. Okay, Itachi. His skin's a bit fucked, but yeah. Day 24. Shaq is 4,000 off being a millionaire. And back to the quest. I'll give you a hint. It's not in the village. I'll, gi I'll give you another hint. Ship ride. Go to the shipwreck. Is Shaq was the only one who didn't actually help with the map. We're making him do the quest because he doesn't even know. Okay, so I'm gonna go see my guy. What? Go see do you not oh, listen to the what? clues you're given? Ship, ship ride. That means nothing to me. Ship ride. Where would you ride a ship? Oh, by the river. Okay. What the fuck is this? Ah! Oh, thank you for the swords. Oh, and he gave me a crown. To the village so I can get the fucking ramen. Okay, let me go give this to Itachi. And he gave me his fucking robe. Oh, Ooh. I gave me his Oh. Yep, Shaq was right. So you get the crown, come here. You get Wagyu and Salmon Ramen. Then if I give this to Itachi, drip is received. What do you think? Then I did a spot of trolling. Oh, it's a spider spawner. What the fuck hell is? This game is a deal. What's up? He's yeah, a, a cool and I. Somebody threw a fucking cool on the It's 10 10 about. Mm. Day 25. Three dumps? <laughs> oh, your eyes. <laughs> You're so scared away. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Atachi is outside the fucking window! Do not attack him! He will blow this whole place up. Can, can you speak to him? No, no, uh -huh. you can't speak to him. No, no, no! I Run away! Nothing. I just spoke to him! Oh yeah, he's hostile, why the fuck would you- Yeah, lay them away a bit, come on. He doesn't want to fucking chat! Okay, okay you, you drew him away a little bit. Look at this, okay, how much better this looks. It's a bit of condor on the corners, so, you know. It's wow. Fantastic. Uh -huh. It's fantastic. Really Let's pay nice the window place. goes into a hill. Uh huh. It's a nice little view, it's got flowers on it, it's got trees. <laughs> Maybe it'll prune the hill a little bit, it'll look fantastic. I go to the nether to get more jutsu. I do fall in lava, but I'm just fine thanks to my resistance. The same happens to Kuba, but he is not as lucky. And Sunny finishes off the house. Day 26. I get a wither score. As well as tons more jutsu and a good few diamonds too. Oh my good. god, five diamonds in one chest? Okay. I also unlock a new dance. Oh, oh no, I did get it. Oh shit, it just is in my inventory. I've got a bone drill now, 80 attack damage. Got an epic loot bag. A B rank jutsu is all I got. Day 27. Sonny asks for payment for finishing off the house. I oblige and give him the A rank jutsu, shadow imitation. 
Also, as you can see, my backpack is totally full of scrolls, and lucky for me, there are NPCs in the village that will buy the scrolls off you. Sonny then tries out his newly unlocked adamantine chains on me. Let's go, doggy. Oh, I can't attack you. I just threw out this fear. I didn't die. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do you just release the chain? Because I don't need to go. Why did you fall? <laughs> I then went back to one of the villagers and stole their bookshelves. Day 28. Toby and Kuba both leave the hole in the mountain. Well, I blew it up. I also blew it up. What? You, I, you both, <laughs> separate from each other, both blew it up. <laughs> what? Shaq gets an epic loot bag with S rank Rasin Shuriken inside it. Sadly, when he learnt it, it didn't show up in his inventory. Obviously, he can't add wind nature to something he doesn't already know. He needs the Rasengan. I then sell all my duplicate scrolls and make 150k, which brings me up to around 300. Also, at this point, we agree there will be a forfeit for the person who has the most deaths, as with keep inventory on, we have no consequence for dying. I still have no idea what we could do, but please let me know in the comments if you have any ideas, because we will get around to it eventually. I manually counted every single death for nothing. We have not done any forfeit. Even in the 200 days, we just didn't do it. No one had an idea that was good enough, because sure, we could just take their jutsu, but that's just lame and wastes everyone's time. Reset their progress. Uh, like, it's just a bit underwhelming. Day 29. Sonny shows off his water dragon bullet. Toby buys a tailed beast scroll from Jiraiya for 500k. However, we are nowhere near ready to go for it yet. I buy a Gotito mask for 30k, and it turns out that Toby has now moved in with Itachi. Maybe that's where he's getting the money from. Day 30. I make some ender eyes to find the stronghold, but I don't go yet as first we need another waystone. Also, I try out the auto smelter that Kuba made with the glass furnace. This shit is rapid. Day 31 and 32. Toby makes me a waystone, and I start the hunt for the stronghold. Ten minutes later, I have found the stronghold, but sadly, one of the eyes popped along the way. Also, Kuba now takes in the last survivor of Hole in the Mountain, and names it Steven Spielberg. After only about a minute of looking around, I find the portal room. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shit, I'm wow. one off. It broke. I had nine when I came. I put the waystone down and head home. Now with the full enchanting table, I enchant my iron pick and get fortune 3. I then make more ender eyes, TP back and finish the portal. As my work is now done, I go mining as I wait for the others to make their way there. Day 33. I finish up mining and leave my hammer on one durability, hoping in the future I'll get mending. As everyone has assembled, we now take the plunge to the end. We can ninja climb, so we make light work of the end crystals. Though Sonny does die as he gets launched into space by the dragon. What the f- Okay. How did he hit us that high? I'm dead. <laughs> then I slap him silly with the bone drill. Oh hey boy, got him. Let's go. Day 34, 5 and 6. Me and Zunny decide to go through to the outer end, but we kind of struggle getting up to the pool. When you crouch and jump, it does a ninja jump, and I managed to ninja jump into the void twice. We eventually make it through, and I hop on Sunny's Iron Cloud, and we search for end cities. On this trip, we find six. Four with ships, and two without. From the expedition, I get full enchanted diamond armor, A rank hell swamp, A rank hiding and camouflage, B rank shadow clone jutsu, a ton of other random jutsu, some diamonds, a new pick, and a saddle. Okay, oh. well, yeah. I'll take the left chest, you take the right. Bro, I got a saddle and six gold, what the fuck? Sonny gets Kirin and Chidori, and while we're away, Shaq gets 2 million money. We then fly 2.6k back to the pool. Day 37. I sell all my stuff from mining and the end and make 400k, which brings me to 700k total. But I then buy the Metal Gauntlet for 200k. Also, Kuba starts his search for Orochimaru's base. Day 38. Shaq buys Sage Mode for 1 million. Sage Mode didn't actually work if sold directly. So he had to bust out the commands and use a token. He decided to get the snake sage mode. As people love to ask how I did stuff, I made a video explaining everything and uploaded it to a new channel. Link in the top right corner. Sunny claims that he will be RPing Sasuke from now on, as he has Kirin and Chidori. And here is the Metal Gauntlet in action. It is honestly so busted. It does 16 damage per hit, it's spammable, it has infinite ammo, and it costs no chakra to use. There is no downside, just infinite range damage. 
I think it was a pretty good investment. Ah! Rightfully so, this shit was nerfed into the ground. It now shoots a projectile out on a chain that is still attached, and you have to retract it back to shoot again. It can't be spammed anymore, you have to go pick up the projectile, and also a little issue, I don't think it does any damage. Also, the sound reflecting arm has changed. You used to just shoot air pellets out, which was pretty crazy. It was just like the gauntlet, but worse. And now it's a shield. If you hold it, it negates damage. When I'm down at the pit though, brother attacks me and tells me that I'm too weak. Sonny buys a sword of Kusanagi for his Sasuke cosplay. But I am 90% sure that Sasuke actually uses a Chikuto. Sonny told me I was wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Here is a comparison. Let me know who's right. In the game, these are two of the swords. Sunny is right that Sasuke referred to his sword as the Sword of Kusanagi, but it isn't that one. That one is the Rochimaru's. The one in the top left, the Chikuto, is the one that Sasuke used. I now look for a village to try and find a mending trade. Day 39. Toby becomes a medical ninja by buying training off Sakura for 250k. Kuba has still made no progress on the base finding. However, there was another clue from Jonesy that said, Enemy about 80 on the compass, sir. Which coming from the Fortnite guy means to go east northeast. I do find a village, but there was sadly no mending. I also unlock my final skeletal jutsu, which is called Bracken Dance, and it makes bone spikes out of the ground. Day 40. Toby joins Kuba, and they manage to find it. Also, here is how Kirin looks. Sunny's thing. Toby buys the Sanchuo puppet but doesn't even know Puppet Jutsu, so he just sits there in it. He literally can't even move it. Shack update, he now has 3.5k chakra, which makes him the strongest and the richest. Sunny then whispers to me on Minecraft that we need to stop him grinding as he will be too OP. This is absolutely insane coming from Sunny, who in both of our other 100 days was likely the strongest. He is just mad that it isn't him for once. Day 41 to 45. I spend this whole time in the nether, snatching scrolls from fortresses. Toby plots on my life. <laughs> Shaq now unlocks Sage Mode, which needed 800 due to XP, which I think is one of the highest. Sage Mode gives you all of this, plus it gives you 50% extra chakra and lasts until that chakra runs out. So the more chakra, the longer it lasts. Shaq said it was bad. But that's because he didn't have enough chakra to make it last. I also go on a killing spree of zombie pigmen as they drop gold and it's good money. When doing this, I get a legendary loot bag that had an A rank and three B rank due to, but I already have all of them. Not too soon later, I get another one. I got die. No, I got iron boots. I got a pair of iron boots. I start learning water dragon bullet and hit the three K chakra mark. I got another loot bag, baby. Another one. Oh, Kirin! Nice. Oh, Kuba gets Chidori, and I get another Kirin. Oh, I got Kirin again! Oh, let's sell that bitch. I now try out Water Dragon Bullet, and with it, you can place water in the nether. It just bypasses it. Now that I've got that one, I move on to multi size Jutsu, which is from the Akimichi clan. Also, Kuba gets another Wither Skull, putting us one off the Wither. Toby now can control his puppets, and he gets the two others, Hiroko and Karasu. About boom. Shaq hits 5k chakra, and I find the third and final with a head. Oh, there we go! I got skull, I got skull! Day 46. Sunny also becomes a medical ninja, and I take my leave from the nether. I was gonna sell my second Kirin, but instead I work out a trade with Kuba that gives me the same worth. Kirin goes for 50k, so he gives me Chidori 20k and 6 diamonds 30k. Kuba also hits a million today, and I hit 850k. Day 47 and 48. We go over to the hole in the mountain to go fight the wither. The bone drill absolutely demolishes this dweeb. No, you're thinking of the... No! <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> My two litre bottle of Pepsi Max fell. What, you oh. tipped it? Yeah. We Everybody all get an achievement. So on the wither. <laughs> no, don't we get out of here. Run, guys. You... He's gonna explode. Oh, Sunny. Sunny, man. Oh, <laughs> we got man. instantly wiped. I'll get him, kids. Oh my god, I'm actually Who's gonna get him. Do it. Did he die? <laughs> what? You already killed him. Where's the oh, thing? I finished charging, guys. I'm ready. <laughs> A lot of iron. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to find the winner. <laughs> no. Yeah. What? Where oh, what is he? 
Wait, did we already beat him? No. <laughs> 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 so we cannot try this false darkness on you. Can you hand him? I see you wave! Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh... I make the beacon, and Sonny tries out his Black Panther. Because you can, you can, um, first of all, Occlumency, which is mind reading, that can be resisted. And so no, you so killed the cow! Drinking oh. Annie, no. This was accidentally funny as fuck. Legit the frame after, I start munching one of his dead homies. I didn't even pick up on this, but these comments did. Fireball, you fucking ass. Didn't need to do that. <laughs> he, was sorry, he was the chosen one, and you do that to him. I deliver justice for Steven. I then try out my multi-size jutsu in the end, and all the endermen aggro on my big ass. Obviously Shaq needs this shit to grind better, so he pays me 100k for a scroll of it. Kuba locates Danzo, who is another vendor, and I think we all know what he sells. Also, Sonny gets a legendary loot bag, and inside it there is two S ranks and two A rank jutsu. The S rank being Rasen Shuriken and Four Symbol Sealing, which is needed to seal a tail beast. Day 49 and 50, Kuba shows me where Danzo was hiding. And it was just in a cave below the village. He sells eyeballs. I start to learn hiding in rock jutsu, and then go explore the rest of the stronghold because I never even did. Oh, amending book. Let's go. This is actually crazy luck. There were only two chests in the whole stronghold. It was a tiny one, and one of them had mending. Sunny tries out his chakra and strength, and it does nothing to me. But the surroundings felt it. I then go use Toby's anvil to add mending to my hammer. Oh wait. Okay, I got mending on my hammer. What oh, the fuck? Shit. Help me! <laughs> oh, Itachi, please! There we go. Ah. Uh, nice and cozy down there. Yeah, Snug is a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> also, Shaq discovers the multi size Jutsu does have a flaw. When you go big mode, you don't actually get any ninja XP. Day 51 and 52. Shaq gets a thing called Zetsu Flesh, also known as Hashirama Cells. These can be rarely dropped from White Zetsu or be found in loot bags. Eating the flesh has a 1% chance to unlock wood release if you have wood and earth release already. They can also kill you. Instead of trading his diamonds in for money, Toby becomes the fastest smelter in the land with 5 diamond encrusted furnaces. Now that I have mending, I go mining again. Sunny then gets 42 white Zetsu flesh out of the loot bag, and also Beetle Sphere, which is apparently one of the 4 S rank tutu in the game. Sunny racks up a good few deaths from the flesh. Day 53. I come back to the surface, and here's my hole. I then go home to use the auto smelter, and come to find it's missing. Kuba has been silent for an hour at this point, so it appears he ran away. He... No, he's no. in here. Not until Sonny returns to Steven's death. You've been silent for like 10 days because Sonny killed your cow. Oh my god. You sad freak. We've been asking for you, you didn't even reply. Come on, bro. That's so funny. Kuba then tells me where his new base is, and Sunny buys explosion release from Orochimaru. Day 54. I meet up with Kuba and use his Smeltatron. Sunny apologizes, but Kuba doesn't accept and likens the situation to if he killed Sunny's mother. He then says Steven was the chosen one, and he places down his waist down. <laughs> Day 55. I sell all my mining stuff and scrolls and go from about 1 mil to 2.2 mil. Also, Sunny hits AK Chakra, which is nearly double mine. Day 56, 7 and 8. I unlock Hiding in Rock Jutsu. Now, I didn't really use this thing for hiding. This allows me to pass through blocks. And as you can see, this works like a pseudo x-ray, but in reality, it's far worse. I can only see diamonds if they're open to air, so honestly, I miss out most of them. This ain't even that good. Why are you making money? <laughs> oh, I'm in the rocks. Yeah, now think about money? it. Oh, oh you, you, you X-ray. <laughs> this guy, we need a band to use to What do you mean? It's not X-ray. X-ray around. It's a legitimate yeah. Jutsu. I mean, I don't know, it's in the game, buddy. It's also a pretty good way to find chests and Jutsu, because you can find mineshaft easily. Shaq says he's nearly at 5 mil. He already spent a mil on Sage World. How the fuck is he so rich? Even using my really impressive ninja skills, I still can't keep up. Oh my god, I was sweating my ass off. Like, I, I was like min-maxing, just grinding for money. Like, I would speed up every little process. That, that's, that's like 30 hours of my life, I'm never getting back. But it, it was worth it. Just to be outscaled in the next video. Day 59. I find another mending book in a mineshaft, and then I leave, with about 4 stacks of diamonds in my pocket, plus all this. If you were wondering about the rest of them, Shaq and Sunny are grinding Enderman, 
Toby's mining and Cooper's building this house. Day 60, 61 and 62. I sell all my riches and make 1.3 mil, taking me up to 3.7 mil. Okay, I've got 3 million. Come to a decision, I'm buying Sharingan. Thank you, Danzo. Good doing business. Also, Toby has spent way more diamonds, building out his base even more. He is flexing so hard. At this point, I just start running around trying to find bosses because we need to get them done. And while I'm out, I find a mending villager. I then continue my search, but from below. Day 63, I find a third Kirin in a minecart chest. And I see Zabaza on the minimap. I tell you, these bosses despawn if you leave them alone for 10 seconds. So I zoom my way over and stand slightly above them. While waiting for the Avengers to assemble, I buy Ras and Shuriken off Sonny for 60k. Now we fight Zabaza. As it's a bit tight though, Sonny offers to open it up with the whale. Now the whale to me sounds like a large water jutsu, but no, he meant C3. Shaq instantly died. Did you kill anyone? I didn't know you you were blowing that up. Why did you do that? Okay, I died. Oh you killed me, study. You said you do a little whale. That's not a whale. That's a C fucking four. It's a whale. Uh, it's a C four. Not a whale. Okay, well, get some of it. Get him. Whoa. Oh, Hey, Zabuza! But He blocking me? Is that a boss ball for you? Yeah. Nah. I just maybe, spotted his health. Maybe don't kill him in the lava, so we want to throw. It's very smart, son. I'll try and block him. Oh, he dropped! Oh, oh. I, what did he drop? Kirk, you get Check out the aftermath. Day 64 and 65. Sonny gets a loot bag. With chakra enhanced strength, 4 symbol ceiling, and 50 wide zetsu flesh. Sonny only wants to give away 17, so I pay him 5k for each of them. Sadly, all I get is a few deaths. I then make 500k more from selling diamonds, and I add mending and efficiency 5 to my shinobi pick. Day 66 to 70. I buy a toad summon from Jiraiya for 500k. Then I spend the rest of the time hopping in and out the nether, trying to locate Toby's tail beast map. When I tested these, they were like 30k blocks away, so being in the nether is a must. As if you don't know, you travel 8 blocks in the overworld for every one in the nether. The first portal I make brings me to 17k and takes my marker below Shukaku, so it appears I've went too far south. I'm now above it, so it's in between 13k and 17k. Came at 15k, still not low enough. I can't below it. So now that I know it's between 15.4 and 16.7k, I decide to just run in the overworld for a bit. 5 minutes later, I'm on the map, and now I know that the Z coordinate is around 16.3 thousand. Now I rinse and repeat east, and after 8 portals, I make it past Yukaku, meaning that it's between 36 and 32k. After one portal, I'm within 2k of it, so I decide to run. The X coordinate is 34,500. Now I go to where they meet, and bang, I'm there. Okay, I am now on the map. Fucking hell, that took a while. Here's some stuff that happened while I was on my journey. Sonny got 17 more Zetu Flesh, but sadly no wood release. Sonny unlocked 4 symbol ceiling, which is the final piece we need to seal a tail beast. Sonny bought sage mode. Sonny hit 15k chakra. Sonny ran over an elderly man. Toby says he is just going to go on the nether roof and backs it up as legit by saying that Filza did it. And I gotta agree, if anyone was to judge the validity of an exploit, it would be Filza. Also, the JEI didn't work for fireworks and I was too busy to check at the time, but it turns out you can make them and it would have made my life so much easier. I see Shikaku, he don't see me. Day 71 and 72. In today's news, I've just got my summoning toad done. Let's see how he goes. Let's go. Get a toad. Oh, okay. I accidentally tapped it once. I'm gonna summon the biggest one. It should be Gamma Bunta. Might take all my chakra, but let's go. Sunny gets sage mode. Apparently 59.3 is what I can do. I think this is all my chakra. Holy shit. It's a big ass rogue. Oh my god. I'm just in smoke. <laughs> Kuba hits Gamma Bunta. And Gamma Bunza hits back. <laughs> Sonny kills the baby toad. Look at that. Oh, just kill it? You just yeah. murdered You're me. horrible, Sonny. And I get adamantine chains from a loot bag. Day 73 and 74. I spend a full day looking around for Itachi and Kisame, but don't find shit. When I get back, I decide that I'm just going to learn all the jutsu I have. I was keeping them as I thought it would look cooler to have all the scrolls, but it was taking up too much space. Okay, I've got all of Earth, Lightning, Water, missing number two on fire. And Kuba's house is out of makeover. I've always had water. What are you talking about? <laughs> what is this, what is this room, Kuba? The bling bling room? Yes, yeah, sir. 
Day 75. I take on brother. Oh, he's got a battalion in front of me. Oh, the enderman took the hit for me! My goat! Oh my god. I did not. Ah, I got the gut out. How about the gut? Hmm? Even with your pussy, you can have people. Oh shit. I ran out of my, my, my sword. Get another one. Whoa, that was a big thing. Bro, as many obstacles as you like, pussy. You cannot do it. Shit. Let's go! <gasps> you did it! It has been done. Do you have, a, do you have anything to, to uh, proclaim after beating your brother? I'm the one who knocks! I got a legendary loot bag too. <laughs> Ooh! Really four symbols! And adamantite! <laughs> both of them! Plus a K Kisanagi on top. Kuba becomes overlord of the end. I can't, I can't just... What the hell? The Mangekyo Sharingan is usually awakened through the killing of those close to someone. The way the mod implemented it crashed the game, so I had to create my own. I decided to add your brother, just chilling in the pit. Repeat, this boss is not in the mod. I made it with custom NPCs. The intended way does now work, but honestly, I think it's kind of lame. You just go on a team and kill a friend? Like, at least this is kind of a challenge. It 100% makes lore sense, but if you're not playing hardcore, it doesn't mean shit. You get the choice of which Mangekyo you want. Either Amaterasu or Kamui. Even though Kamui is insanely broken in the show, it's not so good in the game. So I opt for Amaterasu. After defeating my brother, I have now awakened the Mangekyo. Here it is in action. And here is the third stage Susano, which is the best I can do. The final one requires 24k ninja XP, and I'm only like halfway there. Also, this thing absolutely eats through chakra and swiftly takes me from 5k to zero. Day 76. The Mangekyo actually doubles the armor, so it now has 100. But it now has durability, and if it hits zero, I go blind. In that brief use, just showing it off, it already took a thousand off of the 11,000 total. To stop this, I need to get the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. Now, I thought it would be way too easy if I got Brother's Eyes, then got MS and EMS straight away. So instead, you have to get two MS and combine them, which means I need three million more. Also, with the Mangekyo, I can now eat Zetsu flesh with zero chance of dying. People make their way over to Shikaku, which is 38k blocks in the overworld. In the meantime, I kill Enderman and get a loot bag, but sadly no Zetsu flesh. Day 77 and 78. Everyone makes their way to the portal. Sunny took a long journey through hell, and the others have a brisk walk on the nether roof. We are all here now, but not all ready. We postpone for a couple of days and I go mining. Also, Kuba buys magnet release solely for the resistance 3 from the gourd. Day 79 and 80. First, I buy Great Fire Annihilation off Sunny for 30k as it is the last fire jutsu I need. And look at this silly fella somehow survive Kirin. Oh my god, he didn't die. He doesn't care. What? That <laughs> random guy does. survived it? Anyway, now it is time to seal Shukaku. For this, you need four symbol sealing, adamantine chains, and at least one other person. This is done by making a 13 by 13 platform with only one block, except the very center one, which needs to be different. Then add eight torches around the middle, and when you use the four symbol ceiling, this should happen. Now you need to grab the motherfucker with your chains and sit in the middle with others around you. Unfortunately, you can't just nab him straight away. You need to get him to 100 health first. So here's us doing that. The first attempt, the game lags a fuck ton. Here is Kieran at five times speed. Gamma Bunter at half power did 1k damage, which is pretty impressive, but nah, he killed us all. Second time around, Sunny uses Shadow Imitation and somehow it works on a tail beast. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm very much ready. DIE PUSSY BOY! Alright. Uh, oh, Am I doing anything? Uh, I didn't see my way. Yeah, I've done 52. 52?! <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, he's on 35. He's on 35. Stop. Stop. He's lying down. 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 Oh, it's red. Toby's in the middle. Yes, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. One percent. Sucking. Oh my god. Two percent. We're sucking him. Ten minutes later, Shikaku is all up inside Toby. From this, he also gets magnet release. And here is the new transformation. This is at first uncontrolled, and when in it, he gets taken over by a computer. After doing this enough times and gaining 400 XP in it, he will be able to take control of it himself. But there are more stages after that. Huh? What's up, uh, he's What's up, frozen. Bro? He's frozen in time. He's got pranked. Uh, did Toby, you miss? No. <laughs> <laughs> I now need to grind. I need to get 2 million more money and also double my chakra in 20 days. Sunny buys his own tail beast map and gets Son Goku and Shaq hits 10 million and learns the 8 gates. I do not know where this man is pulling money from. Also, I get another loot bag with Beetle Sphere in it. Day 81 and 82. I sell every possession I have and I make 600k. Shaq is now all the way on his third gate and Toby can now control the first stage of Shikaku. Toby also agrees to go with Sonny to find his tail beast, but only in the overworld for some reason. I get a loot bag with two S rank Jutsu in. Nice 50k made right there. At this point, I have all of the S rank Jutsu, but I'm still looking for three A ranks. Shaq lends me his looting three staff and I feel this is the secret to his riches. Well, oh, loot bag though, loot bag though. Me, An empty oh. bucket? That's the worst one yet. <laughs> Day 83. Kuba fights and beats brother. He gets to the Kamui Mangekyo. I unlock Shidori, but honestly, it's pretty weak. And also, Kuba finds a Rasengan scroll. Day 84. Shaq starts on a beacon as he tries to counteract his eight gates with regeneration. He also dumps on me a whole diamond backpacks worth of ender pearls and only asks me for 20k for the badge. I go to sell all my ender pills, and it takes me 12 minutes to get rid of them all. On the bright side though, I made 700k, which puts me 500k off the goal. It doesn't stop there though, as I find I have some goodies in my backpack. A stack of diamonds, as well as tons of gold and lapis. Toby then asks what biome we predict Son Goku will be in. Shaq says desert, Kuba says ice spikes, I say plains, Toby says spruce forest, and Sunny says savannah. One of us is correct, so take a guess which one's right. Oh look. On the door, on the map. Oh shit. Spruce mm. forest, bitches! Oh! Wait, it. It's a spruce forest! What the fuck is up, Kuba? It's, oh, I tell you what, I was buzzing when I got that right by him. I know it may look staged, trust me, I nailed it. If you want to watch through the 33 hours to find it, we, you can't. I did say spruce forest when it was a tiger, and it did make some people question. Saying, did I really get it? I think I did. But then people started to argue. And there was beef started. My man Shaq, he was a particularly... He was angry that I had succeeded for once. But I, I prevailed. Because it is a spruce forest. This forest of spruce trees, you know. I know you understand this. Comment section. Even if Zeevsky doesn't. Yeah, I'm throwing shade at him again. Yeah, fuck, fuck Zeevsky. <laughs> Day 85. I have now made my 3 million, but we go over to fight Son Goku first. Son Goku is 58k blocks away, so I give in to Fields' teachings and I go on the nether roof. 4 minutes later, we are here. Day 86 and 87. Shaq asks if he can try and solo the tail beast. Okay, well, I guess, I guess, just bring him over here whenever you're done. That's, oh, there that's 100, you there you go, I did it, I did it, I did it. Me and Toby were messing about standing up. And we make a big oopsie. Shuffle. Change places. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. Oh, it undid it. Damn, we said <laughs> now that Sonny has finished sucking off Son Goku, he gets lava release. Then maybe a minute later, Itachi spawns. There is no real fight to show here, as I couldn't fucking move. He focused me the whole time and had me in Genjutsu. Luckily, I brought backup and they blasted him, but I do not know how he can fight this man 1v1. Look at my gameplay. This fire is not- sorry, whoever that is. I'm still stuck still. <laughs> I cannot move. I just hit him and did 50. I just hit him and did 50 damage, I don't know where, where he went. Where's he gone? 
I then go kill my other brother. Shaq gets 47 wide Zetsu Flesh, and the generous soul that he is gives me 17 for free. Day 88 and 89. I buy a new Sharing Gun, a new MS, and now if I combine my two new eyes, I get the Eternal Mangekyo Sharing Gun. And you know, with the uh, stuff that Shaq just gave me, I think I can awaken a Renegon. Let let's see if it works. <laughs> No, I didn't get the Renegon. Fuck. Bit awkward, but uh, I kind of fucked up. You had to have the achievement to get the Renegon. I fixed it in the mod pack in the 200 days. I muster up another 100k to buy 20 more Zetsu Flesh off Sunny. And again, I get nothing. Then Kisame spawns in the pit. And I just wait nearby so he doesn't despawn. And when Toby comes, he was not happy. Yeah. What a bitch. What a bitch. Uh, yeah. Kubo, what the oh, fuck? Shit. Oh, he's. Oh, he's oh, what the fuck? He went straight for. <laughs> <laughs> Toby got instantly nuked. <laughs> what? He didn't even what aggro me you as soon as he saw me Toby. To trap. Yeah. This boss fight was long and annoying as fuck, so I'll just narrate it. This bat takes a bullet for Kisame. Then he spawns a clone and Warden imprisons me. I don't even know how you're meant to hurt this cunt. He blocks everything. We get him down to near half, and then he shoots back up to full and is now fused with Sami Hada. This is the oh, stupidest part. He just summons a huge pool of water around him, making it impossible to move, and you just drown. He goes through all the durability in my armor and kills me. He gets Toby again. I come back and use Chidori Stream. Oh, look how fast it depletes my chakra. That might have been a glitch though, because it didn't do it later. Also, Shaq shows up. Chidori Stream again, zero damage. He goes Shark again and deletes Toby. Kuba dies. No surprise, Shidori Stream does no damage. And then to save the day, Shaq one taps this nuisance. I killed him. That is an aid of a fight, bro. He is the hardest. 100%. Hey, we got a new swimming pool, though. This is kind of sick. New pool dropped. <laughs> Kuba loses his staff. Sammy Hada. Hello, Toby. Oh, shit, no. Oh, for fuck's sake, <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> it's the present W is the oppressed Q caps lock AS. <laughs> So I threw my staff into the void. I now shift my focus to Zetsu Flesh, as I'm only a bit of luck off the Ranagan. Plus Toby Noob. Um, no, I do not fight you to me, I'll fucking destroy everything. Well done, Toby. Nicely done. Fucking Jinchuriki can't kill a creeper. Jeez, Did you see that? <laughs> Day 90. Sunny gets his Lava Chakra Cloak. This gives strength, more speed, and sets anybody nearby on fire. I spend the day hunting Zetsu, and I get two flesh. I eat one and keep one. Shaq now hatches the plan to use Sage Mode, then activate 8 gates, and with his huge chakra, try to outheal it with healing jutsu. And from what he said, it worked pretty well. Toby goes into second beast mode. Switch to- Whoa. Oh shit, he did it, he did it. Oh my, he's so fast! What the hell? Day 91. I kill more Zetsu, but get no flesh. And Kuba unlocks Rasengan, and apparently it's shit. Day 92 and 93. I go to the end and try and farm loot bags for Zetsu Flesh. Toby destroys the beacon with lots of water. Who threw it down? I don't know about Toby. <laughs> I found it. There's, there's a lot of different ones. What the fuck? So... What's it the main one? What? The beacon died? What? Hello? I broke the beacon. Toby, that's 500k. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you four iron <laughs> and a diamond. Brother's in so much shock he forgot how to count. Toby strikes again, and this time takes a chunk out of the house. And then the AI decides to get rid of the whole thing. Is this fucking Zabiza? Now this guy, you gotta look down, look in the hole. He's running around. Oh my god. He's beast bombing. What the fuck? No! Don't Sunny? do it! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, no, <laughs> Why are you little... That's not me! No. Oh what? my god! <laughs> <laughs> He's doing what the fuck? Bro, Why did you do it next to the house, Toby? It's never done this before. It li literally, I've done it next to the house five times, Toby, and it's never done this. <laughs> Come on, what happened? what happened? Spray the house of water, destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I thought it liquid. What the fuck, Toby? <laughs> like, this is not me. This this was not me. Shaq then one ups him. <laughs> did you do what? What the fuck? Okay, <laughs> I'm no longer the worst contributor to the house destruction. This Shaquille has taken that. That is a ho- Oh my god, it's gone! It's gone! <laughs> it's gone! What did you do? What did you do? 
And now Kuba tries out his Ras and Shuriken. Oh, that's a Ras and Shuriken. <laughs> oh, why me? How's this work? Holy shit. I'm what does this do? Stuck. It's doing oh, it's damage. Cool, I'm stuck. Let me go. <laughs> Day 94, I sell some scrolls and diamonds and I get a Yagara staff for 100k. Unlike Shaq's, it does actually have durability, but it has 100,000 of it, so it's fine. Shaq uses Night Guy, which is the most powerful A-Gates technique. And you know what that means? He's made it to the 8th. I kill Zetsu, loot bag, iron pants. And here's Shaq using the other A-Gates move. Just one, it's just a one chunk. What the fuck is that? I mean, just straight up make a... Ouch. Day 95 and 96. As I was changing the day counter, I get mauled by Enderman and I die. Toby now has control over the second beast mode, and I don't know when, but Sonny got the slug summon. I spend the rest of the time selling pills. Day 97 and 98. Another loot bag? Again disappointed. Me and Shaq now hit the wombo combo best Enderman farm not patched March 2023. Basically, he uses multi size U2 and stands above me, and they come in hordes. Through rigorous testing, I find out. The fist with lightning chakra mode is the fastest method to get ninja XP. After 26 minutes of this method, I have went from 9,341 to 12,022 chakra. And you can too! Link in bio, chakra enhancement classes. I get another loot bag, and again no Zetsu flesh. I have not had any flesh from a loot bag this whole time. My luck is looking shit. However, some good news. I can now use the perfect Susano. This gives me the Kagatsuchi sword, which is coated in Amaterasu, and the godly Kamui Shuriken. I managed to kill Shaq in two hits when he was in 8th gate. You gotta be careful though, because each Shuriken costs 500 Chakra, and you can spam them bitches. I now set my aim for Sage Mode. Boy, Sage Mode Susano so would worse. go crazy. I'll see you. Uh, you really let yourself go, eh? Day 99. I am now 200k off Sage Mode, and then I get blessed as Shaq gives me 170k. I now buy it with every last penny I have. 800? Shit, it's 800? Okay, that's gonna take me- I don't think I'm gonna get this, you know? Jutsu XP goes up the amount of hits and not damage, so we just gather a bunch of Endermen and I slap him a ton. Also, Sonny kills Itachi again, but this time he drops his MS. Koopa has been asking for help and money for about 15 days now, and for some reason, he leaves it till the second last day to do his big reveal. Apparently, he's had the money for EMS and Sage Mode the whole time. Also, I run out of food and resort to eating golden apples. I then ask Shaq to go get me some food, as I'm a bit busy, and he manages to sprint into the void. This would not normally be a problem, but as Shaq has so much health, it takes him three minutes to die. This motherfucker went to negative 7,000. Day 100. Shaq delivers the food, and after 17 minutes of Enderman punching, I have now achieved Sage Mode. It's a bit different from how they did it in the show, but it works too. I decided to keep all my Zetsu flesh for a big reveal on the last day. I did only get one, but one was not enough. I did not get anything. <laughs> Who thought food would be such a problem? I'm out here bone meal and carrots on the last day. We now have a five way. Fight to the death. One, Go. Two. I'm just gonna try to stay alive for a little bit. And now it's now time. You're AI. Come on. I need to use my camera to stare at everything with me. You can't hit me with really? it. Damn it! <laughs> What just happened? Did I just get out of my fucking Susana? Bro, this fucking ground is fucking me up. A bone there is going to kill me. Fuck it, Lava. Uh, you have to be a picture of this kind of I actually can't get it. No, no! Sad, sad, unfortunate fight. I really got fucked over by some bones and seeds. I also had an outer body Susano experience. I ain't too mad though. I think Shaq would have still beat my ass. The Kamui Shuriken is just way too hard to hit, and he could fly about. Do not fear Zivsky lovers around the world. We have another fight Sage Mode Susano versus Sage Mode Jinchuriki. Let's see. Oh, that did 200. So much. Oh, Goodbye. 
Does that just go through the fence? Susano seems a bit stronger. Can I hit you in there? I can. Yes. <laughs> Here were the final tallies for the death count. I didn't know whether to include Zetsu deaths or not, so I put it separate. If we count them, Sunny loses with 138 total deaths. And if we don't, Toby loses with 42. Out of all the Jutsu scrolls, the only ones that I missed out on were Rasengan, Chakra Enhanced Strength, and Puppet. Thankfully, if we include the whole group, we got them all. Bruh. Sadly, we didn't get the Renegan or the Tenseigan. Naruto part 1 over. Next was a trolling video, and then as we waited for a new update, we made a Kobamon video. Even though Kobamon only had two of us for the majority, in total, there was actually the most people involved, and that video was slept on, so check it out if you want more. I then tried to capitalize on Spider-Man, and flopped miserably, and now it's time for the most requested video yet. We spent 200 days in Naruto Minecraft. This video exploded off rip, and got 100k in the first five days. Huge thanks to you guys. Hello and welcome to the Naruto 200 days. Here are the goals I've set for us. Get the Renegon this time. Get wood release. Get all kicker Genkai. Get the Tensegan. Get Jinchuriki Biju form. And last but not least, become the host of the 10 Tales. Thanks for the support and let's try and push for 30k. And before we start, let's do a recap real quick. On to day 100. Ah, dum da dum da dum. Ah, that holiday was so relaxing. I hope those ninjas that I left in charge of the village haven't gone and done anything rash. I, I doubt it. They all seem like charming young lads. Apart from that sunny fellow. Yo, the mayor's back! Dun dun. Hey guys! Hey, how what's are up? We was, was oh, the oh my god. Uh, what the fuck have you done to my village? No, <laughs> we what didn't. Fuck have you, what the fuck is happening? Uh, here? Well, You've destroyed my my livelihood. Don't my, don't livelihood. check out your house. Don't look at it. I built this with my own two hands. Uh. <laughs> How did this all happen? What what do you guys do? We just got too strong. This you know? world shall uh, was a bit too much. Who's that guy? Wait. Almighty <gasps> push. <gasps> Uh, well, I guess we have to make a new place because this place is a bit gone. You Guys, come over here. If you come to Finnegan, he gives soul stones, which you can use to move the NPCs. So now we can move out and keep the people with us. Oh, wow. So yeah, Pain showed up and boomed the village. He did a hit and run though. We couldn't find him after. But for real, we did this because we wanted a new start. And how else but by blowing up the last one? We took all the NPCs with us and set out to find a new home. Well, not all of them. Toby is now tucking pompous Pete in the mask guy from the destruction. His house is a uh, just here, <laughs> but his he was not touched at all. Perfectly intact. He doesn't even know anything happened. If any of you guys play this map, do not use the stones on Danzo, Jiraiya, or Sakura, as they all need command blocks to work. The rest are fine though, and you can move them anywhere. Day one hundred one. Okay, I think I found a cool place. Okay, I've got a vision, bro. I think this could be sick. We get rid of these trees under the mountain. Oh, he didn't even carve a fucking face in there, maybe. That's effort, though. But yeah, I think right there would be nice. And let's get started rebuilding. We do some deforestation. Shaq searches up a building guide for some reason. And Sonny learns a new jutsu. The fuck did that do? Ah. Oh. Oh. Ski? Yeah. I turned black. <laughs> Why are you... Are you Shaq? Oh, oh the ah. <laughs> You just thought it made you black? Oh, that's a weird jutsu. <laughs> I am Ziski now. You <laughs> 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 could have could have little shops into the mount like going like like hobbit style. Oh shit! Like in here. Day one hundred two. I spend the day getting diamonds as we need some new tools. Day one hundred three to one hundred six. Sunny kills Enderman instead of helping and makes three hundred k. And we finish building the trading area. In the newest update, the Sharingan has been changed, so it doesn't give others slowness, but now will track onto anyone who hits you. Also, many Jutsu have had their XP requirements change, so I gotta relearn just about everything. And there was one new Jutsu added, which is the Flying Thunder God. Day 107 and 108. Kuba starts building a chamber for Jiraiya to live, and Sonny unlocks Biju mode. He's done it already. 
I guess he was pretty busy in the end. You made me do this, okay? Day 109 and 110. I make an Enderman farm, get Sage Mode back, and then I use it and I phase straight through the floor. Oh, oh what the fuck? Do not do Senjutsu on the bottom block. I tapped it, so I sat down and let go and fell right fucking through. Also, last time, Lightning Chakra Mode was my go-to to grind with. But now it's glitchy as fuck. I fell through the floor again. Day 111. Bro, why do I sound so depressed? Day 111. Sonny uses transformation jutsu on an NPC and manages to make himself invincible. Then when he releases it, the NPC comes to life. He is just birthed a being. He is a god. However, he is still not strong enough to survive the tumble. Ah, uh, I told you, brother, you might fall through that. No, 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 skill safe. You might go tumbling, brother. I am going tumbling nowhere. I did go tumbling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh, silly boy. You save me. <laughs> My ass cannot save you. Days 112 to 115. Sonny and I make a deal that I will give him Flying Thunder God if I find it, and that he will share any Zetsu flesh he gets with me. And I start making a new sword. Sonny now discovers the most annoying combination possible. He traps you with shadow possession, then takes over your body with mind-body transfer. This is basically inescapable and unblockable. He must have done this over a hundred times while we were recording. He lives only to be a nuisance. It's an unfair uh, conclusion. You know, I was just trying to have a bit of fun, do a bit of trouble. You know, it's what any man would do in this situation. It was an ingenious combo, really. That's not the. It's not deny the genius in it. It's a quick mind to come up with a combo like that on the fly. I mine for lapis. Shaq starts collecting wither skulls, and then I finally finish my sword. Okay, it is now here. Holy shit! I kind of fucked up and didn't get chop five, but it's all right. The reason I'm making an ambu sword is because it has 2.2 attack speed, which I'm pretty sure is the fastest in the game. I'm gonna call it the slicer, and let's see how the slicer goes. Bang! 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 They're all dead. Day 116. I spend basically the full day selling my three backpacks full of ender pills for 600k. Also, Sonny says he's made 2 million so far. Day 117. I buy a tail beast map for 500k and get Isobu, the three tails. As the tail beasts are light years away, I look to get a faster way of transport. I settle on explosion release as you can fly on C2 like Daedra and with a 400k donation from Toby, we can get it. Also, Kuba finishes Jiraiya's room. Day 118 to 120. No, I just dropped out of the mountain stuff. Uh, Again? Again? Yeah. Into lava? <laughs> yeah. Bro, no fucking button. way, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Unbind your button. How? <laughs> the reason this is so funny is because he did the exact same thing last time. I unlock explosive clay, so I go check out Jiraiya's room. Which looks absolutely sick, Kuba really did well. And then I set off to find a Sobu. When I'm away, Toby also unlocks Biju mode, but somehow doesn't have enough chakra to use it. The Endermite dies twice, and Shaq gets Rasengan from a loot bag. Day 121 to 123. Shaq gets all the skulls, and annihilates the Wither. I kind of fix the Enderman farm, and Sonny and I bust together. You bust yours first. Okay, I'm bust my... <laughs> I got fucking music disc. Oh, 40 suns are too flash. Ooh, okay. Oh, let's go. And now the artifact, I swear to God. 60 Zetsu flash. <laughs> okay, let's eat up. I got a stack. This has got to give me a Renegan. Maybe wood release. Oh, baby, three down. Renegan. Oh, let's go. I got it. So now I can fly and shit. And we can summon the ghetto statue. Fuck, 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 fuck. Don't do that. I, I used the, the wrong ability. Okay, okay, thank god. A quick exit and come back in, and I didn't just chip back at Tensei, the fucking village. Now let's keep eating and go for wood release. Wood release. I died? Oh, I had the Renegan on, fuck. The Renegan doesn't stop it, but MS does. Oh, that's so stupid. Fuck. No wood style. Upon unlocking the Renegan, you will be granted one of two new abilities. Either Limbo clones like Madara, or what I got, Ameno Tejikara, like Sasuke. And look how beautiful a motherfucker be. Sin, Sin City was now let's go over everything you get with it. Obviously, Almighty Push, 
which can be charged up to 100, like seen at the start, that's what took away the village, and after each use you can fly briefly. The Yasura path gives a shitty cannon, a thousand armor, 40 bonus health, 75 bonus damage, faster movement, extra jump height, and full saturation. The animal path make you summon dog, but not any dog, multiplying dog. The Praetor path absorbs you two. The Naraka path summons the king of hell, which will give you an extra life if you die while it's active. The Deva path can do planetary devastation, or Chewbacca Tensei if you want to call it that, and my crouching can do Tengai Shinsei. And the one that we need is the outer path that summons the husk of the ten tails, which is where we will seal all the tail beasts. Also, you can ride this guy, even though the wiki says you can't. Day 124. I helped Sunny sell enderpills, and he is now up to 3 million, which he spends on a new Sharingan, which he then combines with his other, to awaken his EMS. He can instantly go perfect to know, and I can't anymore. In the update, they changed the requirement from 12k chakra to 18k chakra. Five minutes after that, he then awakens his Renegan on the very first Zetu Flesh. He also gets Amano Tejakara. Shaq then hands me 1.7 mil to go towards the beast maps. To unlock the Renegan from the EMS, there's a 20% chance for every Zetu Flesh you eat. So honestly, not that low. I just fucked it up last time because I didn't give us the achievement we needed. Wood style, on the other hand, is only a 1% chance and still no one has been able to get it yet. Day 125 and 126. I start punching tall men to unlock 9 phantom dragons, which is the jutsu used to seal into the ghetto statue. Shaq kills the wither again and gives me the nether star. Day 127. Toby finds a staff in the nether and it turns out that Shaq had also dropped his and didn't even realize. Toby then sells it back to him for a tidy profit. Lag on, we've done it. We've scammed another man. Oh, Lagon, baby. Is he home fucking whispering to Lagon? Oh my god, Lagon is sitting on his face. Is that the celebration? Yeah, we made a big stack. How much money did you get? I got 128k out of it. 120k for giving back his fucking stuff. <laughs> You're such a twat. <laughs> <laughs> I also get my perfect Susano back. Day 128. I buy Minato Drip. Kuba exploits dirt chests for emeralds. And Sonny goes scroll searching in the nether. I don't know what's going on here, so I'm confused. Of course you are, you brainlet. Somebody f with fucking half a brain has looted this folder, so... What do you mean, though? How is Kuba getting emeralds from dirt chests, you may ask? Well, when you make a dirt chest, with dirt and a chest, funnily enough, there is a book inside it. He is then selling two books of dirt knowledge for one emerald. Great deal, if you ask me. I then join Sonny on his hunt for Flying Thunder God. Kuba gets a legendary loot bag, and in it, 59 Zetu Flesh. Guess what happens? Renegan Awakened. Day 129. Kuba, unlike me and Sonny, got Limbo clones. And by eating a bit more meat, manages to get Wood Release. Oh, he got oh, Wood Release! Cool. Holy shit! As everyone should know, Wood Release is nearly exclusive to the God of Shinobi, Hashirama Senju, and is insanely strong. In the game, the jutsu cost a fuck ton to learn, but on the bright side, it gives the user full saturation. I guess it force feeds you bark or something. Anyway, I find a Rasengan scroll, which also unlocks Ras and Shuriken, as well as their buffed Sage Mode versions. So I get started on unlocking massive Ras and Shuriken. Day 130. I trade Toby a Fortune 3 buck for a light blue stained glass pane. The reason he needed Fortune is because he was trying to build Naruto's house, and it needs a fuck ton of quartz. Day 131 to 134 was spent on the search in nether fortresses, but it probably should have ended sooner. Sonny also got Rasengan, and 6 Wither Skulls, and I got 2. In this time, Toby was punching pigmen to get levitation, and is now up to a whopping 7k chakra. And here are some clips that I seem to find very funny. Well, there's the melody on the cream team, don't lie. <laughs> are you not? I'm in the squirt society. <laughs> That was a good one. Dry loop bag. Oh, that's fantastic. Some iron and a fucking activator. Yeah. <laughs> Day 135. Toby gets a legendary loot bag. You're not going to mention that we got a legendary loot bag? <gasps> Yo, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Toby. <laughs> What's going on, Toby? You won't believe it. I just I got a legendary loot bag, bro. Oh I got mending diamond pants. <laughs> mending diamond pants, honey. And a Kusanagi sword. Oh my god. Whoa, are you actually brain dead or are you just acting? Are you brain dead? No, I'm not. Are you brain dead? N no, I'm not. Are you brain dead or are you just acting? <laughs> you can't just repeat what <laughs> I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming this guy, but... You can't... You can't... <laughs> <laughs>
The search ends as Sonny finds a flying thunder god. The village is looking better now. Shaq's house is done, but the interior is a bit too bland for me. In other words, empty. Toby's house is coming along splendid, and Kuba has made a floating island of houses. One of the wood you two is literally house technique, and it has the same requirement as sage mode for some reason. Day 136. I'm not back, and this is what I got. This full of scrolls, this full of scrolls, this full of scrolls. Also like half a stack of diamonds, fucked on a gold nine. So we got a ton of stuff. We didn't get one S rank Jutsu, but Sonny did. So unlucky. Cause look at all that. This is only A and B rank that I took. Sonny learns Amano Tejakara and wastes no time using it on me. Also Kuba learns Adamantine Chains. Day 137. I farm some more for Ras and Shuriken. Sonny kills the Wither twice for a cash melee and then makes the Toby fund. Basically, because Toby is a small, weak, fragile, powerless bitch, we agreed he should get the Tensei Gun, and we'd help pay for it. Day 138. I find out there is actually a faster weapon in the Chakra Blades, and feel dumb as fuck, but I don't bother making another one. Sonny now has Dust Release. Apparently he bought this a few days ago, and didn't think to tell anyone. By the way, this costs another 2 million, and it's the only Kekatota in the game, which is basically the combination of three different Chakra Nages. I now fly over to the island, and try out my new massive Rasen Shuriken. Kuba comes over to watch, and gets caught in the crossfire, as it doesn't throw very well. It charges up to 6, and you gotta right click to release it. This thing really didn't want to work. Tell me how this doesn't go down. The, the Endermite is dead again? You know when I did this earlier? Yeah, I might have killed the Endermite. Day 139 and 140. Sonny learns Kakaichu Sphere, and uses it on me. What does it do? Draining my chakra, holy shit! Holy shit! In 4 seconds, it drained 10k chakra, plus, those bitches chase you down. And you can't even hit them. According to this comment, you can burn them though. After a while, they then return to the user and give them all the chakra they took. We now set off to see Isobu, who is 30k blocks away. Using the nether roof, we get there in no time. While I'm waiting for the others, I try out my Rasen Shuriken on him, and it does 4k damage. Toby manifests Shikaku for the first time, but it doesn't last long. Nope. We then get started on the ceiling platform, and Toby gets manhandled by Kuba's big forest jutsu, which he just learned. Now for the fight. Sonny knocks Big Boy out with his Susanoo, but it didn't want to stay down. Even though Isobu wasn't conscious, it kept attacking us. Kuba attached with the chains and took a few hits till the ceiling started to work. Shaq pisses Kuba off by unloading his stuff all over him, which includes a nether star. Shaq actually okay. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Your hard work of 30 days is gonna go away because I'm building a fucking house in your house now. No, that's evil. Hey, Stop so is you're it. still throwing shit at him! I genuinely didn't realize I threw a never started. I was just clearing out my inventory and building with yours, and it, it must have just got thrown. I wasn't really paying attention. And then the house got filled with dirt and it it killed me on the inside. Because I was I was looking forward to decorating the house. Now Kuba has another beast inside him, and he starts trying to box me instantly. I go buy another beast map and get the six tails. Day 141 and 142. I go find the X coordinate while Shaq finds a Z. On my way, I run into this critter. This fight is absolute AIDS, but with the new Sharingan, I just punch till he dies. I find the X coordinate pretty fast and go home. As we need all the kicker Genkai, I go through what we've got. We've got Magnet, got Storm, got Lava, need Boil, need Scorch, got Explosion, need Ice, got Bone, and we just got Dust. I buy Scorch and then spend the next day learning it. In this time, Shaq finds the other coordinate and Sunny makes a new Anvil, which then breaks after the first use. Day 143. Kuba gets payback on Shaq by covering his entire house in dirt, which includes the inside. He also threw some obsidian in for good measure. I then hunt down some name tags in mineshafts as the Endermite can't seem to stay alive. I managed to get 5. Day 144 to 146. I replace the Endermite only for Sunny to kill it seconds later. And then this nitwit starts throwing his flying thunder god kunai at me and I keep throwing it back. Pause. Oh my god. Did he really just throw that bug at us? <laughs> uh. Oh my god, I'm going to go mad. <laughs> look, look, look what he's done though. As at the time we thought the farm was just broken, Kuba and I start making a new and improved version, which is just a big ass platform with a floating endermite in the middle. But because we built it so low, nothing was spawning. To fix this, we just extended it a little, and voila, infinite punching bags. Day 147, Kuba does an unboxing. Adamantite ceiling chains. No. Raza Shuriken, Kirin, and four simple sealing jutsu. In one? Three S ranks and an A rank. Plus, in the six others he opened, we managed to get two stacks and six Zetsu flesh. Oh, I got it! 
Let's go! I get it on the 47th one, so there is still more than a stack left over. This also unlocks the Sage Art Wood release, Shinsu Senju, which is this huge monster that went head to head with Kurama in Susanoo armor. Sunny eats the rest of the flesh and doesn't manage to get it. I then hop in with the Enderman as their hits also give me Jutsu XP, but in all honesty, it doesn't seem any faster. And now I have finished learning Scorch Release. Day 148. I'm gonna make a change, okay? So, we all agreed. Because it's 4,800, it takes so long to sell. So I'm gonna change it to 4 1Ks, which will lower the price by 800. But it's gonna make it so much easier for us. Okay, so now it's 4K for 16. Cheaper, but faster. I set aside 2.5 mil for the Tail Beast maps, which means all the rest is going straight into the Toby Fund. Well, not quite. Holy shit, Yakugan. It looks so dumb with the glass <laughs> Looks like my face is just at the bottom of my mouth. <laughs> I sell the leftover stuff in my backpacks and make 1.7 mil. I buy medical and learn all the scrolls as I've had them for ages. As I'm trying to collect everything, I also buy Puppet Jutsu. And now the only things I'm missing are Flying Thunder God and Limbo Clones, which I can't even get. Day 149. I give Toby 800k and he buys Ice Release. Upon getting Ice Release, you get buffed to Speed 4 and get passive Frost Walker. Toby has now completed the house as well, and it looks great. Now I test out my Scorch Release. The first Jutsu just spawns these balls. My second throws them at people. Die by my balls. That does a lot. That does a lot. <laughs> You're fucking melted, holy shit. This is super Steam Blast. And my third makes them into one big ball. Okay, there's your Kaku, holy shit. Let's see how much this does. Are they all going into one? Yeah. Boo! Oh, is it working? You want to aim at his cock. Oh, oh you wow. disappeared. Oh, fish. Oh my god, that looks bad. That did no damage. All of these Jutsu look cool as hell, but they do baby damage. They're really weak. Day 150. Oh. Am I getting rid of him? Because he's really loud. Click the button again. Yeah, Close. I checked and you can't actually turn him down. Oh, that's fine. If you go through every subtype of volume, it doesn't do shit. It's only master volume. Oh, 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 oh. Only just like 5k. Oh. I throw up a Chewbacca Tensei for fun, oh, and Kuba gets caught in it. Okay, it dropped. It's dropping, it's rubber banding, but it's dropping. Oh, it didn't explode. Then I go kill the Wither, solely with the Asura Cannon. And we discover that you can just put the Flying Thunder God tags on people, so no need to hold the kunai. Day 151, Kuba accidentally uses a Chewbacca Tensei in the nether. Hey, where is it? I don't know. Uh, uh, they don't do anything? Nah, no, I didn't do anything. Oh, good. Oh my god, it did do it, it did do it. Did Wait, do why it. is it there? Where what the it? fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Kuba, 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 Kuba. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Why you... shit. Wait, 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 wait. Before you do it, there's yeah. a pigman pigman here with a wither skull on. The fuck? Oh. Oh yeah. I'm in the lava. Holy shit. I oh, did you see the destruction? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now he's got a lust for it. He does it again. And after a bit of freezing, we get this. Yeah, it really destroys the roof, cheers. We go fight the six tails, which I misnumbered as the seven tails. And when we're there, we find a mutant zombie. No. Nope. Why this zombie got 78 HP? What? Clone. What? What? Why did he have 78 HP? That was not a clone. Why the fuck are we so buff? Why have they been feeding him over here? Sonny uses all three of his brain cells here. You got dust release already, Sonny? No. You might kill it. Please don't kill it. It's not gonna die. I don't think they can die. But I think you have to do them after that, though. They can. It's almost like I've tested it. It's almost like you tested it. Look at this guy. I fucking missed the test. He doesn't even have a health up. bar anymore. That's how that goes. Did it work? Oh, Sonny? You just killed it. Sonny, what the fuck? It's not bad. What the oh, fuck? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, so, do you not oh, listen? I just good. told you I have tested it. Do not use it. You call the motherfucker. Oh, sorry. You, you, I'll pay for the map. What do you mean? Uh, well, I was informed beforehand that it was a, a possibility, I guess, but it was from an unreliable source. <laughs> uh, it's been wrong on many occasions, so I thought you may as well have a go with it. You know, what's the worst that happens? You know, just send Shaq to go find another tail beast. Do you have any remorse for that? Well, looking back, you know, I maybe wouldn't have done it again because it. it 
did take us a while to find the uh, the x coordinate for the game. But overall, no, I thought it was a good experiment. Uh, nobody repeated the mistake again, so you know you live and you learn. I apologize. Toby said to do it. Ah, oh, Sonny, Sonny, jump off a bridge. I'll do it. To make up for it, I say he has to find the next one, and this motherfucker complains. Oh, but not in good direction. You can't just fucking blow shit up and have no consequence. You have to find a one tail beast, you lazy twat. Day 152. I buy another map, and we get Gyuki, the eight tails. Uh, I don't know what direction I need to go. Well, you're you in the top know. left of the map, right? Which means you're in the northwest corner. So, where do you think you go? His mind is going into overdrive. Uh. Oh shit. <laughs> Why is he taking so long? Yeah, this is not gonna go well. I don't tell Fucking that hell! Oh, you so you can blow you? it up, but you can't read him up. Northwest. <laughs> no. <laughs> A full minute of calculations later, he got it, and I start learning Shinsu Senju. How oh, fucking far is it? Skim at sixty thousand now. Oh, suddenly little baby need the one. It's a lot of fucking efforts, okay? We could have just given more coordinate. I could have, yep. So I'm just saying, bro. Quality of life in the mob park. Day 153. Toby says he's at 4 out of 5 Byakugans and very close to the tensor gun. Kuba gets 14 blocks of diamonds for mining, which is around 650k. Everyone say well done to Sonny because he found one of the coordinates. It was miles away at 81k. I clear out Shaq's house from all the dirt and we donate to Toby. I'm just gonna throw it all. Just throw it all. There's 1.1 mil. I don't know, it's just giving too much care then. What the fuck is the- I'm getting scammed! What math are you thinking? 200k? It's not enough. 400. You said 200. It's 400. Now Toby buys the tensor gun, which was 7.5 million total. Ooh. Wait, let me take off my outfit. Ooh. Ooh. That is so sick. That is very sick. What the fuck? The tensor gun itself is the exact same as the Renegon. However, it comes with the tensor gun chakra mode, which gives perma flight, reach, strength, more speed, 175 armor, as well as three extra jutsu. So now we've got tensor gun and Renegon. Day 154. As I'm farming jutsu XP, I realize there's no point in me just fisting if we have an infinite supply of targets. So now I start one hitting the Enderman to get tons of ninja XP too. Oh, there's a crazy guy, the guy that fucking saw an alien and tried to fuck it. Uh, that's a horny motherfucker right there. You gotta disrespect the gristle. <laughs> the uh, what? It's a gristle, uh... The grind and hustle, but... Uh -huh. <laughs> the gristle. Okay, everybody and their mama know about the gristle. But this man came along with the gristle? Day 155. Okay, people. Can we assemble in the desert? I have something to show you. Okay, now watch this. For the release! Oh my oh, god. Fuck me, what is that? Holy shit. Boom, 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 boom! Fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> For the release! Oh my god. Oh, fuck me, what is that? Holy shit. Boom, 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 boom! <laughs> fuck. If you click the jutsu again, it switches to a wood golem. More the hell, boy. Yeah, how many, like, how many heads do you need? Wait, wait. Yes, Toby, get, get, get down, get down, Toby. I'm gonna punch you. I don't want to get punched. <laughs> Stupid fucking fight. It looks like the rope. Boom. It's still How's one shot me. How's that feel? That was fucking sick. I'm like Kashira. I'm gonna get the Hashirama armor. I'm like Kashirama. When you get Tensegan or Renegan, you get given a black receiver. People hit by this get nausea, slowness, and heaviness. Shaq finds the other coordinate as Sonny refused to do another. Sadly, Shaq went the long way as it was only 2k away from the village, but he traveled 40k to find that out. Now that I've got my armor, we head to Gyuki. Toby tries out his Tensegan chakra mode, but it doesn't do much without the jutsu. I slap him about with my Susano and we get him onto land, and then Sonny sends him flying. After a few minutes of us failing to seal him, we eventually get it. Day 156. Me, Shaq, and Sonny do the ceiling, while Toby slaps a witch in a corner and Kuba upgrades our chests at the farm. We have now sealed our first tail beast into the ghetto statue. I start learning wood burial, 
and Sunny is now at 49k chakra. He is 1k off max, and I'm second with only 22k. Day 157. I get an artificial bag and question my sanity. Oh, what's that? An, art an artificial? I got a name tag. It's an artifact. The fuck is an art? No, it's artificial. It's an artifact. Art. Sunny, look. Huh? Artifact? Artifact. No way, I read that wrong. Really? I did not read that wrong. It's just hidden in the JEI, so it got me bamboozled. Kuba unlocks Wood Golem, which I'm pretty sure has the highest requirement of any Jutsu as it needs 2k Jutsu XP. Fair enough, it's pretty strong. But Shinsu Senju, which includes a Wood Golem, is half of that. Bro, how is bro standing on that? <laughs> bro, bro tip Also, Kuba starts learning Sage Mode. Motherfucker bought that in the last video! Day 158. When I was looking through the footage, I may have missed something when I was in the nether. On day 131, there was an S rank in a chest, and I missed it. I thought it was a D rank, so I'm gonna go back and see what it was. Shaq buys EMS, and Toby tries out his localized rebirth blast. This is only localized, but you can spam it. Oh my god. I would describe it as a rocket orb. It's basically a grenade with no drop off. And when used on Kuba in first tail beast mode, it did 56 damage. On the way to where I left one S rank, I find another. And the crazy part is, I only went in like three fortresses. Also, Toby kills the Endemite, so I gotta replace it real quick. And Kuba buys a new tail beast map, and the tail beast doesn't show up. Day 159. Oh my god, there it is. I, I found it. It was the flying thunder card. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was as well. But you've got yours now, so I can keep it. Uh. Sick. That was a mistake, but also a blessing. Wait, Flying Thunder God's only 400? That's peasy. I make some more waystones, and then go find the Tail Beast. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, if you have a full inventory, do not throw your Black Receiver. Fucking hell. Day 160. The Endemite dies again. No idea how. There is legit no point in replacing it. Now that I know, it combusts after 5 minutes. What? So, we just use the platform and run around punching them. Okay, and I'm flying Thunder God. Oh my- what the fuck is that lag? Kuba gets to the map, and thankfully, there is a tail beast there. It is Matatabi, the two tails. Sunny has been in the nether, and says he's barely seen any pigmen. Yes. Punch them so they aggro, don't kill them in one hit. I kill them all. No, are they, are they running at you or not? I don't know, there's someone going on. Something you don't something. know. <laughs> If they're running at you. Bro. Smart little guy. Is there anything in your head? Also, Sonny has this Jutsu that has a chance to spawn a clone when hit. I'm pretty sure it's body replacement. And he now names his clone. Stop hitting me. You know, it's just gonna piss off. I don't I need name. I'm gonna call him Pedro. <laughs> 50k away. Okay. Oh, wait. This is so... Uh, Koopa, come back. Do you have a waste on Koopa? And then I can I can put a wait, uh, a Thunder God on you. And then you waste them back and then I can teleport. Ah, uh, very smart, Ski. This is why he is the smart fella. Uh, not the smart. Uh, mark him, mark him. I got you, Tad. He's double Tad. He went escape and nobody now, boy. Oh my god, that is so sick. <laughs> <sighs> you just punch me out. <laughs> nah, no, I don't know what you're talking about. You're such a twat. Day 161. Toby learns Silver Wheel Rebirth Blast. How does it do? What the fuck? Oh, that's is... the worst one ever. It just pushes stuff. Are you serious? Yeah. I spent so long on that. Oh my god. Oh wait, I can charge this one now. Yeah, that guy gets blown at really far. Woo! Really far. Take some blocks with it too. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, he got sent. Look at that. Fucking sent me wild. It's pretty powerful. In terms of pushing ability. I mean, if that's what you need, I mean, you have the jutsu for it. Sonny goes head to head in his biju form. Show him what's for, bitch. Show him what's for. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's doing so. Ooh. Oh, he's flying. Holy shit. He's juggling him. Holy shit. Oh, my God. He's juggling him. That's right, bitch. That's the chief now. I can do other jutsu. Lava style scorching rock. Oh, that is huge! Oh, oh. I froze. Oh. Look at him! It juggles. your daddy? Okay, that was a big love tap. One more hit. 
Oh. He's down, he's down. He's right, yeah. Oh. Sadly, we killed it. Some miscommunication there, but don't worry. They respawn somewhere else. Kuba buys another map and is Kukuo, the Five Tails. Before the end of the day, I get one of the quads. Day 162. Kuba finds the Tail Beast and we assemble. I hit it with a Rasen Shuriken, which takes out Kuba again, and Sunny Goku does the rest. Whenever I get close enough to do the seal, it kept blowing me up, so I died, came back, and it worked perfectly. They aren't meant to attack you when they're knocked out, but it doesn't matter. Country girls make do. Oh, it's working! Okay! One death is all we needed. Oh, yeah, stop. he's on the foot. Wait, really? On the foot. Ah, he be on the feet! He be relegated a feet business, honey. Day 163. There we go. Yeah. Kokuo. By the way, there is a command to check if any tail beast is sealed. It's slash locate entity Jinshuriki list. And with it, we can see there are two in the ghetto statue, three in us, and four still on the loose. I think you need op for this, but we can all agree this is not Chien. Okay, I'll buy the next one. Bang. Ooh, Saiken. Don't kill it this time, Sonny. I give Shaq 500k, and he buys boil release. Meaning, between us, we have every single kicker Genkai. I go south for the map, and on the way, to hit this chunky fella. Day 164. Shaq starts Project Villagers. How low are you, Kuba? Um, all time low. Read the press. Want to kill myself? I don't give a fuck. I mean, uh. Oh, that one. Oh, 56,000. Oh, he appreciates the kind words, as if. Yeah. <laughs> I find the Z chord, and two minutes later, I find the X. I misnumber it again. I totally forgot all about Chome, to be honest. Sonny pulls up and wants to go slug on slug, so gets charging his summon. Day 165, Sonny now releases his 500 charge slug summon. Okay, go. Summon the slug. Oh, oh my. my. What happened? It has a I can't. Five. I'm frozen. It's the fucking mountain. That my slug my game. I told you it'd get fucking big, Eske. 80,000 chakra to summon. That slug might have crashed. The game. Oh, it it has a, no, that's a million health. It has over a million health. Is yours running? Mine, mine froze as soon as you did that. Okay, my game crashed completely. Okay, the slug is no longer with us. I'm 500 no. meters in the air. It was 500 tall. Kuba asks to solo and gives up 10 seconds later. I bring the ghetto statue out and wallop this geezer. Then Sunny sends us blasting off again. Oh, you sent me too! You sent me too! Oh I'm coming! God, from the oh top ropes! <laughs> oh my, I'm floating. <laughs> no, you, you... <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> Boom, bitch! Oh yeah! I nearly die, so Sunny taps in. Oh my god, it's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. It is doing a lot of damage. I'm on, I'm on two lines. Wait, can he just fight for himself? I'll go on, son. I can. <laughs> 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 then we get it out the hole. He oh, hopped he back in. <laughs> As I was saying, out the hole, and then we knock it out. I do a quick reset, and we seal this boy. While we extract the power of this monster, we busted out some Leather League. We are in 44 points. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, Saiken is now in the ghetto statue. One more down. Day 166. Back to the you need to make a word with down and across. Are you still playing Leather League? No. I learn Wood Burial and Kuba Master's second stage. Here it is in action. It encases in a tree and also does some damage. I learn Chakra Flow, which can be toggled on and off and just buffs damage. Oh! So it only takes it when you actually get your weapon out. It takes like two a second. I'm gonna try it on you. 32. That's really good, you have a lot of armor. Versus, let me try without. 18. So it takes it from 18 to 32. Nearly double my damage. And then I start learning Vacuum Wave, as no one has it. Oh my god, Legendary Loop Bag with a fucking pair of diamond pants on it. That's... <laughs> no, 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 no. What? What? No. You just got rid of- Oh, you killed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Day 167. Sunny starts learning Ultra Big Bull Rasengan, and gets 52 Zetu Flesh, eats it all, and still doesn't get wood release. I try vacuum wave out. It's like bullets of wind. Oh uh, no. There's two damage ahead. Uh, destroys blocks though. I mean, hey, at least you didn't shoot it at a beacon like some sort of idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the guy also blew up the house. What a fucking moron. That was Shaq. Day 168. Well, well, Nitwit can't canoodle. No, Nitwit can canoodle and they both have food. 
I think the one villager <laughs> is just unhappy, so I'm gonna trade with it to try and make When Sunny brings out Pedro, he becomes a wood block, so I'm picking up his corpse and extending the platform with it. Toby unlocks his final Tensei Ganjutsu, which is called Golden Weevil Rebirth Blast. Weevil? Weevil. I also heard Weevil. We relocate to the desert and try it out. Holy shit. shit. There it is, I told you, it's a fucking laser. He didn't die though. Don't, don't do it on me. But... That man is dead. Thanks for, thanks for letting me see, Toby. Ain't a no problem, bro. You got it right in the eyes. Sonny then tries out his max power particle style cube. Wait, stand in the middle, stand in the middle, though. Whatever, yeah. This cube goes away. Well. No, I'm not going in there. <laughs> <laughs> what did that do? Have a look. Oh my god. It's the fucking shit. fat chunk missing. Yeah. Day 169. We test out the King of Hell. After death, it TPs you inside where you slowly regen health. But this thing is also indestructible. In dust release, didn't even leave a scratch. And Shaq is now using Toby's beautiful house as a breeding ground. Have you seen Shaq's sex palace? Let's go have a peek. He's got two careers. This man's very successful. Fisherman and a farmer. Fisherman. This guy's knew it on the two time. That's impressive. Bro, what? Wait, come here, guys. Wait, are these, are these acacia leaves? Are they dodgy for you? Yeah, uh, they're just purple. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> but look, I've created life. I could, I could just murder him right now. I would actually cry. <laughs> you kill him. <laughs> Did you kill him? <laughs> You're a twat. <laughs> ah, shot me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Your okay. eighth gate for that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little overkill. Oh, they made another baby. They made another baby. They really? Actually, oh, okay. Damn. They lost a child like instantly like that. Anyway! <laughs> <laughs> Did they? I don't see it. Well, they were trying, they're trying, trying to fuck, but you're, but you're all there. Oh, shit. Leave them alone. Um, th does that actually oh, matter? Right. I can't watch I them. I think it does. He's telling me, he's telling me I can't get front row seats. You've tried to become the villager. You're making them shine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What if that works? Just put them yeah, all. Oh man. Oh. What do I do? <laughs> kiss him, Sonny. Get a get a kiss. Is, is there a fuck key? Maybe. Fuck. I'll try and right click on. Press oh. F to fuck. Day one seventy. Okay, big guy, slow down. You want to see something big? I'm here in villager. Oh, Sonny! Look up, look up, look up! What's he done? Fucking hell, mate. No, no! No! Oh. What, what are you trying to do here? Adds a bit more character than the village. I give Sonny 41 more Zetsu flesh, and he still doesn't get wood release. Shaq has went back to the Sakura method, and I buy another map. It is Chome this time, the real Seven Tails. Day 171. Sunny tries out his ultra big bull Rasengan on me, and even in Asura Path, it does more than 200 damage. We then try to pit our summons against each other and charge them both to 100. Nope. Just you have 100k? I have 3,000? You have 100? You only thought, Sage. <laughs> Bro, there's a whole bio inside of you. Yeah, Gamamut is dead. I'm getting the scale of this. Jesus. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> This thing was massive, and the server didn't quite agree with it. Gamma Bunter seems to max out, but there doesn't look to be a limit on Katsuyu. We get two new babies today. He's a priest. Holy shit. Straight out of the womb. Fruity oh, girl. Oh, it's, it's a reincarnation of the last one. The last one's a priest as well. Oh, oh, they just made a new baby. New baby drop! <laughs> That's good. And I take Sunny out for a spin. I'm pretty sure you can get way stronger using someone else's body, because I think our stuff stacks. Like, neither of us should be doing 180 damage, plus the fact that they couldn't even hit me. Also, Kuba remembers his plan for a quickie mark. He's been planning this the whole time, but just forgot for 70 days. Day 172. I don't think I've mentioned, but we called the village, the village hidden under the hill. But Kuba decided to get rid of it, without consulting anybody. Oh, who's punching shit? Are you getting rid of the mountain? Why? I'm building a quickie mark there. 
already well, we're not under the, the hill anymore are we I mean, it's like, you know what Americans do when they see like a nice God, piece of land. Why did you do that? At least ask. Why could you like do it in an open place? You didn't have to take, oh, this, get rid of the mountain. That was out of finding We're landscape a feature. Now. What the, the fuck is that? Nah, you don't understand. You're gonna be hidden fucking quickie We're What is this bullshit? bullshit? Oh my god. This better be a, a fucking, fucking spectacle. spectacle. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? Welcome to the Dr. Steve Show. Today we have an unruly rascal on our hands. He's really been up to a lot of mischief. This guy has been causing mayhem all over the village hidden under the hill. So much so that the name now isn't even the same. So bring him out. Come on, Schlobster. Hey, what's up, everyone? Take a seat, take a seat. Thank you. So, uh, I've been hearing stories that you've been getting up to some absolutely devious things. Like, you know that mountain that the village used to be next to? It's now disappeared and been replaced by a quickie mart. What do you say to that? Uh, proof? Proof, he says. The whole mountain was decimated by your hand. Must be some of a shops, the guy, honestly. Hmm. So, you... Are saying that it wasn't you and you weren't involved. Not that I know of personally. See you soon after a quick commercial break. Shaq learns unrivaled strength, but it doesn't really work as you need Han's armor to use it properly. I learned cellular activation, which drains chakra instead of health. This seems like it could be insanely OP. And Toby shows off his ice release now that he's fully learned it. What does this do? Ah! Ice spike. You okay. can spam it, it's pretty decent. And sure. you've also got the ice fire. Oh, that does decent damage, to be fair. When it hits. You can hit them. Yeah, they aren't accurate in the slightest. Okay. Oh, you got them in the ice mirror. You meant Holy to use shit. the spikes. Ah, oh, so you combine this. Yeah. It's doing damage to my own. No, I think the other ones. It's meant to be like this. This video is from the mod maker, AHZMB. I'll link his channel. He has a lot of videos on the mod. And you got ice prison. That wasn't ice prison? Oh. Oh wow, can I do mine as well? There we go. Wombo combo. Holy shit. Oh my god, he fucking deleted him. <laughs> Day 173. Sunny finds out. If you just hold the Rasengan in front of you and run at walls, they disappear. You could probably make an insane mine with that. I go look for the tail beast. And Sunny does the weirdest trolling attempt I think I've ever seen. I want to know. Sonny, I want to know what you're trying to pull here. What's what? What I'm is the checking. point? What is the point of pretending to do this? Hmm? He's trying to do a lot. Sonny, <laughs> Sonny, you're not smooth. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running now? That's not how an AI walks. <laughs> That's not how an AI. Who's he pretending to be? He's trying to be a Ruka. Yeah, you're looking real shifty. But hey, wait, I, can you see can the I can see the thunder I can see the yeah, silhouettes. Yeah, thunder god. But I'm standing near him. We can't. Oh, there you go. No, I touched, I touched the thunder god to a rook I are. He did not attack me when I punched him. Then he goes invisible. I have no idea what you're talking about. I see you right here. It's a floating no. tag. It's not it? There's a floating Very tag sharp. right here. It's not a floating tag anymore. <laughs> I literally teleported to you. So, so, so that wasn't you, Sonny. No. How are you invisible? If you use the mind body transfer on a on an animal and like hands let, sometimes <laughs> you just go invisible. I'm, I'm, I'm building quickie mobile reference. That's gonna be terrible. Day 174 to 176. Sunny tries out particle style on Sakura and she still doesn't die. And I'm out here traveling continents per second to find Chome. Lightning chakra mode plus sage mode go zoom. I find the quads, come home, and I'm happy to say Quickie Mart is coming along great. Shaq is now up to his operation. He now has three Sakuras lined up in boats ready to be abused, and from his epic training, unlocks corrosive mist. We now go hotbox. Alright, it goes to 30. 
Oh my god. Oh bro. This is like a sauna now. This is truly exquisite. It just gets us a bit hot. Oh, oh it's over. Painful stuff. Oh. He's just moaning, he's enjoying it. Get rid of the cannon. Why? You look dumb you as fuck though. <laughs> what do you mean? He looks fucking stupid, put something on. No, 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 no. Bro, what are you doing? I said get rid of the Azure cannon. I said get rid of the fucking cannon. I did. I did. It put it back in my hand. That's bullshit, David. That's bullshit. You know. Well, he blew up. It did it again. <laughs> what are you doing, Bin it! Eat food. Bin I'm it! trying to eat food. It keeps putting it back in the hand. Kuba just replaces the house. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> no, it's oh, that works, mate. That works. <laughs> that is an improvement. At least there's Actually, no holes in the wall. <laughs> Sorry, Shaq, uh, we should have done this very Look, long Look, there's a little tunnel down to him. Yeah, that's good. And then we set off for the tail beast. Day 177 and 178. We make it to Chome, and I use my wood golem on him. This one shouldn't do as much damage. Okay, that's only that's only a K a hit. It's oh my god, he's... Pop. Holy shit! You need to hit me? Is he leaving? What? Is he actually is flying? He <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with bro? <laughs> this fucker just flew away. Sunny tried to get it down with chains and Amano Tejakara for 10 minutes straight, but even when he got close, it flew away every time. I had to TP it down. If I didn't, this thing would have never died. Sunny then somehow held it still, mid-air, with shadow possession, and I pummeled this bitch. There we go, 65, is he falling? No way you're telling me he's stuck up there. He's floating! Need to build. Quickly, Sunny, mine trees. No way, man. Sunny got it all the way down to the ground this time, only for it to start flying away while unconscious. I just TP it down and we get to ceiling. I know I kind of cheated, but we had to. Okay, Yay. there you go. Jeez. We've finally done it. Chome is stupid though. We did it. Chome has been dealt with. Holy Yay. shit, people. I buy another map. Ooh, it's time for the big one. Kurama. At this yeah, point, we were all laughing at DJ Khaled vids. So I think it's time we have a quick DJ Khaled break. Alright, picture this, folks. You gotta film this. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> shit, you gotta do this. Life. Oh, shit. There's roadblocks. Don't, don't let nothing stop you. Cause we ain't stopping. <laughs> we gonna keep going. <laughs> and shrimp shumai. Um, and then half of them have shivy angles. Shrimp what? <laughs> Have you ever played rugby? Sonny kidnaps a child from Shaq and then says this. I'm Where are you taking no off? I'm a dog. <laughs> Day 179. Sonny starts building a house, but no one knows where. And I locate the nine tailed fox, Kurama. Quickie! Oh my god, look at it! Wow. No, zoom in. The, the, yeah, yeah, there's, there's something. Oh, else so you there. did do it. Sorry. Quickie Mart! Yeah. Time to fight. I'm gonna try this guy out. Holy shit. The full dog. I wanna see if oh Rama can God. take it. It is Rama. You ready for this, Rama? Oh my God, it nearly killed me. Did he I not mean, feel that? <laughs> How is he chilling? <laughs> Day 180 to 182. Okay, and that is Kurama leaving only Matavi left. Okay, and the final tail beast map we'll need. There we go. It's been bought. Sonny's child Clive dies, and we find Matatabi for the rematch. This one was the furthest of all of them at 78k, 98k. Toby finally worked out his keybinds and manifested Shikaku to fight, but it ran out in 15 seconds. Hey, he did it! Okay, beat his ass. You just look like you're fucking his ass. It, it, no. it went? Yeah. Is that all you got in you? And then Papa Sonny cleans up. Okay. 
little You're just and... fucking juggling him. <laughs> you <laughs> broke your <laughs> neck right there. <laughs> yes. There you go. Woo! Okay, this oh, means this is the last thing, and then I gotta get it from all of you guys. So before we do that, I think you should have a face off. There it is. We have now collected all of the tail beasts. Day 183. Kuba unlocks Biju form Isobu. I still no one knows where Sonny's house is. I put a tag on him, and when I go to it a few minutes later, it takes me to the top of the Naruto house with him nowhere to be seen. A bit after that, he then backtracks and says, What the hell? That's just like I haven't. Some very sus stuff going on. Sonny has now replaced his dead son Clive with a new son, which he also named Clive. Day 184. The Jinchurikis now have a fight to the death. We used commands to give Toby and Kuba more Biju XP, so they didn't just change back mid fight. But it doesn't actually matter, as I'll be sucking them off soon enough. I got a load of comments timestamping this. Like, what did I even say wrong? I will be sucking the tail beast chakra off of them. You guys got to get your mind out of the gutter. So Sunny, oh. we need a gang up on Sunny, Kuba, because me and you combined. The combined of you. Yeah, we need a we need a gang up on that guy. I'm gonna just kiss him, it. Okay, oh go. God. Okay. Kuba's not even damaged, by the way. <laughs> Kuba, remember what we said before this. Oh, holy shit, Son Goku's getting his ass beat. <laughs> Come here, boy. Be your ass, well, smug his ass. Yeah, be him. There's no place for you in this world, son. Oh, did oh. he die? No, I, I actually fucking went out of the form. I was pressing which one. I won, Ski. This fight was an absolute clusterfuck, but Toby won as he was the last one standing. But it ran out of health. Oh, really? I thought you'd die. Oh, he's lying down. He's praising the Lord. He's praising <laughs> the Lord. As Sonny died first, we take his beast, and it's just the same as the others. If someone is taking your tail beast, you can't fight it off. Sonny had his dust release ready to end us, but chose mercy. Well, there we go, seal Son Goku. Day 185. We now seal Shikaku next, and Clive grows up while we do. It felt like it was only a few days ago when Sonny took him away from his parents, slash cousins. When we were sealing, Kuba kept blasting Sonny with rods. I want to blether this entire operation. Stop. Attacking him, you fucking dickhead. Sonny, Sonny, stop whatever you're doing. Sonny, put that away. I'm hey. it's okay. Oh, Shukaku, nice. welcome. Run, I'm running away from Sonny. He was holding his dust release. Oh, fuck. I made it out. How the fuck didn't that kill me? Now Sonny reveals his home to Toby, and I tag along uninvited. Oh, I need you to stay still. Yeah. Get on the ground. Get away. Don't panic. Don't panic. Really? This is... Oh my god. You've locked Clive here? <laughs> he has no clue. Sir, I believe there's a perpetrator. No, there's a man, there's a man in there. Clive's not safe, Sonny. Oh, no. Don't worry, I got it. Oh, oh shit. Where do you go? Bro, that makes so much sense now. Holy shit. This is the house he was hiding. This is the Kamui dimension, by the way, and all of us can get here, except Toby. This comment is actually so right. How come the one guy that has the same name that Obito uses is the only one that can't use Kamui? Sonny was in the void for a bit, and when he got back, something was wrong. <laughs> He's dropping bombs on him. Okay. No, no, no <laughs> bombs shit up in here. Oh, Where the fuck's Cry from? Where did Kuba see? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm what had happened to Clive? Dead? Kidnapped? Who did it? All clues led to Kuba, as he had a motive. In the previous video, it was none other than Sonny who killed his beloved Steven Spielberg. Or was it someone else, simply doing it for sport? By complete accident of me not stopping my replay mod, we have CCTV footage from the scene. <laughs> Doesn't even close the door behind him. <laughs> and now we are back with some more Dr. Steve. We hear that you were also involved in a murder. A man by the name of Clive went missing. He was no man. He was a devil. Oh. God spoke to me in a dream and said, strike that man down, or there will be world damnation. So, so you admit it was you? Oh no, there's some other shops the guy. Again, he doesn't. He, he thinks he can get away with it. Put it on the screen. So that wasn't you! Um... 
Uh, bye. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, he's fleed the scene again. He's at large and he can't be stopped. I'm gonna find my gun and kill this guy. Sadly, Clive was lost, but a new green beast came to town, Mike Guy. Guy spawns when you have 20 doors and 10 villages, and will give you 8 gates if you protect the village from a raid. The reason I made him sell it is because I wasn't sure if it actually worked. I buy the jumpsuit off him, but you can also craft it. Now we seal a sobu, and the raid starts as soon as we do. Also, you can put armor over the jumpsuit as it counts as leggings, so you can have some pretty interesting fits. Day 186 and 187. We finish the ceiling, and seconds later, the raid ends. You basically just protect villagers from zombies and ninja vests. Now, as you can see, everything is in the ghetto statue. It will now transform into the most powerful beast of them all, the Ten Tails. This unlocks a new jutsu on my Yang release called the Six Paths Ten Tails Coffin Seal, which does exactly what you'd imagine. Sunny buys another beast map, thinking they might respawn. But no, of course they don't. Thing is, for the jutsu to show up, the Ten Tails has to be summoned, so I drop it off in the outer end and start learning. As I'm doing this, another raid starts, and apparently the kill counter goes up, no matter where you are. Unsurprisingly, me and Sunny, who are in the end, get the most kills. The eight gate is then given to me, and not Sunny, but Kuba for some reason. Because I have a full inventory, I don't pick it up, but a nearby gremlin does. But he can keep it. I'll soon be getting the Ten Tails. Day 188, I now go pick up my pet and absorb it. <laughs> Their inner sharing gun has been activated. And just like that, I am six paths with a six pack. Well, not really. You lose the six pack for a robe if you have more than 32k ninja XP, but for the others, I kept it. I now have permaflight, 380 more health, and a ton more armor. I am given six paths senjutsu, which has five jutsu on that need a thousand each. So I have a ton of grinding to do. I also have the Truth Seeking Shakujo, which is the staff created by the Truth Seeking Orb, which does 30 attack damage and has five attack speed. That is absurdly loud. You, I don't think you can even take advantage of that, it's too fast. And somehow, I do less damage than before, so I have to use a weapon to one hit. So my balls attack anyone that I attack, look. Can't really hit the enemy because they dodge it, but there we go. Day 189 and 190. Okay, we've got the first one, Truth Seeking Ball Shoot. Let's give it a try. That's one of them? I didn't even charge it. What? I'm not even charging. Can you charge it? It only has one, okay. That is absurd. They're not showing on me for some reason though. They're back, they're back. Let's try this again. And obviously it destroys everything it touches, so they get one hit, I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a fun one. And as I have what? I have nine of these behind me, so... Is that working? Oh, yeah. That's nine of them I've just sent. And they all come right back to me for me to do it again. And this only costs... A no way. 50 chakra each? Holy shit, that's absurd. I have 40k and they cost 50. It's, it's nothing to me. They have a range, though. I go back to the village and the concrete is expanding. It's even swallowing trees whole. Day 191. Okay, we've got the second one. Shield. I think I just go into a ball. Oh yeah. I can barely fucking move. But I think I'm impervious to damage. How do I get out of this? Hit it again? No, that made another one. How does one escape this? Can I do damage in it? How about if I shoot when I'm in here? Can I do that? What? I can do that? I can be impervious and shoot out fucking nukes? What? what? What is that? I also have no idea how I get out of this. Oh. You get it out of your hand, it, it, it leaves. Day 192 and 193. I've also got maxed out chakra now. Shaq makes a beacon, and instead of mining some iron, he steals it from Apu's cash register. And Sunny unlocks the 8th gate. Oh, I've done it. I've done it. It's good. I'm you got the 8 gates? Oh my god, he's transforming. Oh. oh. Don't shoot it over there. Click right click Sunny. Don't do it. Straight into the clicking mark. No. 
What did you just do? Jesus Christ, you're such a moron. <laughs> What is wrong with this guy? I just <laughs> I've now unlocked Sage Art Yin Release Lightning Dispatch. That is a fucking mouthful. Let's see how good this is. I can charge this one up to six, okay? Okay, I summoned us a Gamma Bunter to test on. He has 2.5k health. Let's see what we're working with. Full charge, bang. Okay, let me show that again because there's a thing in the way. Sorry, the day counter. It totally fucking destroys him. There you go. Day 194 and 195. What the fucking loot bag, legendary? Three S ranks and 35 white Zetsu. This is the sorry ass beacon shack made. It's a one layer. And yeah, people have been busy when I was gone. We have an ice spice ice sculpture. The Ice Spice Sanctuary, which has a fully functioning Bluetooth enchanting table. Apu behind his register with built-in beacon and one fridge in the whole shop. I then give Shaq the Zetsu Flesh and he gets the Renegan. Day 196. Okay, now I have Sage Art Storm Release Light Fang. Okay, it goes up to 10. I guess it's just like a laser beam, right? Yeah. Let's get a friend out again. Now I'm going to charge this up to 10. Let's see how much it does. Oh! Oh! He got fucking obliterated. See how fast I went? That is wild. I'm gonna try this again, but just like tap it. Let's see how much damage it does. Is it going? Okay, now nah, you can't really do that. Day 197 and 198. I finished getting the final jutsu and go see Sonny. He's now got some grass, flowers, and trees, and even some new inhabitants. Yes. Victory. <laughs> He gets six friends in total, and they're very chatty. <laughs> we then compare health, and Sonny, who's maxed out, has 660, and I have 980. And the concrete has expanded again, claiming the river, and building earth to cover it. Okay, let's try the last one out. Truth-seeking Recenturican. Only goes up to one. How big is this bitch? There's no charge up time, and it does that much damage. The game is fucking freezing because it's doing so much. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, not gonna use that one. That one likes the game like hell. Day 199 and 200. Time for the final fight. The four of them against me. No more boys, I got it. Catch these it, fellas. Oh. <laughs> I did not have it. Where are you guys? Where's the last guy? Sonny? Where is Sonny? He legit hid from me for two minutes straight and was doing the invis glitch the whole time. Still didn't save him though. We then have a rematch. Okay, three, two, one, and we're off. I wanna try hit you with my staff. Whoa, what the fuck? I have so much range. I mean, this might hurt. That doesn't even kill? That's crazy. <laughs> I've not got anything done as well. <laughs> oh, is that follow my mouse? Oh! What the fuck is that? Oh my god! <laughs> you can aim this, it's so sick! You read that so fast. You wanna go golem, eh? You wanna go golem?
Are these punches not hitting you? Broke my magnet board. Oh. Okay, that one hit him. Hello, Sonny. What are you doing, Sonny? Don't do this shit again. It seems the Ten Tails is a bit strong. We then have another rematch. Shaq kills himself after missing Night Guy. Kuba escapes to Kamui, and Toby gets killed by Sunny after I trap him. Sunny is the only one left, and pulls out the most insane bug I've ever seen. He shadow possesses me, which means I can't do shit. And then for the wombo combo, sends me to Kamui. This is it, Toby. I've won. I've won. I'm proud. You TP'd me into the Kamui dimension. That's not That's a win. Eternal ceiling. Shadow possession is insanely broken. It forces you into chat, and there is only one way to escape it. If it's released. This way, there is zero. Well, they took a win. It is possible. We then test just how strong I am. Golden Wheel does nothing. Dust release, nothing. Kamui Shuriken does do something. It would take four of them to kill me, but they are insanely hard to hit. And if you can hit 10 of the 8 gates punches, you would kill me. Also, I tried my nuke out on a Susano, and it only did 180 damage. Don't leave just yet, there is one more thing to show you. The Keke Mora is unobtainable, but it still has working jutsu, so let's check them out. One bite of the chakra fruit, and he's got it. First up, 80 gods vacuum fists, which is said to do 250 damage each, but they really didn't. Second is your Motu Hirosaka, which makes a portal next to you and where you're looking. Then there is the expansive truth seeking ball. This disintegrates everyone inside it and takes the world down to bedrock for about 12 chunks. That is on a bit of damage. This will be enough to wipe out the full village. Next is the Ash Killing Bones, which is a guaranteed kill move, and one of these can even take out someone in creative. And finally, the Chakra Pulse, which just pushes you away. Pretty disappointing end. Real quick, I got this comment that says I pronounce everything incorrectly. What? I try my best to pronounce things right, and I think I do an alright job. Please let me know where I went wrong. I swear I didn't have any big fuck-ups in the Naruto video. We don't gotta talk about the Charybdis and the Ghetto incidents though. Well that is it. We are done. We have covered just about everything in this mod, and we are as strong as you can get. We even managed to complete all the goals this time. So as I said right there, we showed literally everything in the mod. Every single Kika Genkai, every single Dojutsu, all the Tail Beast. I got six paths, and then I showed something that isn't even obtainable. And still, I get like 50 comments telling me to do a 300 days. Doing what, bro? We completed the whole thing. We couldn't continue this. Like, what is there to do after I become Ten Tails? And me and Sunny already have max chakra, so there's nothing more to be done. There's potential for a reboot, but not a 300 days. There's been one update since we played, so I thought it would be cool if we checked it out and saw what's new. And also, I want to show you some big changes to the mod pack. Okay, in the last update, there were two main changes. The Adamantine staff was removed and then added back differently, and there is no Resen Shuriken scroll anymore, but it's still in the game. Wait. What? Pink sheep have a normal point... 164% of spawning. There's a pink sheep. That's pretty wild. When you fully unlock Rasengan, which is 625, it will then unlock on the wind release if you have it, and you need a further 1000 due to XP. The Adamantine Staff is a weird one though. As you might know from the show, it is Hiruzen's weapon, and also transforms into Enma. Enma has now been added. The way it was implemented is a summoning contract. I made it 640k, as honestly I feel it's a bit better than the others. So, how you get the Adamantine Staff? You hold it down to 1, Enma spawns. Pretty chill guy, follows you about. Will attack anything you attack. And then if you hold it to one again and do it on top of him, he becomes a staff, which has three further moves on it. Defend, which I think is just like a shield. Extend, which is crazy. Look at this shit. What the fuck? It just killed the thing over there. It does good damage too. It also destroys blocks, so you could probably do crazy mining with this. Watch. You cannot see shit when it's in your face though. That's what she said. And finally, Adamantine Prison. Which, as it says, makes a prison which has 5,000 health. And honestly, I don't know how to use this. Because even if you look far away, it just does it on top of you. It just imprisons myself, which I mean, it could be good for a defensive move, but... I guess you could use it to regen and heal, but... It's not really a prison to someone else. You don't have to use my worlds anymore. Using FTB quests, we now have trading menus. So we made the general store, the weapon store, the jutsu store, and the eye store. And near the end, I realized you can actually just give yourself 
soul stone so i could have just spawned them in but you know it's whatever this way you can do it from wherever also i'm 90 percent sure that this is a new jutsu on the magnet release look at that thing also this move was in the game but you couldn't actually get it it's eight branch jutsu it is for solely the snake's age you become this thing you have to be quite close to stuff but it does seem to do a lot of damage Sends a snake to go eat them. That is basically everything new. If you wanted to check out the mod pack, there is no better time than now, as these stores make the game so much better. Shout out to Jebdub for letting me know and helping out. This will also probably be the last time I update the NPCs, as what is the point when you can just use this? That is all of Naruto now covered. Next, I made my best performing video of all time, and then one of my worst. Bro is trying to be TDLMC so bad. Anyway, next up is we survived 100 days in Dragon Ball Minecraft. Fun fact about this video that I didn't even know until making this is that it actually got uploaded exactly a year after the Better MC video. Let us commence. Dragon Ball is one of the biggest anime of all time and considered the grandfather of shonen. And to go along with that is Dragon Block C, which is basically the grandfather of anime Minecraft mods. I am joined by four of my friends as we take on Dragon Ball Minecraft. Instead of the Z Fighters, you can call us the Z Fighters. Our goals for this is to go through the entire Dragon Ball story and acquire our strongest forms. Get uncomfortable, starve yourself, and let's start our journey. And now let's introduce ourselves. I'm Schlopster, and I finally got enough money to feature in the Zisuke video. Hello, I'm Toby, and I have over 5 million power in Rise of Kingdoms. I'm Shaq, and I'm a level 100 oh, Mafia boss. Hello. Who's on there? I'm, I'm a cool guy. Yeah, there's a lot of hashtag cool guy sonnies in the last video. <laughs> Very cool. He's now drowning himself. Okay, well we can now get started. So if you click V, we come to a customization menu. Now as uh, I'm Goku for real, I will be saying... Saying what? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and how do we do with you guys? You want to pick or should we... I think I should get the pick because I won the last final fight. Sure, go for it. What do you want? Can't be saying. I'll pick half some. Then there's Margin, Arcosian, or Namekian between you three. I'll do Arcosian. I'll be Margin. Namekian. <laughs> okay, we're all ready then. Customize your fella. This is now how everyone looks after making their character. Toby, by the way, is just cosplaying Freezer. Something funny and also kind of sad is that Cooper and Toby made skins for this, and as soon as we start, they just get replaced. In most of my other videos, I say thanks for the love at the start, but in this one and going forward, I'm not gonna. Not because I hate you, and you're all just numbers, which you are. I just feel it kind of disrupts the flow of the video. But as you're like five hours in, you can spare a minute for my gratitude. Honestly, nothing makes me happier than seeing people enjoy what I make. These comments are all very nice, and I thank you for every single one. I didn't even go through all of them, so there's likely a good few more. This one is crazy. We live in a world where someone is dreaming about Zivsky videos. Your vids just get better and better. This one means a lot, as I edit this all myself, and it takes a while. My upload schedule isn't the best, I know, but we have to play around 33 hours, then I watch and listen to it all, and then chop and voice over all the clips. Who told me to wait three months? Well, I'm also at uni, so studying takes some time too. You make your friends pay. I do not. It seems jokes are foreign to some people. Do my friends have YouTube channels? No, sadly I'm the only one. And I'm telling you, the streets love that intro. I might have to make it a regular thing. If you didn't get it, some people say shit like, This is basically a full-on movie, so grab a snack and sit back and relax. Which sounds stupid as fuck, so I thought I'd do the opposite. Then instantly, Kuba finds a dragon block. What? There's a dragon ball next to us. What do I do with it? Can I like eat it? No, you need to collect seven of them. Uh, then you can make a wish. As we took a while to start, it's now night, and by looking up at the moon, I start to transform. Oh my god. I'm an Azaria. This is inherent with Saiyans, and really strong at the beginning. When you attack things, you get TP. This is the training point, and these can be used to increase your stats with just strength, dexterity, constitution, will, mind, and spirit. And then they can also be used to upgrade skills, such as your super form, which you can guess is Super Saiyan. You can make your own key blasts and stuff, but I don't have enough TB for that yet. To start, we really want to do the story, I guess. After dealing with Goku, he drops his power pole. Power pole extend only works upwards, so he can have a ladder. That's about it. We do some more quests, beating Yamcha and then the peel-off squad. Firstly without and then with their mechs. 
Day two. Then those dweebs combine into one. Damage. Well, now that we've destroyed Pilaf, it's time to find Roshi. And also get some tools, probably. Then Sunny and Shaq somehow kill each other. After they come back from Otherworld, they spawn at Kami's lookout. And it turns out that the Kami house is right below it, so they find it pretty quick. There is also another way to get TP, which is training. And there are three different versions. Sparring with the clone, Osu, and Dance Dance Revolution. Let's go see Roshi, shall we? Over there, 500 meters. Ask for weight. I want to be fat, Roshi. I want one million weight. I'm going to be real. There were a few little editing mistakes in there, especially to do with the POV icons. At the start, you can see it's Freezer, but then I changed it back to Toby Squirtle thing. I thought the Freezer screenshot looked kind of shit, so I just got rid of it. But also, sometimes the POV icon's on the bottom left, and sometimes on the bottom right. The reason for this was when there was text in the chat, I didn't want to cover it, but then I sometimes forgot to change it back after. Hello, Roshi, how you doing? Then key we can get Kamehameha, 600 TP, Key Blast, 135, that's quite cheap. Okay, flying costs 300, I think that's probably what we're gonna go for. I'm gonna put a weight onto. Now we move way slower, but I mean, it, I think it gets more TP. Why do I have negative? Oh, because I have the weight gives you negative 5 strength and dex. And no surprise, Nerdman Shack puts on a 5,000 weight, which is max. Day 3. Now it's time to climb the tower, which is made very easy. You just walk up it like a ladder. And from Master Corrin, I can get free Sensu Bean. And I need it because my fucker, my ass is starving. There we go. And a free Nimbus as well because I'm a good guy. Which will be very handy for getting around. I have enough TP already to get fly. Okay, I can fly, but at a very slow speed. The Nimbus is so much faster. Let's go through what each stat actually does. Strength. No surprise, it makes you do more damage. Dexterity. Affects defense and movement speed. Constitution. Affects your health and stamina. Willpower. Willpower your key power which increases your key attack damage. Mind increases the chance of gaining TP and is used as a currency to upgrade and unlock skills. And finally, spirit is the measure of your key pool. I learned my first key move from Master Roshi. Kami, Hami. Hami. Ha! Wait, it didn't do shit. Oh, I found Goku's house. Hey, buddy. Oh my God, Goku. How you doing? I hit my first Kamehameha right next to Goku. The controls in this are a bit confusing at the start. So to do key techniques, you need to do second function and also hold right click. Second function is a button you can change in controls. At this point, Shaq has been power leveling and now is at 750 strength. We now set a limit on our levels so we don't get too crazy too fast. Day four, I find some Warren Eye crystals, which can be used for battle armor and Dragon Ball tech. And we find a place to make a house. I then have some issues with key attacks. Kame, Kame! Yeah, nice, why, why nice did he reset team. mine? Wait, what? What? Day 5. I create my own move and Sunny buys Gallic Gun from Vegeta. Ton of explosion, there we go. Oh my what god. What is that? Whoa, 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 that's a lot of damage. I make another move called Cum Blast. Do you wish to take Cum Blasts? And start flattening the land. Then when looking in settings, I turn custom hood on and it looks so much better. Now everything is in that top corner. Health is the green bar, key is the blue, stamina is the yellow, the percentage is the amount of your key you have unlocked, and at the start you only get 50, and BP is obviously battle power. You can also upgrade an aspect of these moves after you gain enough XP in them. I then spar with Krillin. Hey Krillin, do I punch you? Oh, he died. <laughs> Day 6. I go mining and make another move, this time a barrage, but then instantly come back as Koob has assembled 7 Dragon Balls already. To use them, you put them in a H shape and right click the middle one. I got a wish. catch in Shara, I don't know what it is. You Why do you just click a random thing you don't know? Because he said you gotta do it quick. Yeah, <laughs> I rather <laughs> panicked. He was like, you can use that to make the Z sword and shit. Yeah, I made the gravity device, good for trainer. Sunny then says he's found a solution, and I don't even know what to. He then throws up a big white ball. By using it as a substitute moon, he goes Uzaru. This move is called Power Ball, which you get from Vegeta, and now we can transform at will. This barrage attack I made destroys blocks and shoots very fast, so you already know how I'm gonna use it. Day 7. Every form in the game has a stat attached called the Mastery, which shows how proficient you are in it. This goes up passively, as well as by dealing and taking damage. I didn't know this till now, but mind affects how fast you gain it. Your Mastery level increases your stats as it goes up, and caps out at 50. I'm gonna make a wave. BEHOLD! THE MEXICAN WAVE! No, 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 no. 
Sonny then has the bright idea to make a smell tree and tells me to do it. Day 8. I obviously listen to Master Sonny and get to work. Kuba has made a nether pool so I check it out. We spawned right next to a fortress. Not like it makes much difference as we can fly though. The quest then tells me to go see Mutan Roshi. You have beaten my two students? Even Goku? You are now officially one of my students. Thank you buddy. Thanks man. Roshi mentions that a tournament was announced and he suggests that you enter. Okay. I'm in the quarterfinals already. Okay that was fast. Day 9. I buy key sense off Gohan, which unlocks lock on, then get enough clay for three stacks of grout. Sonny. Italian, Do you have any iron? Oh, for you, my adorable baby. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. You are such a pedophile. Diamond. What religion it's are you? Ground, huh? you find no, out? You want to find out? No, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to. No, 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 I'm sorry, ski, ski. I'm you gonna find out. I'm sorry, no, 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 I don't wanna find out. I don't wanna find out. Just punch his legs. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> 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 fucking backwards flying monkey. Oh, buddy. <laughs> All is fair in love and the war. Aw, oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, you fucking whore. All is fair with love and war. Day 10. I deafen Sonny by doing the barrage next to him. And Kuba starts making a house. Oh hell no! Nah. What is it, brother doing? We're not the brown. We in the shit house for sure, for sure. I <laughs> oh, don't make it out of that. <laughs> Shaq has been muted for a while now and was just zooming through quests. He is now at the Saiyan saga. Toby goes through his different forms, which he inherently gets. These forms literally suppress his power, though. And then final form freezer, bow. Final form freezer, which is also known as base form, makes Toby way stronger than us. I think even beating out Uzaru. Reading the wiki, it says there is a special mechanic for Arcosians called power points. These are stored when you go to a lower form, and then will buff you till they run out when you're in final form. I don't think Toby ever knew this though. I now finish the smell tree for now at least. Day 11. Today we do some catching up to Shaq. I breeze through the World Martial Arts Tournament, one tapping Bacterion, Yamcha, and even Jackie Chun. Then the Red Ribbon Boys. The return of Goku? Oh, oh my god! Boom. Then we go through Fortune Teller Baba's fighters. Fangs the vampire. The invisible man. Oh, he's got a health bar. Oops. Also, I should probably mention now that we used the mod to change the story a little bit and it made the fights way harder. Obviously, it made it more of a challenge, but was kind of buggy, so I don't recommend it to be honest. Like, it just doesn't have the moral option before each quest, and a few of them just broke, as you'll see. We just did it for the content. To put the scale into perspective, the very final boss of the proper story, Jiren, is a good bit weaker than Super Saiyan Trunks. In it goes exponential after that. Day 12, Toby's brother shows up. Hey, my my brother wants to work with you. Oh my god, cooler. The cooler. Sit. You don't quite look too similar. What's that meant to mean? You sure you're related? 100%. He was there when I was born. Yeah? Yeah. So what, you just assumed it was your brother? Well, naturally. <laughs> you got a good memory to be fair. I, I am the emperor. Yes. I have the best of everything. And Sonny makes Toby a gift. What's your favourite colour, Toby? Um, It really varies. But if you had to say... Eggshell white. Okay, none of that shit. Okay, it gives <laughs> a, a basic pride, like a primary <laughs> colour. I don't... Just whatever. Whatever. Just say... Brown, Sonny. That's fucking homo. It gives... Uh, <laughs> Brown. I'm just gonna make you rad. You can rad. There you go, Toby, I got your gift. Toby. One moment. It was a scouter, and there were only six different colours, and somehow brown isn't one of them. Day 13 and 14. At the minute, we are beating the brakes off these motherfuckers in one hit, but not for long. I have to take out Tambourine, as Tambourine has killed Krillin. Fuck you. Who else has Piccolo got? Symbol. Symbol took two hits! Okay, we're ramping up. Now we're fighting Piccolo himself. 380, you're not much stronger than your boys. We can always go Uzuru. I can just keep this up forever, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't seem to wear off, which is a bit busted, to be honest. Piccolo is now going to fight seriously against me. Oh no. How is this possible? My son, avenge me. So now the real Piccolo should pull up. But before we fought, Piccolo killed Shenron. We need to go fix that. Let's go see Kami. So this is Kami, and if you don't know, he split from Demon Piccolo. So he did that in order to become God. And because he made Shenron, he just whips up another. The hero becomes an adult. Now who could this be? 
Goku, 530. He's the strongest guy we've seen so far. Bang. Revenge for his father. Huh? Oh. Something is, <laughs> is messed up, I feel. You! I'll kill you and avenge my father. He seems to be pretty chill at the minute. Now that we have defeated Tampon Form Piccolo Jr., we have completed all of original Dragon Ball. Now we're going to take a little break from the story mode and focus on getting some good tools, to be honest. Kuba really wanted to use Endstone for the house, so has found the stronghold and is waiting for us. I now also learned Powerball, so don't need Sunny around to go Uzaru. Day 15 to 18. We are all the way back on Minecraft 1.7.10, so it costs 30 levels for an enchantment. And I do just that, getting Silk Touch on my Iron Pick. Now it's time to Minecraft, hold the craft. Diamandes! When I was busy mining, Toby got a fortune pickaxe, so now we cash out. Okay, you got the pick, Toby? You ready to do some mining? Yes, sir. Is that, wait, how much is this? It's 56. Wait, let me get a pick for the gram real quick before. Holy shit. One stack and 60 diamonds. <laughs> yeah, man. We start Tinkers after getting stuck for 10 minutes trying to build iron parts. And Toby has made a potato farm. Why did you make it so dumb looking? Well, he's gonna expand. But what kind of torture device is this? <laughs> I'm questioning it. Oh, uh, I don't really fit in this house. Are you well, fine? I'm normal. Also, Shakri set himself at Kami, so now isn't insanely over leveled anymore. After killing a bat earlier, I got a bag with another bat inside. We now keep it as a pet. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Christian Bell. Christian Bell. Go. Why is it? Someone doesn't know how to use caps lock, apparently. That was cool, but who was it? Batman eluded us for a while, but we trap him eventually. Oh, he's, he's just joined the dog. Oh. What? What was what? How Christian Bell escaped. Oh. Yes. No, it doesn't what? Work. He's fucking Batman. <gasps> yes! Yes! Did you get him? Oh, nice. We gotta reinforce it. Okay. <laughs> That's quite nice. You say it's very nice. We've just... You can't even say his name. <laughs> We've just captured two animals. It's, <laughs> it's not that nice. It is. Oh, he's got a little cross with him. If this was realistic... Oh, he's in the Jesus. Oh, my God. He's a Christian dog. Christian Bale. They would be... <laughs> Christian Bale. No oh. fucking way. Christian Bale and Christian Cooler. Oh my Holy god. Shit. You can't even see the name tags, so we put up a sign. I go check what we need for the best tools, and it's harvest level cobalt. I then make Kuba a full iron hammer, as he was struggling to do it himself. Day 19. Oh, you beautiful bastards. Okay. Yeah, baby. <laughs> What'd I do? It'll make them all. And maybe the smartest man that really is. Okay. Possibly. Why do you say that, Sonny? What have you done? You don't need the most here, but nice I'm a genius. Turns out, he was talking about me adding dummies to the mod pack as he went into the time chamber and used one to level his key techniques. He also managed to fuck up his POV, and to make things better, he was also blasting music in it. And I went up a slime island, as slime handles are very good for durability. Day 20 and 21. I make an obsidian pickaxe, don't even read the harvest level, and try and get cobalt, but I obviously can't. I then get aluminium and mix it with obsidian and iron to make alamite. You can have these pickaxes if you want. I made some obsidian ones. Cooper's already got a beast one. Well, anyone can have them, I'm not saying Koopa. Nah, Koopa doesn't need them. With my Alamite pick, I mine the nether ores of Ardai and Cobalt. I then go home and upgrade yet again to Cobalt. I was pretty mad when I did though. Boom. Can you make me one? You cobalt pick pickaxe. Shut your fucking ugly mug. Day 22. How high can you build the smithing, uh, like, smeller? Uh, infinitely, I think. Really? We should make that the goal. We should do that. Make it, like, a world record thing as well. I will I will do the clay. <laughs> Why would we're, we're playing Dragon Ball, bro? Why would there be yeah, a little bit big ass? I mean, like it's a little Easter egg in the background. And we're off to a great start. How does your I make grout? Day 23 to 25. Yeah, let's do maths. So from sky limit from here, right? 16 for a level. Yeah. Okay. 181 times 16. 2896. And how much do we need per block of grout? Only 1.5k. 1.5k. Can you divide that by 64? 22.7 stacks. Because no one else will have done this. 
Mainly because why would you, you know? <laughs> but we can hold that. It, we can put it on the Minecraft Reddit. Alright, I have got all the sand necessary. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait a minute. What? what? Did you miscount? I feel I made a big, a big miscalculation. Because I forgot that when you do grow out, you get one seared brick and you need four seared bricks. Oh, times it by four. So 88 stacks? It has come to my attention that all the grout we got was for naught, as you could have just used cobble. This is a total gut punch. We spent fucking hours doing this. At least it makes the achievement more impressive, but we could have saved a lot of time. And while we're doing this, Kuba is making a mob farm in the middle of the sky. What the fuck? Oh, that's what the floating thing was. I managed to get like 10 stacks in one day, so that's only what, 9 days straight, which is about 3 hours, to gather the materials that aren't even half. We raise the level cap to 150 and upgrade our auto smelter game as we're going to need to smelt a ton. That's what we're doing. We're going below as well. We're going from okay, bedrock yeah. to sky limit. Are we? Yeah. I so. Now Shaq joins in and gives the brilliant idea of an excavator. This is basically a shovel that mines in 3 by 3s Day 26. We already have all of this. And for some reason, I'm the only one who can make grout. You just put sand, gravel and clay together. But I was the only one who could seem to do it. Toby starts making the hole downwards. Also, Toby, you could do this a lot easier if I just blew it up for you. No, no, I prefer doing it this way. I, it, it makes sense in my brain more. And finishes it in the same day. So the max depth we can get it to without mm -hmm. just completely moving it is five. Shaq starts making everyone excavators. Yeah, maybe blood. Maybe I'll make a lot of blood, actually. Blood? Yeah. <laughs> Blood's not too bad for a cross guard, right? I wouldn't imagine it would be too good. Yeah, well, why not? So we stand inside the smeltery to add some blood to it. Blood. Oh, we can't even put blood in, never mind. Save, save your energy. Why did you even think I don't that know. a good idea? Blood is, like, pretty sturdy, I feel. <laughs> what? Sonny maxes out his Uzari mastery, and I'm not far behind. Day 27. We go to the end. Give me a the bitch. End? I just want to smack him. What? Oh my god, what the fuck has happened to the end? <laughs> oh. <laughs> What the fuck is with the pillars, though? Look. <laughs> yeah, well, this is a very weird oh. spawn. There's a shit ton of pillars. This is the first time I've been to the end in a version this old. So apparently, this is just how it was. I can confirm we are cloud level. Really? Oh, I mean, Holy I, 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 shit. What are you doing with that, Shaq? Stop doing the spirit bomb. Throw it into the ocean. Throw it away, then, Shaq. Let's see how much damage I can get. Well, don't do it. What no, the I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw it. That just I'm walk gonna... away. Wait, <laughs> Jack. Oh no! no. <laughs> Even after falling in a hole, he still managed to keep the ball above his head. Uh, I can't get out the hole. Toby, I need help getting out the hole. Can you not fly? Oh. Holy shit! You nearly did that, house. You fucking moron. That is a big hole. That's a huge hole. And by the way, this isn't a proper spirit bomb. It's Shaq's version. I'm fixing. Do not worry. On a better note. Shaq finished the excavators, so now I can gather gravel even faster. Day 28 to 32. Master delegate a moment from Sonny. Can you, somebody build a fucking chest? Yeah. You, you you, why are you always saying someone? You are also a person. No, but I'm not doing this. Fuck, how incapable can you be? Cell Arena! Let's go over chat to Cell. Don't stand in my way if you care for your health. So get lost or I'll kill you. I think if you're evil, you can get stuff from him. I make a diamond backpack and continue gathering. At this point, we add a texture pack and it makes everything look so much better. I get a hold of some scissors and mess with the hair. <laughs> I got fucking antenna. <laughs> <laughs> Serious rip, brother. Serious rip. We can all agree, Kuba looks 10 times better now. And this goes for all of us, the NPCs, and most of the bosses. Day 33. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build some balls on this thing when we're at the top. It's gonna be a massive cock fuck in the ground. <laughs> oh, you're gonna put it at the top? <laughs> Sticking it down. Uh, the down foundry incorporated. Shaq and Toby change the plan a little, and are gonna make an underwater base in the crater. You don't, you lack vision. I do! Yeah. yeah. Just get some glasses on your ass. Yeah. On Shaq will ass. be your glasses. <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna do on my ass. <laughs> well, you need to see <laughs> shit, don't you? Uh, I, mean, I, need ass. I realize it's a big asshole. Big asshole. <laughs> Prepared to fight. He made his first weapon. What is it, Sonny? It's a long sword. I can leap with it. Ooh. Ooh. You'll fly, bro. <laughs> Ooh. Holy shit, wait. 
That movement's actually insane. <laughs> no, hold up. He's on to some. Day 34. Sonny says we're wasting our time on stupid shit. Stupid shit. How is Sometimes. it stupid? Stupid. I think you're stupid if you can't comprehend what we're doing. You're stupid. <laughs> Was that better be like a clever retort? You've just shown you're stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I get up to a tad bit of tomfoolery. You want to bring out the whole ocean? Is there no, any squids? Why do you do this shit? Why must this be this? One. What have we done this time? I was going to put it in my frying pan and you took it out. Little choir boy. Uh, you took it out? What are you, you talking know. about? You took it out, you, you idiot. You took it out, the cock. <laughs> you took it out, you cock. <laughs> What's he doing in his cock? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Oh dear, these people are in Moscow. Yeah, I feel you, man. Put some fats on. <laughs> Bro, I got, I got this whole cock out. What the hell? I'm gonna build a skyscraper, but like a really shitty one. Let's get out of my cock out. Out of stone brick. <laughs> 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 okay. Actually, who is liable if someone comes into your room while like you're naked? Look at the person coming into your room, right? You can't charge anyone. Dude, of course, it's, of course it's there for you're in your own room, you're in the privacy, your own domain. If you're pressing pickle up against the window though, then it's your fault. <laughs> Press and pickle. If you press and pickle. Yeah. Bro, that's when I was using cord would be so funny. Sunny, stop. Oh my god, that blows shit up. It didn't blow enough, no. It literally what? did. What do you mean? Oh. Sonny, what am I falling oh. through? What am I falling through? A hole? No, we will put a, a hole in the glass. This Sonny was in... This Sonny was there. already here. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. We fixed all it the definitely was not. Uh, I'll go get some glass, I guess, but it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> and Kuba tries out his absorption ability. Get your blob away oh, from me! <laughs> get your blob it. away from me! <laughs> He's trying to slobber all on me. Day 35 to 37. No idea why, but replay mod just wasn't working at all. So sadly, no cool replays in this one. Kuba places the final blocks so that the smeltery has now reached sky limit, meaning now just beneath to do. Yeah, people are gonna rewatch the video because they want to make oh, the shaft, no. and they're gonna rewatch the video because. <laughs> How did they do oh. it? It's a really complicated design. Oh. Fuck, they kept going up? <laughs> and they went down. No way. Also, according to Toby, we are trying to make a world record pumpkin wall too. Day 38. Instead of adding a few bricks every so often, I've been stockpiling to do it all at once. And I nearly do. 12 stacks of bricks was just shy of enough. Look how close I am. With two more stacks in hand, we do it. All that's left to do now is to destroy the old floor and voila, it is complete. It should be finished. Is it working? Oh my god. It's complete from... Bedrock to sky limit. We have made a fucking smelter. This shit is so big, it takes 30 seconds to fly full speed from bottom to top. And also, we overshot by a good bit on the grout. There are still 22 stacks being smelted. Day 39. Kuba starts ball construction. I make a waystone so we can get around easier. But on this one, you need a warp stone to actually use them. Day 40. Now I continue with the story. Raditz has been defeated, and Goku died along with him. I train with the Z Fighters, and have to take down Gohan's own Uzaru. Then Nappa and Vegeta arrive, and they send out the Cybermen to break the game. Day 41. As the Cybermen mission broke the game, I had to use a command to skip to the next one. Which means, it's now time to take on the Saiyan duo. No more Mr. Nice Guy, time to kill Nappa and Vegeta. Can I take him in my base? Nappa's got a bit of health about him. Bang, there we go, he's gone. Okay, but has got 10k. This is probably the strongest guy so far, by a mile. Actually, Nappa did 30% of my health. Okay, I went Uzaru. Bang. Oh, Vegeta is also in his Uzaru. Okay. Pull up that bitch. Okay, he's doubled his health. Fuck. Oh, he's, he's hitting key attacks on me. I should probably do an attack. I'm just sitting here being. Oh, he went out of it. Oh, for fuck's sake, he changed form back and he got his health back? I was spinning around this motherfucker, you got no clue. There we go. Vegeta escaped. Travel to Namek. 
Kuba has started to make a massive nether portal, and Toby summons Shenron to try and change his appearance, as the texture pack didn't do him too well. I don't want to look like Hitler. However, that wasn't an option, so he chose a small club, which can actually be used to make a dimension sword. Day 42 to 44. They complete the portal. Perfectly. <laughs> no fucking way, no way, bro. Oh, I said 23 by 23 is the <laughs> biggest size. These fuckers can't count. 23 by 23 is the biggest possible. This one is that size on the inside, making it 25 by 25 in actuality. Kuba makes a whole separate smell tree for solely obsidian. What are you making? The obsidian. Yeah, but why is there a, a, a smell tree inside a smell tree? What the fuck have you done? Sonny makes a shield technique and names it Scintilla after Sethoroth's ability. A new shield technique. It's not up yet, you fucking whore. I'm gonna wait the, with the shield up. I learn meditation, which is a passive skill that increases regeneration rate for stamina and health. When testing Sonny's shield, I accidentally blow the place up. Yeah, that one broke the shield. Shaq goes to get some wither skulls, and Kuba tries again with the portal. Then he succeeds, but it's not the biggest. I help him remake it, and we get it working. <laughs> so we got big ass portal, big ass smell tree. Damn, we ballin'. Shaq comes back with 20 wither skulls, but forgets the soul sound, and Sonny makes a gun. He then starts attacking people, so we put him down. This lives alone, please. It's not nice. You've not no. been leaving us alone. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Sonny. <laughs> I'm messy, Toby. Messy. Hello. Sonny. Messy, Toby. Come on, Toby. Oh, he's back on. You tried to hit me. You saw that. No, then. You tried to hit me. <laughs> he's trying to hit me even while I'm con. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you throwing that fan about? Oh. Naughty boy. Toby now fights Vegeta and bodies him. He does 900 damage. I only do like 500. Shaq makes this and doesn't think in any way it could go wrong. Toby then moves a single one of the heads. You're such a moron, Shaq. Oh my god, kid. Uh, Why did no, you put I, them all here though? No, they I blow up it, when they spawn. It just didn't look nice. I didn't expect anybody to actually put them down. What? 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 No, 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 no. You laid them all out with one left to go and like, oh, they look nice. We do get the nether star, but only recover four skulls. And we have to patch up the same exact spot again. Day 45. Sunny attacks people and then tries to run away in the space pod three times. He doesn't stop, so I knock him out. The reason I don't want him to go is because not everyone is up to Namek yet, so I wanted us to go together, and this twat just can't wait. We now have a beacon, and because we're so baller, we have diamonds in the base. He tries to run again, and nearly does it as he puts a shield up this time. I knock Sonny out again. Oh, I died from the fall. <laughs> <laughs> this time, I break the grave and nab his face pod. Something missing, Sonny? <laughs> I'm not gonna use it. Something just, uh, missing. I'm not part of that. <laughs> I have friendly fists on, which means I can't kill, but not everyone does. Some of these fists ain't so friendly. His fists ain't How friendly. How does he do so much damage? <laughs> He's fucking unbelievably broke. Shaq blows himself up, but is miraculously able to keep himself alive by eating quickly after. Sonny has now died twice today, but still won't stop the violence. This guy is such a nuisance. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't what do you mean? No, what do you mean I didn't mean it? Do you were attacked in Shaq, you nearly had him dead. I don't know who that is. What's happened? I don't want to fight. Why were you killing Shaq then? I didn't do nothing to Shaq. He's fine, no, he's alive, he's on the ground. <laughs> How did he die? I have friendly for some. Is that you, Toby? I was following him. <laughs> I'm not allowed, I'm, I'm bringing you the justice on it. Every, <laughs> every time, every place, every single mod pack, you just bully people. <laughs> I'm softening. For some reason, Sonny's gun does melee damage, so he's insanely broken. And to finish the day, Sonny killed Kuba, which is literally his only death so far. Day 46. Shaq kills himself, and Toby gets cornered too. I see Shaq's grave, but I totally miss Toby's. Strangely, Sonny then starts listing out Toby's items. Where are you, Sonny? Where am I, Skip? Here's an action replay. Sonny 
is on his way to the nether as he died there, but as soon as he sees the death message in chat, he snaps back to find a grave to rob. He then uses Toby's space pod, and instead of going to Namek, goes to Vegeta. Kuba has now made another smaller portal behind the other one, and it creates this cool effect where the first one just goes see-through. I've never seen this before. Day 47. We really haven't done much Dragon Ball stuff, as we spent a lot of time building, killing each other, and repairing holes. But now we shall eventually progress, as Kuba takes on Vegeta. I kill another Wither. Chrome Blaster! One shot the Wither. Where's the star? And so does Shaq, and he does it in the exact same spot. Could probably make another hundred days just patching this fucking hole. You're such a fucking cretin. He's a fool. You killed yourself and there's no wither star. Day 48. Okay, we ready to move on, man. Get in the pods, people. Get in the pods. So you want to get in and then press middle mouse button. On. Destinations. And we're going to go to Namek. Boom. And here we are. New planet, people. We've breached. Now that we're all together, and the fights are getting harder, we join up as a group. This makes the bosses even stronger, tripling their power. Our first mission is to take out 27 Freezer soldiers. Then we fight Kui. Oh my god, he's, he's beat my ass. I'm on 8 health. Don't underestimate him, he does damage. Yeah! We now agree that after each big fight, we will buff ourselves a little. Day 49. We fight Krillin and Gohan, and Shaq instantly blows himself up, leaving him one hit. Be up the child first. <laughs> oh, you shit. died to the child? Oh you my god. I died to you too. No, no, definitely the child. I wasn't punching you. After killing Shaq, Toby takes out Gohan and I slap Krillin. Shaq is now in Otherworld, so just like Goku before him, he starts his journey down Snake Way. We cook some food up before the next fight, and an unnamed moron manages to destroy our furnaces twice. We're onto Dodoria. How much health is that? 30k? That's not. That, hey, that's pitiful. I try out a key technique and realize they are absolutely useless. Unless you do the one Shaq does. 30 seconds of straight hands later, we get him. But Kuba dies. Another one has fallen in our journey to take down Freezer. Take down me? Oh, it's the JJK squad. Ah, oh, yeah. Day 50. Next up is Zarbon, and the three of us take him out. There are so many fights, so there's no point in watching it. We are literally just slapping a guy for like five minutes straight. Now we need to talk to the Grand Elder. He is the oldest and wisest Namekian, and the creator of the Namekian Dragon Balls. We need to go find him. We were legit looking for like 5 minutes, but couldn't find it. And we never would have if we continued. Only one of each location spawns, and we'd already went far past it. Slash DBC location is a command anyone can use, and it appears we'd already found it and not realised. And what the fuck was Toby whispering about? Day 51. Toby and Sonny plot on something that isn't even possible. Look at him. <laughs> Look at that guy. We'll need to steal his chair as well, Toby. We can take his chair. We can take his chair. I'll distract him, Toby. Go in. Sonny, Sonny. I'll dig underneath. Yeah. Oh, he could sense it. He could sense it. He's moving. Put the blood back, Toby. Uh, uh, it seems to be attached to the guy. I don't know how you're going to... Oh. No, no, we're gonna swipe oh, it from oh, him. Oh, the worst we kill him. Grand Elder Guru, how you doing, my friend? I hope you aren't here for evil purposes. I can't speak to him. So I need to do some sweet yeah. talking. With Grand Elder Guru, fighters like you, I see a great hope for the future. <laughs> okay, buddy. For fuck's sake, man. I just killed a few of your boys. It wasn't that deep. Sonny buys the potential unlock. Can I charge higher? I can charge 5% higher. Now to test our might, we take on Nail. Oh, he's got 40k health. He may be beating my ass. Oh my god, no! What happened? How did he do that much damage? In Dragon Block C, there is a karma system, and I'm stuck evil as it doesn't work with this mod. The only karma affecting thing we can do is killing the Mechins, which gives negative. As this is pretty shitty, and just because of a bit of self-defense, I can't get a ton of abilities. I turn everyone good with commands. I now go down Snake Way to join Shaq, and Toby and Sonny come home. 3,600 blocks later, I make it. To the end of Snake Way, fucking hell. To this beautiful cube island that he's sitting on. Yeah, they could have listened to me. How you doing, King Kai? What we got? Learn key techniques. Spirit Bomb. Ooh, could be decent. Kaioken Key Boost. Kaioken! Damn, that was a real good use <laughs> of everyone's power. You threw it into the air. <laughs> Straight into the sun. Damn, that's actually kind of badass to try rival the sun. 
Day 52. I also buy Key Boost, which does exactly what it says. I make my way home, all the way back down Snake Way. Now I'm back. I buy Endurance from Vegeta. Gives me additional percentage-based yeah, damage reduction. Shaq transforms for the first time into his giant form. And apparently, he's also unlocked full release as well. I then go back to Namek in a space pod Kuba made and get my stuff back. Day 53 to 56. I give Shaq the space pod so he can get his stuff, and he gives me a dragon radar. This thing works, but you have to be like inside the dragon ball for it to show up, so it was really no help at all. Toby makes a cactus farm as you need cactus greens to make tech chips, and now we go into the hyperbolic time chamber and train. Spirit Bob! Was rude. Special beam cannon! In here, you get a negative 9 on your strength and dex, and when you put a weight on, it times it by 10. My 200 weight turned to 2000. You want a piece of this, Gabby? Bro, <laughs> he's looking up at it! Oh, oh hell <laughs> He's trying to he's mind that shit! In, <laughs> he's staring into the eye! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> oh lord! <laughs> My god! I wish I could move, but I really can't! Day 57 and 58. We go back to Namek, but Kuba stays. Why is there a nether- Who the fuck put a nether pool down in here? Hi, oh, it worked. Toby finds our first Nameki in Dragon Ball. Okay, we're back and better than ever. Come on, bitch. Boom. There we go. Now we have Vegeta. Oh, shit. The Ginyu Force? But we only have two of them. Guldo can literally stop time by holding his breath, but it doesn't quite work, so he gets stomped in five seconds. Raccoon's actually pretty strong, but we get him. Raccoon again, but Jason Berta. Weaker this time, I take out Raccoon, Sonny beats Berta, and we all slap up Jace. Now for the main man himself. Ginyu is miles stronger than the others. Raccoon had 64k, Ginyu has nearly three times that at 171k. And you could say he's too strong for some. He's Literally, running. he's running. Yeah, we did it! It's okay. Goku dies a bit in the show too. We're all good here. And there are some zombies with pumpkins, as we actually filmed this on Halloween. Hi guys, comment down below if you got a Mars bar in your trick or treat bucket. <laughs> or did you get less of drugs? Day 59. To power up for the next fight, Sunny gets a new haircut. And now we fight Ginyu again, but this time he has taken over Goku's body and claims to have a power level of 180,000. He then gets mercilessly beaten by a group with no one over 10k. Oh. He turned into a ribbit? Goku made him turn and can you use it again on a frog? But I, if we beat his ass, then he just turned into a frog. <laughs> I mean, that works. <laughs> Vegeta again. So now we have to beat his ass to make him stronger. Let's go. Another Dragon Ball spawns on top of us. Goku has just arrived. Fuck you mean he just arrived. Ginyu's already been up inside him. He whips out the Kaioken and is looking dangerous. How has he got hands for everybody? Oh, I'm gonna die. I did just spank, oh. son. I oh, that was my bad. You want to One shot. Yeah. Nice. Can beat Goku. Also, mid fight, Shaq found another Dragon Ball. Day 60 and 61. We go home for a bit. Hey, fellas. Damn, this war coming along good. Donald Trump would be proud, man. Oh my god, it's a pumpkin pie building. Holy shit. Oh, is that what you were doing? I you thought did. you were just making a really shit heart. Why are you creeping in the window, young blood? <laughs> I hit that gun cock when no, the fuck. Chill <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out. Your mom's a hole. He's fucking. He's just so gone me down. He just killed <laughs> Kuba. What? He killed him? No, he's he gone him. me down and knocked me out. <laughs> this video, act, there's an active shooter on the Pug Pie. <laughs> Hold up. Is he jiggling on the Why are he bouncing on it? Why are he bouncing? <laughs> you doing tricks on it? What the fuck? Okay, little improvement. Little improvement going down. Fuck you know about that. Throw your meat in. Fellas, throw your meat in. I need meat, meat, meat. Come on, hurry it up. This shit cooks fast, okay? Shaq's explosion now does 50k a tick, he says. I don't know how long it lasts, but let's say one second or 20 ticks. That would be 1 million damage, and the highest we've faced so far didn't even have a quarter of that. Day 62. We continue the story and now take on Freezer himself. He did. There we go. Someone killed him. <laughs> Shaq also got fucking slapped. Then he goes second form. No more fooling around. No more fooling around. <laughs> Sonny, are you gonna do fucking anything, mate? I'm blasting him, bro. I was doing big damage. You gotta punch him, bro. 
Yeah. Reason yeah. reaching the fist. What happens if I get in the space pod? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I go home for a minute, and Koob has made the river thing look even worse. What the fuck has happened here? Someone peed in the pool. Uh, why are they pissing blood? Nah, you know like, when uh, you was a kid, if you pee in the pool, the water turns red. No, what? This seems to be a unique experience to Kuba, because no one said shit in the comments. Speak up, blood pissers. And we also fight penis head today. He's got the penis. He's got the penis head, yes! I love this. Look at his smile. He's chilling though, he's actually chill as well. No! He's one shot. What the fuck was any of that? Day 63. Now that we're partially through the freezer fight. This is about the time we get Super Saiyan. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, Holy shit, let's go! Oh, We made it! Holy shit, now our tail's golden as well. After my incredible performance there, don't be surprised if you see me in the new Boruto episodes. Now we've even locked Super Saiyan. Freezer doesn't stand a chance anymore. Let's get him again. Oh, he doesn't stand a chance against the fucking ground either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm about to one one. one chase, yeah. Shaq then brings out the big boom. Yeah, I think it's time. <laughs> Somebody's going to die with him. <laughs> oh, there we go. That did 20k, was it? Yeah. That's a lot of damage. It wasn't even fully charged. We, we have a fallen soldier drowning. Come away, sir. Sonny was also taken out in the blast. Somebody's going to die with him. <laughs> <laughs> then we start the last fight with Frieza, who is now in final form 100%. Oh, he's kind of bruised, though. Don't let the bruises fool you. He is so much stronger. From the last fight, his strength has doubled. He does 3k damage to me, so I die in 4 hits. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's mega buff. Oh, oh my god, he does crazy. Oh my god, I'm dead, man. Oh, he spun you around. <laughs> oh, I killed him. Uh... Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, it's just me and you, Oh, we got this. Shit, well, I'm freezing now! No! <laughs> No! Sonny, save me! Save me! Sonny, 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 please! Okay, I gotta just... Oh, okay, I'm dead. Ah, he's out of me! Oh. I'm dead as well. <laughs> I guess we're on the red for <laughs> final form. Day 64. I go back to get my stuff, but it isn't happening. Oh, bro, I'm still here! Fuck, he's so rapid! I throw the space pod down and get away before I'm murdered. That is one of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life. The minds of the youth have been corrupted. We are talking about the Majin Mark, and Kuba says this. But yeah, now Kuba and Toby both have Majin Marks, which kind of breaks canon, but they did it without asking, so I can't really do anything. I collect some cactus and lapis to make more ships, then go back and try again. Freezer has run away. Time for me to reclaim my loot. I then hand out the pods I made, but when Shaq goes, he doesn't get so lucky. Day 65. Shaq fails again, and Sonny finds Freezer's ship. Sonny steals the medical pod doors, but they take an age to mine. I want service. Give me service now. Freezer, Freezer, please. Give me service. Sorry, Give me service, me. monkey. I will shoot the margin. Uh, there's me behind you, sir. Oh, we got another customer. Coming in, sir. Oh, uh, you're one of them extra large ones, ain't you? I uh, don't think you're getting there, buddy. Shaq dies again, and I go over to see the ship. I was underwhelmed. Is it really this bear? I then go over and help Shaq out by baiting Freezer away. I see a grave. Oh, I see a Freezer. Oh, nine. Whoa! While I'm doing this, Toby finds and traps a pet skeleton. I now quickly TP home. Okay, Freezer is at negative a thousand, negative a thousand. Sunny sets up the healing pod in the house, but it just wasn't working. The healing pod isn't doing any healing. 
Day 66 and 67. So that we can train faster, we now set our sights on a gravity device. Toby goes mining for a bit, and now we have enough chips for two gravity devices. We just need the catch and shards. Sonny and Shaq go to the ship and collect the rest of the healing liquid, as we suspect it might need to be bigger. Sonny finds a Namek Dragon Ball, and then Freezer spawns in. Oh shit, Freezer. Oh, how did he get here? What the fuck? <laughs> oh no, 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 he's chilled. He's chilled. Get lost, get lost die, or die. Yeah, okay. I think we have to be evil. Hello, me. Bow before my great- No, you bow before my greatness. He buys Supernova, which is actually the attack that blew up Planet Vegeta. I must have missed when we got some of them, but now we have seven Namekian Dragon Balls. Sunny summons Purunga, whose voice line is actually wrong, as he says you only get one wish, but you get three. He then can't find the hitbox, and runs out of time, so we get nothing. Some baffling stuff here. Sometimes cheating is necessary, and losing seven Dragon Balls is one of those times. We now do it again, and Sunny is at negative one wishes. The third time, I take over, and instantly get it. I have three wishes, okay, what do we want? I wish for two catching shards and debate the third. <laughs> three diamonds, fuck. That could be it. Speaking to me. I have 53 diamonds, please. <laughs> Make me two inches taller and I'll throw all of them at you. I took three beans. Sonny gives me the catching shard that Kuba got on day six and we visit Vegeta, but there's literally nothing there. Can you just beef that in, is that it? Yeah, there's no structure. Fuck you, bitch. Day 68, we try fix the healing pod and it works. Just incredibly inconsistently. Toby takes in a chicken and calls it Mother Clucker, the mother of all chickens. He's waiting for it to lay eggs, so I suggest to go get another one and then breed them. He then goes straight over to Kuba's chickens and abducts some. Oi! Fuck off! Fuck you! I'm, I'm gonna get my legs for Toby. <laughs> I gave you those those leads as well. <laughs> Don't kill my. You did- you, you actually- I'm nuking Kuba's entire- Why did you bed. kill Mother Clocker? What the fuck is wrong with you? The part is dead. I've got name tag. That's- Kuba, this is literally what you got pissed about in the Naruto one. Nah, Spielberg was special though. Mother Clocker was just- Was what, Kuba? It's a random chicken. Sorry to tell you, Toby. It's okay though. They reconcile. You want a tech chip tier 2? Yeah, right. What oh, the- Oh, shit. What the fuck? What the fuck that? You were standing too close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um. What, what did you just do? <laughs> What's this? He's got a secret room down here. He's got a secret room. Well, I, was, I threw it upwards. You threw it upwards? Yeah, it's because Kubo was standing right next to me and the hitbox is very big. <sighs> so it just blew up in us. Um, you know, I would like to say I was, and I certainly convinced myself, but I knew deep down I, I really wasn't. So I will take the blame, although, I don't know, I feel it was justified. He killed Mother Clucker. That's my main chick, bro. I, he was going to be the father of all the other chickens, you know? I was going to make a massive flock. And they would attack my enemies. I would have seen Freezer with all of the chickens flying in a battle. The dream was crushed. Oh, yeah, I, I have I am not feeling guilty for what I did there. I think it was well justified Day 69 I destroy the ball on the smeltery because there's only one and it wasn't even finished I make the gravity device to use it You simply put fuel in it and type a number 1000 is the maximum versus the 10 of the time chamber I tried to stack them, but it didn't work your weight is multiplied by the gravity So with only a 200 weight, I'm at negative 200,000 Toby starts patching his mess and I blow it up even more day 70 and 71 does anybody have a spare backpack on me? No, I mean, you own. must know how easy on me. I'm like your it, other children. It's chest and leather. Don't want to add the mood. I respect your consistency for laziness. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not a compliment. I had potential unlock at level 2 until this point. I now level it up to the max of 10, meaning I can use 100% of my key. This boosts my power level by 20,000. I then help Toby patch, and not long later, we have a man-made ravine with a glass ceiling. This is a 10 times better patchwork than what Shaq did. Me, Sonny and Shaq all go in the healing pod. The plan is, we punch each other, but get healed, so we can get infinite TP and not die. Why are you both punching me? Stop. We have friendly fist on, right? Yes. Yes. Why are you both punching me? Are you actually moronic? <laughs> You're both fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I also changed my difficulty to insane as you get 45% more TP at the cost of losing some skill points on death. Sounds worth it to me. Day 72. I go back to negative 1000, negative 1000 to see if Freezer's still there. And he is ready and waiting to fight.
We get him just below half, and he vomits this death ball, instantly killing me. The bomb squad is sent in, and obliterates the rest of Freezer's health. Got him. Got him. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. This now concludes the Freezer saga. It was a pretty quick one. Day 73 and 74. Now in the show, a year and a half passes, so we do some training to make up for the time skip. Sunny makes a new disc attack, and again names it after a Final Fantasy move. He teaches me it, and it's pretty good, as it's fast, doesn't blow blocks up, and is really inaccurate. Yeah, the hitbox is dodgy as well. Back to the story. Mecha Freezer and King Cold have arrived, and send out 30 soldiers. Trunks isn't here to save us, so we fight them head on. Shaq blows the shit out of Freezer, and we gang up on Senor Cold. Go on, he's low. Father, I want to... Uh... An adoption. <laughs> yes. Nice! Day 75. Next up is Super Saiyan Trunks. This guy was insanely strong and had nearly 2 million health. He was a real issue for us. Sometimes when a person dies, the boss will despawn. Kuba died, then Shaq killed Toby, then Kuba died again. On the fourth try, Shaq charges to 100 and spawn camps him. Uh, why would you aggro him? Oh, 100, 100k, 100k, 100k? You've got him half. Okay. Oh. He fumbled it. Worthy sacrifice. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there, there we go, go, nice. Oh, I got his brave sword. I, I guess we're not brave. Piss out. And Sunny has now mastered Super Saiyan. Day 76. Kuba gives me a pumpkin pie. Bro, if no one got me, I know pumpkin pie got me. Who put them in the furnace instead of in the... Oh, in who just died? What? Who killed you? I don't know. I was standing next to you in my inventory. How did you just die? He for real starved while spam clicking food. Day 77 and 78. Wait, what? Sonny, what the fuck is that? Oh, How'd you get Keyblade? That's Zamasu's. Sonny, what are you doing with Zamasu's shit? Well, anybody could do this to shape and key into a weapon. Well, technically, this is called alteration type key manipulation technique, and the first instance goes as far back as Destructo Disc. So I guess we can use them, but we can all agree, these are 100% just Zamasu's. Now I buy every other skill that I was missing. Key protection buffs my defense at the cost of key. Key fist makes me do more damage at the cost of key. Key infuse boosts projectile damage, and also in the combination with key fist, allows you to use key weapons like Sunny was. And I'm gonna upgrade defense penetration, that's busted, so. It just ignores some of their defense, that's very good. At max, this ignores 10% of their defense. I level these all up to 10, as I have a ton of mind. I test my new damage on Shaq. I normally do 9.8k, with the blade I do 10.4, and with the scythe I apparently do 18k, nearly doubling my damage output. Okay, now I've got instant transmission. So how does this work? To use this, you hold the third function key. If you hold it for 5 seconds, you can TP to people in our group, so we can just TP to each other. You can also TP to any entity in your view, and TP others with you as well. Just, just stay there, sweetie. Why are you... Hmm? I'm just Wait, thinking, why you... just thinking real hard. Oh, so, what the fuck? Now we train with Goku. Oh, holy shit, we're cooking. 20% gone already. It does take a lot of key to do the key attacks there. Oh, die. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a creeper? I got friendly fisted and then a creeper just died. Uh. <laughs> God damn it. As he's not aggro, Shaq charges the explosion. Where is he? Him. Okay. I would, I would Is away. chilling with him? Why are you attack? Are you slow? I'm dead. I wonder why. Why did you go in there? Was that Shaq's thing that insta killed me? Or? Yeah, it would have been. Why are you too stupid? <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I don't know if it insta killed me. I was also charging. Wow. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sonny, what were you doing? What? Why did you hop into his explosion? I didn't know he was doing that. <laughs> what? <laughs> you Use your eyes. Firstly, bro. we said it. Secondly, do you not see the big circle around him? Uh, Let's try this again without you fucking morons. The... You attacked. <laughs> we did it free. <laughs> Super Saiyan. Let's Easy. go. Easy. Wait a minute. I'll be Goku. Yeah, we showed there. Most people probably know the story, but I'll explain for those who don't. Trunks is from an alternate timeline in the future where Goku dies 
and the androids destroy nearly the entire world until Trunks stops them. So that this universe does not bear the same fate, he comes back to warn us. As I'm Goku for real, he gives me some pills to stop me from dying from a heart virus, and then tells us we need to train for the androids that are coming in three years. Vegeta wants to talk to us. You may have beaten Frieza, but don't be so proud. One day I will crush you. Don't forget I'm the strongest in the universe. You can't beat Goku, buddy. Thing is, I think Vegeta's actually winning in all the fights they've had. Okay, this training arc's getting serious. We got fucking Gohan, Goku, and Piccolo. Okay, we need to train for a bit. Day 79 to 81. We trained for two days, and now we are ready for them. Oh, Piccolo is silly. Piccolo is silly, bro. We take them down pretty easily. Likely because Goku didn't go Super Saiyan. Goku's now going serious. Hold on, dude. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Hold on. They got the Poland bomb. Goku doesn't stand a chance. Uh, yeah. Fuck. Uh, did we did we clash, right? <laughs> I think my <minus. laughs> He gets slapped. The skills actually made us so much stronger. Next, we train with Vegeta. How you doing, brother? Mm. Toby got sidetracked mid-fight though. Known for oh mine shaft! Oh my oh. god. I died, but so did he, so it's all good. Day 82. The time is up. The androids have arrived. Uh Toby, you better warn me when he's not with us. You prick. Oh what? <laughs> How did he just kill Shaq? Just beating up an old man at this point. He's a fucking buff old man, he's got two mil. Ah, he's not doing shit. He's, he's not like a defenseless OAP, brother. He is nearly killing me. There we go, I got 20. Oh my god, they're doing... I'm on pearl bomb. I'm on zero! I'm about to die! Ah, oh, fuck. Dead. Where are we going? Wait, Android 19 and 20? They're not the cyborgs of my time. Android 17 and 18. Maybe the course of history has changed. Yes, I suppose. <laughs> The world is at stake here, and bro's trying to act nonchalant. Day 83. I'm not really sure when the grades come in exactly, but me and Sonny go up to Super Saiyan 2nd grade. Oh my god, they got slightly- they got wider. <laughs> I got a bit fucking bigger, so baby. Buff. Yeah. Oh yeah, got a few more pixels to us. Uh, I think we might be weaker though. We are weaker, yeah. We now fight Android 18. You got a present for her, do you, Kuba? Yeah, it's a... Uh... It's a big one coming right above. It's 7k. Yeah. Uh, Captain Planet! Three spirit bombs. Ah, she back! <laughs> she kicked <laughs> back! <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 I was not checking the health out. Oh. Respectable, adequate, even. One zero HP. Uh, <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh no, we need to talk to Kami. This is terrible. It seems something more terrifying than freezes will come in the near future. Could you look at something for me? What do you want? A lump on his balls. We're going to check out Cell. And Toby goes fifth or cooler form. What the fuck is this? What is this mud? Day 84. Sonny can't walk in a straight line. It's so hard to get in the dark. Uh, it's huh? wider. <laughs> Does it actually make you wider, Sonny? I think so. I, could, I couldn't get in. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. You are waffling. What are you on about? <laughs> you just yeah, couldn't get in this door. It was just it was difficult. You've played too much of this game to struggle to walk in a straight line. Wait, that was got... fucking calm if you think I'm it's loud. That's a loud. Loud sound. These are the people that are meant to save the fucking earth. <laughs> That's why I look so annoying. <laughs> there aren't quite cities, so we fight in perfect cell in a village. Check. What the fuck? He teleports? Oh no! I, 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 oh my god! I, We're gonna so protect metal. them! No! Oh no! <laughs> you wiped the village out! Ow! Oh, I just killed Kuma! That's what you get. That's what you get. Me. And take a break and then fight the harvest the fucking <laughs> God damn it, Cell, look what you made him do. Yeah, yeah it's on Did you watch out? Yeah, there we yeah. go, nice. Day 85. We go to the Cell Arena as it can't be broken. We now fight Android 16 and 17. 17 was on a rampage. No, he. I want to die. Oh, he did. Oh, dead. Okay, dead. How? Da, 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 da. Right, watch out for my bomb. Oh, no, I'm sending it now. Oh, it did knock me out. Nice. Oh, sorry. oh he's, he's on top of you. I was fucking healing in it. Oh, man. Oh. No, I didn't. I didn't instantly throw it. Okay. I, I waited. And 17 also kills Sonny before we take him down. You can get him, Shaq. 
Firm it, firm it. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit, he dropped his pants. <laughs> he did what? <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for us, 17 is now gone. Unlucky for us, Cell absorbed him and gained his power. How much has he got? Is that 5 mil? Check. Holy yeah, seconds. yeah, he's gonna do damage to me. Oh. Yeet. Oh, he just TP'd and killed <laughs> Sonny? What? Oh my god, he did more than 10. Oof. Oh my god, I'm 200. No, no, no. Oh, oh my god, I just got the fucking. I just got the heal. Is a skeleton beefing him? What? Oh no, I'm about to Fuck! Last second! <laughs> Good job, Shaquille. Our friends may have perished, but we have you come out nothing. victorious. Oh god, you didn't even go close. Victorious, Shaquille, <laughs> we did it. Me and you, Karen. <laughs> Now we go Super Saiyan 3rd grade. It's even weaker. It's even further weaker. It's weaker but wider. <laughs> Did I get wider? Holy shit, I'm actually fucking massive. You're gonna be able to... <laughs> You're gonna be able to walk through single doors. It just keeps like spreading more. out our skill. We get weaker and weaker, but wider and wider. A glorious whip. Uh, so sorry. This guy slaps a girl's ass. <laughs> hey, Gunny, money. Nah, bro, I got no money. <laughs> I got some taters. You want a tater, kid? <laughs> Day 86. Actually, no, if I break that, all of them was just... I did not see nothing. He gave birth to a chicken fillet. Holy shit, the wide guy just ate it. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, damn, that was good. <laughs> You're a fucking brick, huh? Yeah. Hey, little hey, man. man. You want a tater? No, sissy. Got any more hey, chicken? One. Pumpkin pie? <laughs> I'm gonna buy anyone. As the three of us behemoths are ganging up on this feeble man, Sonny asks if he has any transformations. He said he didn't, but surely he would. The only racial ability he's used is absorption. He turns absorption off and then tries again. Oh. Yeah, you transformed, yeah. He transforms to evil and then super. Oh shit, my tail disappeared. The fun can't have shit in Detroit, bro. They took the tail. I did like pumpkin parlor though. It was a shame. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> It's a shame it, a freak earthquake happened and ripped open a, a hole into hell. Sonny manages to make a wish. Get a cool angle on the screen. Bro, this angle is going to be so fucking sick. You changed your aura colour? Yeah. What a fucking waste! Oh. Day 87. We fight Trunks and Vegeta, and Sonny gets eradicated. How did that? <laughs> Bro! Well, at least the, the arena's fine. The surroundings are gone, though. It's gonna be down to bedrock, we're just playing on a floating platform. Round 2. I get 3 hit by Vegeta, and then a minute later, he does the same to Toby. Round 3. The secret weapon is brought out again. Them numbers are ridiculous. Okay, well, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 It does and actually just lag the game. Someone I'm ate dead. it to the face, yeah. Sonny <laughs> just kissed it. That was an insane attack. Wait, we defeated them both. We got them. Now, Goku and Gohan have left the time chamber, and they want to test us. Fuck. They're nearly double as strong, I think. Gohan's easier. Keep going. <laughs> you ever send that in? <laughs> <laughs> the proper thing in as well? That's so rude. I think they're, so alive. Alive. they're on half, they're on half, they're on half, they're here. Get going first. Uh, Focus the kid! Oh. But Kuba dies and they despawn. Day 88. By the way, there is a chance we get legendary Super Saiyan, just the chance is pretty low and we are unlucky. Do you get a BP boost from my wish on the other one? I do. I'm a 24,000 now. That's fucking crazy. You get one from fucking sheep. You get you just got eight k by eating sheep. sheep. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> His absorption maxes out at fifty though. It's not infinite. Say he gets eight thousand per three. That adds a hundred and thirty k more BP from just that, and he can transform on top. Shaq has probably mastered his full release form now, and is using Kaioken, so it's all the way at 590k BP. This whole time I've not bothered with Kaioken, because it takes up your health to use. Firm it, firm it, firm it, firm it, firm it. Hey, you got 8%. What? Oh, yeah. You did that much? <laughs> Gohan isn't even angry yet. <laughs> <laughs> it is 
<laughs> father's just being assassinated. Where even is he? He's hiding. Hey, buddy. Let's be his ass. Him, boy. Stick there him. we go. Nice. Yeah. We meet the strongest man on earth. Oh, this is Mr. Satan. No way. We get to see him. Oh, oh I'm so man. excited, Sonny. I'm Holy sunny. shit. How strong is he? Hey, buddy. Are you straight on beef? He's got 600 health. <laughs> <laughs> we just fought a guy with like 10 million. <laughs> this is the strongest guy on earth. I can rip five phone books in half, bitch. <laughs> you could kill this guy with a sneeze. You're never gonna beat Cell if you can't beat me. Oh, I slipped. Okay, ready. Right <laughs> now it's time. Fight Cell to the fullest and save Earth. Perfect, Cell. And we can go Super Saiyan too, because Gohan does that. <gasps> oh yeah, baby. I add Kaioken on too and gain 50k from it. It's doing 1.5k damage to me, but I have 100k health, so it doesn't really matter. You ready, Shaq? Light this fucker up. It's a lot. <laughs> Oh, he turns me, he turns me. the wrong person to go after. Oh my god, you did so much damage. This is a Cell Games, baby, and you lose! Let's go! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Fuck yeah. Oh yeah! Bro, the nuke at the start did 70%. Okay, Cell is gone. No, he isn't. Oh, fuck. I, I didn't realize it was gonna be a multi parter We need to kill Cell Juniors. Holy fuck, there's. How many of them is that? There's 18? No, all of me! There's 18 of them! Oh my god. Bro, how could you do this alone? Fuck it out. You get swamped instantly. These critters have 1.6 million health each. Oh, you can master Kaioken as well? Yeah, there's a mastery level to Kaioken. So the more you use it, the stronger it gets. Day 89. Okay, now this is the final fight with Cell. As this fucker doesn't like to stand still, he avoids our big boom. In the show, Gohan beats Cell's ass so hard, he is forced to regurgitate Android 18. When he gets to only 80% health, he does this, and reverts back to semi-perfect. And he's no issue like that. Okay, he's managed to regenerate him and become even stronger. Bro, this is like a dream video. Finale part fucking four. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. He's ate it. Fuck's sake. He killed me. You may have noticed that Sunny has been throwing his shitty key attacks every single time and doing nothing but killing Shaq. Shaq is the carry, we can all see it, but Sunny got a feel included, so keeps fucking up the system. I gotta agree with what John says here, man. This guy is a moron. We told him many times to stop, but he just doesn't listen. Shaq's sacrifice was not in vain though, as Cell is still about. Oh my god, I'm on 2k! Oh, nice. Cool. Me loss. <laughs> 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 there we go. Done. Gohan is blinded by his rage and becomes uncontrollable. Oh shit. We got a baby rage on our hands. We can calm him down with the grass penis. How much else do you have? Who just um, did that? That was Sonna. Man, you just fucking 20k damage, you freak. 20k, that's less than a punch. <laughs> Generally, that was a good job. So that is not worth doing. Why did you aggro him for 20k? How much health does he have? Does he have 12 million? It's quite a lot. We now all get blown up, and both Kuba and Shaq claim it wasn't them. I don't know about that margin, fella. Um, oh, holy I'm, shit! Wait, I'm, I died. Day 90. You're gonna, you're gonna down Shaq. And his going gonna disappear. Get him. Oh, yeah, I think you blow me up. For fuck's yeah. sake, kid. He's There's still alive, it's fine. Around. He only killed Shaq, we're alright. Why did you have to kill Shaq? <laughs> it just adds to the effect. We get him to 5% and then Kuba dies. Oh no, my fucking grave is Is that actually? Yeah. I think somebody fucking blew it up. It's right above you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm just dumb. Okay, never mind. Me and Sonny have been neck and neck the whole time, but now he's 100k behind me because I'm using Kaioken. I'm gonna get legendary Super Saiyan eventually. 
<laughs> Sonny does it again, and then attempts some Hall of Fame gaslighting. I think he's killing himself with this. I'm not, I, I'm, you know, because that, that just kills me, it doesn't knock me out. Okay, business as usual again, but this time Gohan drops a death message. He's still alive though, and batters Kuba. Nuba! Again! Ow. Wait, we we beat him. I told you that, Blue What? Well, Kuba ate shit and died. <laughs> I took it for the team. We, we, we beat him. We were preparing to go again, but he's dead. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Boo <Boom> Saga! <laughs> Holy shit. By eliminating Cell, you save the Earth. Peace reigns again, but not for long. We need to go to school. Day 91. There is now a seven year time skip in which Gohan goes to school and fights crime as a superhero, and Goku's dead the entire time. Sadly, we don't get to do all that jazz, so we just hit some training. It's Toby's birthday, and Koob has the idea to make him a cake. Sonny and Toby sneak off the fuse. No, that's. No. Uh, We've not reached that level of our relationship yet. Come on, Toby. But can't work out how I do it. Uh, this is the countdown, Toby. Fuck me, ain't you? What are you two up to? Do do it. Do countdown. We're just doing butt stuff. Alright. Three. You count down till it goes in? Two. One. Go. I think they they are doing butt stuff. <laughs> Zach, you can. No, stop trying to fuse, you pussy. <laughs> oh, but it can be so big. No, but it's a fan ship. The, so the Sobe fan stop, ship. Come Sonny, on. Stop. Yeah, naughty Sonny. I was, I was trying to stop him skiing, he, he just didn't. You were participating. Is it Sonny was the mastermind all time. Uh, I, I need everyone here, okay? Come to the house. Come to the house. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it was. Sonny. This is 50k, you know. Oh, no. Are you serious? What? I fucking clicked on the waypoint, I looked around, and it hit the waypoint. What? <laughs> You're such an imbecile. All the chests what? are gone, half the pumpkin world's gone. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What was your thought process? You tried to click on the waystone. <laughs> no, I didn't try to click on it, because like, cause I was you holding know? down right click, and it fucking moused up. <sighs> Fucking idiot. And it just released it. I said no. How are you this stupid? Is a rollback possible? No, it's not. The only uh, thing that survived is the pumpkin parlor. It's the exact opposite <laughs> of what happened last time. <laughs> How can one person be so fucking stupid? It's a good opportunity to get rid of all the shit, though, because there is. Get rid of all the shit. The majority of this is not. Yeah, but so. why did you get it out in the first place? I got out a move. That didn't blow anything up, as a joke as well. But you actually got one that did. No fucking foresight about you. No, the dragon balls were the friends we made along the way. Probably. You are actually uh. one of the dumbest fuckers imaginable. <laughs> you just think of a dumb person, and you just come up. <laughs> just fucking, just grab anything valuable. It, it's better. So we save on storage space. You are actually top one dumbest fuckers alive. I've never met one with such limited intellect. I didn't realize I went that hard on Sonny. I'm sorry. I was not trying to be that mean. But his actions were not the cleverest, let's say. I'll come to the pumpkin parlor. Sorry, you to fix Not the time! <laughs> to be fair, there is a lot of garbage in these oh, wait, There the is table. a lot of garbage in this. Sonny, you're not trying to get away with this. No, I'm not trying. Not, not, not. I'm trying to, as his defense attorney, I'm trying to get him away with this. <laughs> but like, maybe it's good. It's a fresh start, like, like oh, pain. We can live in a nice house now. <laughs> the gravity was just de decompressing our spines as well, you know? Like, it was gonna make us hunchback. Day 92. No, we got like... I kind of fuck with this, like a post-apocalyptic kind of feel, you know? It was mm -hmm. hot. <laughs> kind of like See? a nuclear fallout kind of vibe. Just a feature. Yeah, oh, we could build a new base, it's like it crashed. Yep. And I'll fix the smell tree. We don't have a smell tree controller on the fucker! Wait, is uh, there still iron in it? It's at the bottom, right? So it wouldn't be destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. The contents doesn't get destroyed. The contents has been destroyed. No. There's has nothing it no. in it. Are you serious? We had like... We had like... Oh, a <laughs> no way, iron. bro! Nah! Mm. It was enough to fuel the... Hmm, sorry. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that little chestnut. Hmm. Fucking hell, Sonny, man. 
God damn it. Ooh, you using the man that's Yeah, I'm not using it. You're not invited to my birthday bash, Sonny. Yeah, birthday bash at the pumpkin parlor. What more can I ask for? And Shaq accidentally blew up the repairs to his last explosion. This was a pretty accurate prediction. People had a lot to say about Sonny in the comments. Love the videos, but Sonny is so annoying. Love the videos. Why is Sonny so dumb? Sonny is funny but annoying. I can do nothing but agree. I know for a fact that Sonny is out the next 100 days. I don't know where he got that fact from. Sonny's a genius ahead of his time. You just don't get it. This one is real. His goals are just beyond our understanding. Even I myself sometimes debate if getting rid of Sonny would be a good idea. He does drive me fucking crazy. But the guy's pretty funny so he's gotta stay. Here's what Shaq had to say on the experience. I swear to god. Doing these with Sonny has made me question my sanity. You don't understand. <laughs> like, it, it could be used as torture. Like, the CIA could make playing Minecraft with Sonny as a, a method, and it would work. 100% conviction rate. And Justin, it's not even his fault. Turns out he had a rotten sensu bean. Time for Gohan and Ilbo Goten. Let's go. They have 150k. We also test out the block, because I haven't really used it. And turns out it blocks around two-thirds of the damage you normally take. Day 93 and 94, we beat Trunks and Vegeta, and then Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. You finna bust! Okay, I'm about to bust. Okay, do everybody it. back Do up. it! Do it! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah. It's now the World Martial Arts Tournament, and these two dweebs are sent by Babidi to go get energy to summon Margin Boo. Is that 6k? Don't put- don't kill him. 6,000?! <laughs> nah! They get the energy, and run on back to their boss. He's such a goofy little goof. Like, <laughs> funny little man. Why, why is he peeping the shoes? Are those fresh Jordans, bro? <laughs> <laughs> now we fight Babidi's champions. Pui Pui, Harkon. Oh my god, look at this beast. And Deborah, who is the king of the demon realm. Next we have Margin Vegeta. Vegeta let Babidi control him, and in return, he got a lot stronger. As there was a ton of big attacks, the server crashes. Am I back? I'm back. Kuba died. What did I die from? Vegeta- oh, no. OH MY GOD Vegeta is so strong! HOLY SHIT! <laughs> I spawned and got murked. When we're in Otherworld, Kuba absorbs me and instantly gets full. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean it's us? There we, we go, it. nice. For the last bit, Sunny was just boxing Kuba. They managed to do it. They managed to spawn Majin Buu. A fat pink blob, how how strong can he be? Day 95, Kuba asks to go margin v margin, and Sunny asks if he has a kid boo form. It turns out he does and didn't realise. This form is weaker, but has greater regeneration. He opts not to use it though. He's doing it. He has 16 mil. Oh, he's on me now. He's doing this Oh, I'm gonna make you the chocolate, Oh, no, no, please don't. Me a bitch. Actually, I'm, I'm really low health, oh fuck. You can't solo him? Do you want help? No, no, I'm chilling. <laughs> what do you just do? My games, my games. Who just, <laughs> just let out an holy attack? No surprise, Kuba got fucking decked. Oh, he teleported to ski. He's giving him a hug. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's thrusting me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> I'm inside him. <laughs> Margin <Martin> Boulin. <Boulard. laughs> Full Militic? Yes. 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 You just drop him. That is fucking. That is ridiculous. Is that right. is He's OP the shit. That is so broken. Full oh, Militic? I had, a, I had a great time. I, I got to see the big numbers. I genuinely. I didn't realize it would be so broken. I just, like, when I learned a new skill, I would just pick the one that was the highest power and then started leveling it up. It so happened that you could eat and survive. And so I just did nothing but level that up. I think it got to level 15, but it worked. And thank god it worked, because um, I saved us so much time and pain. I like I actually reset my sky to be a chi fighter rather than a warrior, so I could up my power on my bomb. Okay, well, Fat Marjibu has been taken out, we need to go see Goku. I don't think I can beat Boo. It's okay, Goku. We got a guy who kills himself. <laughs> no, it would <laughs> wonders. I think it would be interesting if we tried the fusion on Goten and Trunks. It's kind of funny they just throw their kids at it. They got it. They put them together. They'll do some. But before we can fuse, we have to beat Goku. The server is nuked once again. No! Did I miss? Oh my god. What has he just sent? And then we kill him. Oh, it seems that Goku didn't finish with you. Super Saiyan 3. 
Did we go Super Saiyan 3 to count as Super Saiyan 3? Yeah, I guess. Oh, look at my hair. Holy shit. I've got no eyebrows, bro. They don't took my shit. Day 96. We fight Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, what? What? Why is he tweaking? Yeah, my ass. I think, I think you just. Clothes. Yeah. We can <laughs> You're killing his first form again and again. He's, he's sideways. Dropping, <laughs> he's dropping new bags. <laughs> he's, he's, he's tilting. The quest was just bugged, and as he kept resetting, he was essentially invincible. It meant we had completed the mission, though. We now try fusion. To do it, you must both be at the same percentage in the same form. One then charges, and the other does the actual fusion. Sadly, Sobi doesn't work, so me and Sunny try. Oh my Ziganga. Ziganga. <laughs> oh my god. One person spectates and the other is in charge. We are Super Saiyan 3, Fused, and Kaioken. This puts us over 2 million BP. I now test my strength. Three hitting Shaq and Toby. Oh, no. oh I got a rampage. And it takes four to take down Kuba. Don't. Oh, we. There you go. Now we knock them all out, Sonny. Uh. Infinite power. On when we leave the time chamber though, it splits us back up and we get a 10 minute fuse cooldown. As you need to be in the same form to fuse, we think maybe Shaq and Toby can if they're both in base, but it doesn't work. Sadly, no half Namekian and half Arcosian. Day 97. We now fuse to fight against the OG fusion. Time for Ziganga versus Gotrunks, which is wrongly named. It's Gotenks. Come here, pussy. Holy shit. Oh, oh my god. Oh, you went to the I'm not even using Kaioken as well. Oh. You could just firm that. Do it. He's there. Oh, I'm not an I just took a munch. And he's gone. He's in squeeze, man. Jesus Christ. After beating them, we put on their drip, and it's magnificent. Then we have to fight Ultra Gotenks. But sadly, it glitches again. These last few days were painful, man. It just wasn't going our way. We're gonna unfuse in 20 seconds, Sonny. Oh, I loved you inside me. Uh -huh. I reached over a million BP. Oh, <laughs> Baby's first step over a million. <laughs> Looks like he's fucking son. <laughs> he's a little apprentice. <laughs> I'm not sure you <laughs> Bring it, kiss the word there. <laughs> <laughs> are you doing away, son? These are my cohorts and Pinkalo. I don't like him. Now time for Super Boo. This fight was easy as Shaq blew away 98% of his health. Oh. Oh. Oh, one shot. He's on six with the Yes! Oh, no. <laughs> Day 98. Next is Mr. Gohan, who had a ritual done by the old Kai that brings out a person's full potential. Oh, I'm learning low on key. Down of 2 mil. 800k, 600. Oh, yeah. Go. Fucking super Bootex. Oh, no. He's absorbed Gotex. There we go. Ziganja is back. Time to beat Gotex. We got this fucking fraud, mate. We got this fraud. You are doing more damage than he's doing to you. Get him. Oh, he what the fuck? He just he just got Piccolo. He just ate Piccolo. Well, oh, that's geez. not that's not very nice. He got his drip as well. He looks fucking swaggy. Fucking okay, pussy boy. Pussy boy. Whoa, damn. Well, I did left some insurance. What? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Again, that was without Kaioken. And then we have to take on Ultimate Boo, who absorbed Gohan. And I have to be the bearer of lame news. It fucking breaks. Oh, what happened, man? Oh, it's oh, glitching. It's we kept resetting to see if it would fix, but no luck. We can't really do much, so we have to move on. But I'm really mad about that one. Because I can't lie, Ultimate Boo is sick. Day 99. Now Vegito. This is the fusion of Goku and Vegeta, but they use the Batara earrings, which are stated to be the stronger method. Sunny crashed the server, then Vegito crashed the server. Day 100. Sunny falls from the heavens and does another big boom. Right in front of you. Yeah, this guy. And then dies as he runs out of key. He then does it again, and it crashes the server. Oh. Stop throwing your shitty thing, I swear to God. I swear to God, why are you throwing your big fucking... 
Oh my god, you timed us out. We are filming this shit at 4 a.m. in the morning, trying to finish, and everyone is losing their mind. Okay, go. Hello. It's long. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. He's, he's one. He's literally one. Don't die, Jack, please. Oh, I'm just eating. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's go, we did let's it. go. Thank you. Easy to find out Shaq died. Blessed. It's now time for the final fight, and Kid Boo breaks the server not once. Oh. oh. No. But twice. No, Are not another one. Yeah. Are you fucking <laughs> serious? Zeef Ganga is here, and it's time to take down Kid Margin Boo, our final opponent. He doesn't stand a chance. He's getting absolutely oh boxed. He, he's getting smart. Oh. oh. Come on! Give it to me! Damn! He's gone! We did it! Absolutely gapped. Mate, oh. the fusion is disgustingly strong. <laughs> Boo is utterly destroyed with no trace of him left. <sighs> that is good to hear. The end of Boo. And now we've finished Z. That's all we're gonna get done, because it is day 100. Thanks for watching, people. That was hectic, but we made it. If you play this yourself, turn this damn config off, or the server gonna explode. Sadly, I only found out about this on day 100, so it didn't really help us. If you did enjoy, drop a sub if you haven't, and throw a comment in there too if you're feeling nice. If you want to see more Dragon Block Z, we do have all of Super to do, so let me know by getting this video to 15k likes. Have a great day, and goodbye. And again, thank you so much for watching. That was near 6 hours and a half and you made it to the end. I truly do appreciate you. There's a lot more to come. This should be a big year for Zeepski fans all around the world. I plan to launch a second channel soon, so get excited. Have a great day, and see you later.